points are low, but look at Kaiba's life points. This next top deck could end the duel. It's a legendary ocean! At the last second, he got his field spell, and the whale is going in! Mako is your Battle City Champion! From 100 to number one! A full year has passed since our last episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era. The grand charity event of Battle City has come and gone, and many changes in the Master Era world have come. The first major change is the grand reopening of Duel Academy under new management. That's right, everybody. Duel Academy is now owned and operated by Kaiba Corp. Kaiba Corp has taken the reins and they have kicked out all Industrial Illusion people. Now, the Academy is open to not just students of high school age, but in fact, K through 12. It is a full on campus for all ages, in other than university and it is going to be insane. We are going to be talking about the characters that have earned a slot into this new academy, and this opening ceremony tournament is going to be used to place said students. And we're even gonna learn about the faculty that got to stay and new faculty that got hired on. So, I hope you're all excited for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era, Duel Academy opening ceremony. That's right, everyone. Let's open this ceremony. Let's get into the character roundup and let's see which characters are now attending the new and improved Duel Academy. The first character we're going to be talking about is Mokuba Kaiba. Mokuba is attending the new and improved Duel Academy. The uh, Academy now offers classes for students of all ages. Mokuba believes he is guaranteed to be the top student at his brother's academy. Honestly, Mokuba has a good chance of being the top student because his deck counters dark decks, and I would say like 50% of the people in our Master Era series use some sort of dark deck, so I can't wait to see how Mokuba does. Every deck has gotten small buffs here and there, Mokuba especially, and some decks have gotten major buffs depending on, uh, you know, the style of character they are. So I'm excited to see how Mokuba will do against the other students of Duel Academy. The next character we're going to be talking about is a faculty member of Duel Academy, and that's going to be Nurse Michi! Seto Kaiba hired on lots of new staff to take care of the new students. Nurse Michi was once his own nurse at Domino High. Now she is working for him at the brand new Duel Academy. Yeah, Nurse Michi used to let him ditch school, so he was like, you know what? You're cool, you're going to come work at my academy. And any person that ha works at hi on his faculty has to duel him. And any professor that works in this uh, school had to duel Seto Kaiba to get their job. They didn't have to win the duel, they just had to impress. So, let's go ahead and get into our next character. The next character we're going to be talking about is Dorothy of the faculty. Dorothy was hired back onto the new Duel Academy. She is excited to be back in the card shop. She also gets to make her special sandwiches for the kids. Yeah, she didn't do good against the duel, in the duel against Seto Kaiba. That duel went horribly wrong for her. But it's okay because she made him a couple sandwiches and he was like, well, crap, I need someone to do that. So Dorothy gets to stay on as the card shop person. The next character we're going to be talking about is another faculty member. It's Sadie. Sadie was also hired back onto Duel Academy. She is glad to have her job back as the odds, uh, the odd jobs she was doing were pretty rough. Sadie is worried that her new boss might be a little high strung though. Yeah, being forced to duel Kaiba was definitely awkward for her since she only duels for fun. And uh, luckily she was able to keep her job thanks to the fact that she is just going to be running the card shop and the fact that she can make sandwiches, so... Yay! Go Sadie, go Dorothy, and good luck today in this test opening ceremony tournament. The next student that will be attending the new and improved Duel Academy is... Alda V Stormer! Alda's online popularity has been wavering this past year. When she got the chance to join the new Duel Academy, she jumped right on it. Now she gets to stream her growth in the most popular school. 
Yep, Alda V Stormer has been struggling with all the new streamers entering the, you know, <laughs> entering the the Soul Seekers website. And with that competition, she has been struggling to grow. Luckily for her, she does have a chance to stream at the brand new Dual Academy campus opening right now. And we're going to see how strong she has become and how strong she can be. The next character we're going to be talking about is Light Kiko, formerly of OCG Elementary. Light and the other four kings of OCG Elementary were given invites to the brand new Duel Academy. She and her brother both accepted and are now competing to be the number one duelist of Duel Academy. That's right, Seto Kaiba has gone over to other schools to try and take their best duelists. Anytime he found a po uh, proper duelist or saw proper dueling skills from somebody at a different school, he was a uh, he was like, you know what, come to mine. You deserve an invite. Come, come stay at my school. We're going to make you the best of the best. We're going to make you pro-level duelists. And maybe Laitsu Kiko can make that happen. The next character we're going to be talking about is Yami Kuroda. Yami Kuroda has been obsessing over a brand new idol. During last year's Battle City Tournament, a random contestant showed up out of nowhere with an awesome evil hero deck. And now he worships him like a brand new god. For some reason, Yami Kuroda just has some weird idol worship thing going on. He can't help himself. Yes, Nitrob may have fell in his eyes, but now there's a brand new uh, person to look up to. Good luck to you, Yami Kuroda. Today, your deck has received some nice buffs, and uh, so did your sisters. And I can't wait to see if you can win in today's tournament. The next character we're going to be talking about is Leo! Leo and Luna were forced to transfer schools and leave the moon. A month prior to Duel Academy's grand opening, one of the reactors built by the Dark Signers exploded. That reactor's name was Moment. Yes, everybody, I'm afraid that the moon has changed since uh, over this past year, and one of the major changes is that a lot of people had to evacuate. Leo was one of them, and with nowhere to live, Leo was luckily able to earn a slot in the Duel Academy school, where he could live on campus because you have to. It's on a freaking island. Anybody that anybody that is going to this school now lives on the campus. So luckily, Leo and Luna were able to transfer to this school. And I'm sorry for everybody on the moon base. I don't think everybody got out, but it was a catastrophic event. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and move into the next character. The next character, of course, is going to be Luna, another Duel Academy student. Luna and many other citizens of the five destinations were forced to leave the moon after a catastrophic explosion. Luna, honestly, is just happy to be here after losing their homes. Yeah, the fact that they were able to find a place to live is just super lucky for kids this young. They always expect that they're going to end up in an orphanage, but nope. They were able to get into Dual Academy's program. They're going to be going to the campus. They're going to be just fine. So, Leo and Luna, brand new Dual Academy students, and we're going to see if they learn anything here, and we're going to see if they can become the top students. The next character we're going to be talking about is Akiza Izinski. Akiza has been working for Kaiba Corp the past year. She believes Seto Kaiba has the ability to change the world for the better. She was told to finish her last year of school by Seto Kaiba. This last year of, uh, yeah, <laughs> this last year has been very transformative for Akiza Izinski. Um, she has been actually calming down and thanks to some therapy at Kaiba Corp and, you know, Seto Kaiba not wanting a completely insane person under his employ. Uh, yeah, he was able to get her the help she needed. So she is now back to her normal form. She has her hair rolled up again. She is going to be okay, folks. That does mean that her corrupted deck has been taken away. But it's okay, she's still a damn good uh, duelist, and she's going to be doing her last year of Duel Academy, her last year of schooling, since so she didn't really do that when she was in the cult. And we'll see how she does. She still full-on works for Kaiba Corp, though. This is one of Kaiba's right hands. <laughs> or left hand, whatever you want to call it. So, good luck to you, Akiza. I hope you do well in today's tournament. The next character we're going to be talking about is Chumley Huffington. He's back, everybody. Chumley was invited to the new and improved Duel Academy to finish his education. He was held back many years by the old Duel Academy, but Kaiba is willing to give diplomas to any accomplished duelist. And because Chumley was once a pro-level duelist back when, uh, 
it was easier to become a pro. Uh, he, you know, he got a slot in the Dual Academy campus, and, you know, Kaiba will easily give him a diploma if he just proves that he's a good duelist. So good luck to you, Chumley. Hopefully some of the new professors can help you out, actually teach you, you know, not hold you back. And I think that you are a really good duelist. You already proved it by becoming a pro. And if you could just do well in this school, you'll be able to graduate and continue your life. You could do whatever you want with your life. Once you have a diploma from Duel Academy, you can basically ask to get any job you want. So, let's go ahead and move on. The next character we're going to be talking about is Bella! Seto Kaiba was informed by Akiza that Bella was left orphaned after Akiza lost control. Yeah, if you were curious what happened to the kids when Akiza lost control, she abandoned them. 100%. So... Akiza, when she's in Rosewitch form, does not have all of her senses. She is just kind of an insane, murderous wrath person. And it takes quite a duelist to hold that back. So luckily, she's not crazy anymore and she remembers the kids needed help. And uh, Kaiba, to make up for this, managed to find Bella and place her in the Elementary Duel Academy program. So how did he find her? She ended up in an orphanage. How did Kaiba find the orphanage that had her? Kaiba actually supports every single orphanage in Do uh, Domino City. Every single or orphanage in Domino City is funded by Kaiba Corp. And you could probably already guess why. So let's go ahead and move on to our next character. The next character we're going to be talking about is Christopher. Christopher was also found in an orphan for an orphanage funded by Seto Kaiba. With Akiza's praise, Seto Kaiba is willing to place Christopher in the elementary program with other gifted children. Yes, the elementary program is not that big. It's going to be a very small, um, it's going to be a very small room size. So like for me, when I went to school, there was like 30, 25 to 30 kids in a single room uh, for high school. For them growing up, they're going to only have like 10 kids that they have to worry about. So they're going to have a very one-on-one -on -one time, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers. So that's great. They're going to learn a lot here. The next person we're going to be talking about is Dual Academy Security. Roland was hired on to keep the children at Dual Academy safe. Seto Kaiba was informed on all the past mishaps on the island and wanted to be prepared for anything. Roland has inspected the entire island and has found some suspicious stuff, but he's going to be keeping an eye on them. So yeah, we've lost Chairman Bella. You guys might remember her from uh, Industrial Illusions, but now we've gained Roland a character that will defend the school with his Gemini deck. And the students, of course. The next character we're going to be talking about is Mickey Hops! He made it, people! Mickey managed to become a student at Duel Academy thanks to his dad's connections. He is excited to be taught by the world's elite teachers and really wants to meet Seto Kaiba. Mickey Hops has made it, everybody. He is going to be attending Duel Academy, and I couldn't be more happy for him. I really hope you have a lot of fun here, Mickey, and I hope that uh, you duel all those bigger kids and you show them that you're the best. The next character we're going to be talking about is Strong Juk Yu. Strong left OCG Elementary after being invited to the new and improved Duel Academy. He loves that the school only focuses on dueling and that he gets to duel much bigger kids. Strong was so powerful in that tournament that he, he's only been in one tournament and he won that tournament. So I'm really excited to see how he does today. He's one of the four kings of OCG Elementary and I'm really hoping that he shows off his skills today. Let's see what Strong can do. The next character we're going to be talking about is Cyrus Truesdale. Here we go. Somebody that actually attended the original Duel Academy. Cyrus had mixed feelings about being invited back to Duel Academy. On the one hand, he gets to go to the rich private school, which can literally give him a diploma to do whatever he wants. On the other hand, his brother Zane hasn't been feeling well lately and has actually been feeling pretty poorly for the past couple months. Zane Truesdale is starting to suffer from heart problems. So hopefully that clears up. Hopefully that doesn't go anywhere bad because Cyrus is no longer staying with his brother. But hey, Cyrus is here back on the academy here to learn with brand new teachers. Hopefully they actually teach him something and he gets to improve his deck. The next character that's going to be attending Duel Academy is Serenity Wheeler! Serenity has become a pretty famous duelist since Battle City. Seto Kaiba personally invited her to attend his academy in order to boost popularity. 
She hopes to finish her education here. Serenity Wheeler is full on with dueling now. She loves it. It's not just the fact that her brother loves it now. She's just like, this is so much fun. Battle City was one of the biggest events she ever got to go to. It was one of the most entertaining events. She got to summon her best Red Eyes cards. She took down the Rose Duelist. She is literally the best of the best. And because Seto Kaiba needs to repair the Duel Academy rep reputation after... Pegasus or Yami Pegasus ruined it with his old Duel Academy. He wants somebody famous to be at his academy. So he invited VTubers, he invited Serenity, he invited a lot of people that you guys are going to be real excited to see. The next character we're going to be talking about is Tyranno Hasselberry. Tyranno was invited back to the new Duel Academy. He doesn't like that a bunch of young brats get to attend the academy now, but his new dino cards are ready to stomp anyone that gets in his way. Yes, Tyranno Hasselberry has been improving his deck over the past year, and maybe with these new teachers, he'll be able to improve them even more. So, good luck to you, Tyranno Hasselberry, and let's see who's up next. The next character we're going to be talking about is Chad! Princeton! Chaz it up, everybody! Chaz has been spending big money this past year. He managed to get some one-on-one -on -one time with high-ranking duelists and use that experience to buff his deck. Now he wants to finish school. I don't blame him. Once he finishes school at Duel Academy, he can go on to the Pro League and become a Pro Duelist. So if Chaz just keeps working hard, his dream can truly come true. Hopefully the teachers will, you know, help him fix up his deck here and there. A Light and Darkness Dragon deck doesn't seem to work perfectly well, but it can with the new support he's put in that deck. So, good luck to you, Chaz, the Mad Lad. The next character we're going to be talking about is Midori Hibiki, a professor of Duel Academy. Midori's life has improved drastically since Battle City. Her brother of officially retired from dueling and his heart troubles have ha, has not returned now that he takes it easy she had to duel seto kaiba for this job seto kaiba dueled all of the former professors all of them anybody that had a professor title and if they were good enough they got to keep their jobs midori habiki is one of those people that got to keep her job so now that she doesn't have to worry about her brother, she can focus 100% on the students, and she is going to be here today focusing on the students, making them better duelists. So good luck to you, Midori Abiki. The next character we're going to be talking about is Valian Crowler, a professor. Crowler was tested in a duel against Seto Kaiba. He failed to defeat Seto Kaiba, but his strategies and car combos did leave an impression. Crowler's growth the past years have really paid off. Yes, Crowler was kind of a joke professor when we first started off on the first season of Duel Academy, but as the time went on, we saw his deck improve and he became a really good teacher. He became a really good threat. And honestly, to be the best teacher, you need to be a good duelist. So that's what Crowler has become with his buffed up Ancient Gear deck. And now he got to keep his job, probably because his ultimate ancient gear golem reminds uh, Kaiba of ultimate blue eyes. That might be the only reason, but he's here and he's still good. So let's see how Crowler does against the new students. The next character we're going to be talking about is Bastion Misawa. Bastion went through a lot of cruel trials at the old Duel Academy. Despite this, he agreed to return to the new Duel Academy in order to finish his education. He also wants to be the number one student, so Seto Kaiba will endorse him. Yes, everybody, if you become the number one student at Duel Academy, Seto Kaiba himself will endorse you, and he might invite you into the Kaiba Corp Corporation. It's got, oh, Kaiba Corp Corp. He might invite you into Kaiba Corp, which is very funny. Bastion Misawa is no longer possessed. He got through all of that bullcrap from the old Duel Academy, but he got to keep the cards. So we'll see how he does today with his powerful Magnet Warrior deck. The next character we're going to be talking about is Bonaparte, the Vice Chancellor. Bonaparte dueled Kaiba like a man possessed in order to keep his job. The pure will shown in that duel impressed Seto Kaiba. Bonaparte now can continue his search with the Academy reopened. Bonaparte this past year has been completely destroyed. He cannot find his freaking son. He is in dire straits. He doesn't know what to do. But 
he has a brand new will right now, a brand new hope that he can find his child because Duel Academy has reopened. The search can continue and he managed to keep his job through his will alone. Good luck to you, Bonaparte. And I hope that you actually, you know, are successful. The next character we're going to be talking about is Emma Hops. Thanks to Papa Hops Connections, Emma and her brother are students at the new Duel Academy. Their mom is really going to miss them, but this opportunity is just too good to pass up. Emma is so excited to be here. So Emma and her brother are now living on campus, which means their mom has a lot more free time. So we'll see what their mom is doing at a later date. But Emma is here, and we're going to see how she duels today. The next character we're going to be talking about is Missy! Missy left Duel Academy a long time ago thanks to the help of the Admiral. She felt that the old Duel Academy wasn't safe and got out of there before anything bad could happen to her. Now she is back to finish her education. Missy was one of those people that pulled a Blair, but before Blair even got the idea to, where she was just like, this academy is not safe and it is not helping anything. I'm getting the hell out of here. Now Missy did it to protect her own life. Blair did it to try and close down the academy, which was successful for at least a little while. The next character we're going to be talking about is Reginald. Reginald was full-on traumatized by the horrors, I misspelled that, of Old Duel Academy. This past year of therapy managed to help him regain some composure. Now he returns to the island to put his therapy to the test. Reginald Von Howard has been going through it. He had to witness the worst of the worst things that have happened at old, uh, at the Old Duel Academy. And we're about to have the most drastic measures of exposure therapy because he's returning to the new Duel Academy, which is supposed to be improved and supposed to have way better protections thanks to Roland. The next character we're going to talk about is Koyo Hibiki, a new professor. Koyo has retired. Oh, wait, sorry, has, uh, has been retired for about a year now. His heart troubles seem to be under control and he can casually duel for fun now. He wants to give back to the next generation by teaching. Koyo Hibiki has taken on a professor role now that he is no longer able to duel in pro tournaments. Pro level tournaments put way too much strain on his heart, but here at a duel academy level, he can easily teach the kids. And yes, he will be dueling today, but it's not. There's no stakes involved. There are no stakes involved. And he did not have to duel Seto Kaiba to get this job. Seto Kaiba and Koyo have known each other for quite a while, and by being top ten duelists way back in the past, so Koyo got the job for free, basically. Good luck to you, Koyo. I hope you teach those kids something. The next character we're going to be talking about is Terry Quads, a new student. Terry is a student that was forced to move around a lot due to their parents' jobs. He attended OCG Elementary as a kid and Heartland Middle as a preteen before the lockdown happened. A lockdown none of you even know about. But Terry is here today as a high schooler at the brand new Duel Academy. And he cannot wait to earn that diploma. He can't wait to fight to be the number one student. This kid has been all around the world and has access to some of the strongest cards you've ever seen. I hope Terry shows off why he's so powerful in today's tournament. The next character we are going to be talking about is the Chancellor of the New and Improved Duel Academy. Everybody say hello to... That's right, everybody! Prana Taker is the new Chancellor! Prana Taker has been enjoying retirement, but was approached by Seto Kaiba after Battle City. He planned to take over Duel Academy and wanted her to be the next Chancellor. Oh, sorry, to be the Chancellor to the next generation. She accepted. 
Prana Taker, after dueling in Battle City for the kids, realized that she still has some, you know, she still has some seeds to sow. She still has some things she wants to give back to the world, and she is going to do so as the Chancellor of the New Academy, which means the first ever King of Games is now the one running Duel Academy while Seto Kaiba does whatever he does. Seto Kaiba may own it, but Prana Taker runs it. Which is really cool because Seto and Ka Prana used to have a big rivalry, but now that they're older, like Seto just wants to give back to the community apparently, probably nothing nefarious going on. And Prana's just like, you know what, I'm already retired, I had a lot of fun at Battle City, I dueled Yami Merrick into uh, to Game 3, like it was so hype. Even with her old deck and her old strategies, which she is not willing to abandon, she is still a top-notch duelist. She is still an embodiment of what it means to be a king of games. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next character. The next character that will be attending our new Duel Academy is... Zachary D. Zachary was accepted to Duel Academy one week before the opening ceremony. He earned his spot by challenging Seto Kaiba to a match while Kaiba was out promoting the school. He took Kaiba to Game 3. Zachary D was not supposed to be attending Duel Academy, but one week before this, while Kaiba was on tour, you know, saying, hey, Duel Academy's opening up, I want everybody in the world to know about it, Zachary D managed to challenge him to a match and managed to take Kaiba to Game 3. His deck is super powerful. Zachary D is one of those characters you need to watch out for, as it does have to do with chaos. The next character we are going to be talking about is the final character that will be attending Duel Academy's opening ceremony, ceremony tournament. Not every student is going to be at this tournament, but a lot of them are. And that final character is... Shoma Yusa, one of the four kings of OCG Elementary. Shoma is a young boy that used to live in the country with his older sister. She was the only person he could duel out there until she left for Tokyo. Uh, left to Tokyo for work. So there was a time when Shoma was living in the countryside and can only get access to older Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I'm not joking, he only had access to vanilla crap back then. And this was when he was very young. And since there was no one else to duel but his sister, who was a pro-level duelist at the time, and still is, uh, he got to practice with her all the time. Then she had to leave for Tokyo, which means he also had to leave the countryside. While he did live there for a couple years, the only person he could duel was himself. But he then moved on and went to OCG Elementary, where he became the number one student. So... The number one student of OCG Elementary was obviously invited to Duel Academy, the brand new and improved one. He is here today to show off his old school deck. He does still like old school monsters, but thanks to a year of Battle C a year after Battle City passing, a lot of the newer stuff has been gained by him as well. But I will say this, while some students at the school focus on synchro monsters, Shoma Yusa is more about fusion. That is all the characters I have to talk about with you today, everybody. I hope you're very excited for the Duel Academy opening ceremony. I want you all to start spamming who your new favorite character or old favorite character is. Which character will you be rooting for? Will it be a faculty member? Will it be a professor? Will it be a student? Which student? Which faculty member? Which professor? Who is your number one vote? But that is it. I'll see you all live right about now. Or at least soon. Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to today's tournament of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era Opening Ceremony. I hope you're all very excited to be here today. I hope you're all in a good mood because we have a lot of returning characters, a lot of new characters, and just we're just going to have a lot of fun today. So, 
if you're excited we're going to be going ah, it's the same haircut we're going to be going into our tournament the first fight of our tournament today let's get those predictions ready will be mokuba kaiba versus vice chancellor bonaparte happy birthday to all the birthday people in chat and let's get ready because it's almost time to start Mokuba and Vice Chancellor Bonaparte are going to be fighting at the new and improved Duel Academy, now owned by Kaiba Corp and Kaiba himself. I hope you're all excited to hear about that. It's almost like we're going to what the anime was supposed to be. So, without further ado, let's dive on into our tournament and let's see how these two student or two characters do. Here we are, everybody. I'm going to go find their faces as we speak, and uh, we're going to have some fun. Bonaparte versus Mokuba. All right, Mokuba, Mokuba, there he is, Mokuba, and I am ready. Let's see, is Blair still King Games? I'm afraid that since we are a year in the future, I will not be revealing anything. Anything you're going to learn about the future will be learned in future tournaments. So, Mass, uh, but lots of change, a lot has changed, that's all I can tell you. Mass Dragon is gone, and Mass Dragon is gone, Mokuba's got his stuff, but Mass Dragon returns. He's addicted to it, apparently. As long as he has his trap, he's strong, but he also needs to draw the right card. He doesn't have any of his dragons in his hand at this moment, and yet he still can overpower most of Bonaparte's cards. Toy Magician doesn't do much. Marauder Captain has been stolen, I don't know why. I don't think I would have done that. I really don't think I would have done that. That's a, that's a little strange. Okay. It looks like uh, Bonaparte does not have his boss monster, though, so it's not like he's losing out on anything. Oh, everybody's decks have changed, guys. A year has passed. Like, there's a few decks that didn't change much, but everyone's decks have pretty much changed. So, hello, Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. Goodbye, face down. Toy Knight didn't stand a chance. Toy Magician didn't stand a chance. And you know what, Mr. Vice Chancellor Man? It's time for a Synchro Summon. Everybody say hello to Lights and Dragon. And with this monster, he'll have no chance of losing in terms of power. So you're in a lot of trouble there, Bonaparte, and you need to play your trap. I gave you traps to give you a chance. Please use them. All right, Starry Knight, Starry Dragon is here, everyone, and we're going to see just how good it can be because it's going in. It throws away the monster. It attacks directly. Bonaparte's life points are wide open, and here it comes, the light and dragon. Yep, Mokuba takes game number one against the Vice Chancellor. Granted, Mokuba was always a good duelist. No matter what tournament he was in, he was always like top four. So let's go ahead and let's get into the next fight and let's see who's going to win it all. Will it be Mokuba or will the Vice Chancellor show off some of his new support? Which he showed us none of it in that last duel. All right, see this? Oh, no, actually, that spell card fixes it. I was going to say this hand is bad, but no. That, that spell card fixes the whole problem. Marauding Captain for a Goblins. All right, Goblins can help you. That'll, that'll do something. Yeah. Oh, crap. No, you're going to die. You better have a damn good trap card waiting. That was a bad choice, Mokuba, but I'm sure you're fine. Even a 2,500 beater could put uh, old Bonaparte in a bad spot. And Indomitable Fighter Lele. And yes, Sayariu is on the field. How are you going to beat this Light Dragon Master? You're not. <laughs> You're absolutely not. And with the double stamping destruction, we're about to see a thousand burn. And he can even protect himself with Mirage Dragon. So this situation's getting worse by the second. Enemy controller be damned. You should have at least used... Oh, I guess it wouldn't have worked. Uh, Toy Magician be damned. And there it is. Mako winning the Battle City Tournament, make him a king of games. You won't get to find out until afterwards. Sorry. That all has to do with the things that happen after Battle City. Anything after Battle City will be revealed, not, to, not found out today. Today is one of the things you found out. The school reopened. <laughs> the school has reopened, everybody. And Mokuba, you're going to take this game so easily. You're so strong. You're so goddamn strong. Holy crap. You're going to be literally the king of your brother's academy. Though there is no king of games at this dual academy. That's not how it works here. Everybody at this academy will be ranked by number. Uh, no. Right now, we are not going to have a tournament tomorrow. Though I would like to say, I'm going to take this opportunity to say, thank you all for helping me achieve Twitch Partner. 
You all are amazing. And for those of you curious about the tournament that's come, the special tournament that's coming up for all of those big donators, it might take a little longer than expected simply because there were so many goddamn donations that it was insane. It was insane. So it's coming, but it might take one extra week because I just also not everyone's giving me their decks yet. So yeah, there we go. Mokuba completely wrecks Bonaparte. It's not even a challenge. Somebody in this tournament has to challenge Mokuba. We can't just leave this kid unchallenged. It's not right for him to be the top duelist at his brother's school. People are going to think he's cheating. Is he cheating? He might be cheating. Either way, let's go ahead and see who's up next. The next fighters in our tournament are Leo versus Alda V-Stormer. Alda V-Stormer will now be fighting Leo. So let's see which of these characters can put up the best fight. Yeah, baby. And you know they all got some new support. So this is going to help out a lot. Alda V-Stormer. There we go. And we're going to see which of these duels can do it. Leo's biggest weakness is he needs to get Power Tool Dragon. And sometimes he just doesn't. And I would say Alda does not have a big weakness. She just doesn't have the fastest deck in the world. It's a good deck overall, though. It's like an average good deck. All right. Alda is ready. Leo is ready. I am ready. Alda starts off with a flying Kemakiri. Nothing wrong with that. Harpies can only hit one of those. But it looks like he has a good hand. He can summon Scopin into Power Tool. Scopin. Staples. Power Tool. That's our boy. Leo actually did it. I'm proud of him. Leo doing his job. United we stand. Double Tool C and D. Double Tool C and D. Who cares? Damage is good. Junk Box. Staples. And United We Stand will do so much now. Power Tool C and D, yep. Power Tool Dragon with the Power Tool makes the most sense. With 4,900 attack, there goes Staples. What are we doing here? All right, Staples makes a weird choice, but it does not matter. I guess it, yeah, you know, it didn't matter. None of that matters. Just, just get out something. Flying Kamakiri is going to have to take another hit, but this one's going to hurt. 2,700 damage. Alda needs a good spell, trap, monster effect. They need Harpies. Harpies is the only way you're beating Power Tool, that's for sure. And we just have our set. Well, we do have a back row card, but we do have some sets. Or Ryza. Ryza's a good point. Ryza would do good, and she does run that. Uh, United, we he just top deck United, we stand naturally. That's crazy. No! That's so good with United, we stand! God says no! God will not allow it, everybody. Use your hand of power. No. Unallowed. You could still summon that other card in your hand to buff your monster. Yeah, I thought you'd be too afraid. Coward. Because of your fear, you're not going to be able to win. Oh, no, you will do it just on main phase two when it's useless. Very nice. Very nice, Leo. I see this school still has some stuff it can teach you. All right. Alda's waiting for her. Oh, no. It doesn't work with Power Tool Dragon, though. If it worked with Power Tool Dragon, that would have been way worse. Hunter Owl is here. That card is scared. Well, it goes into defense mode. He gets a counter. I think it's a clock counter or something. 8100 attack is pretty scary. I know that's going to be the record. of That might be the record of the entire day. There's no Zane anymore. We're not in season one of Duel Academy anymore. So things are changing. And the clock counter will be used again. Now it's at a pretty good attack stat. Windstorm! And because of that, she bought herself a turn. Alda's not leaving. She's got to keep fighting. Do not give up, Alda V-Stormer. Just draw the right cards. Where are they? Dad, damn it. Where's your harpies? You need to weaken this power tool dragon and then flip everything for Hunter Owl. Where's Ryza? More clock counters. It gave her, it got rid of it. 3,000 burn! It can do 3,000. I didn't know that card could do 3,000 burn. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, we'll take it. Leo, uh, Leo takes that right there. We're going to go into game number two. We're going to see what this character can do. Leo had a very amazing opening hand where he already had his Synchro Monster. It's kind of like watching the Kiza duel. But now we got to see what Leo can do without it. All right. Yep. As I said, without it. Look at that hand. All right. We got ourselves flying Kamakiri. And Radeon. Radeon's coming in. United We Stand is coming in. And Leo's going to destroy. So Radeon is very powerful, but she could find a way to beat it. Hunter Owl is probably not going to be the way to beat it, but it's an attempt, I understand. 
Heart of the cards, Alda. Heart of the cards. Alda has no... Well, actually, no. That buys her time. She has bought herself some time, unless Leo's got something to pop spell cards. Leo's top deck is Vidion, which does not stop spell cards. Well, that what is, okay, we're going to kill a face down card. And we got ourselves Magnum. Sure. Now do we stand works really good with Radeon, who busts himself no matter what. Oh, it's gone. All right, well, that's a big shame. There's no uh, Radeon anymore, so what are you going to do? Harpy's Brother! Premature Burial for Hunter L! That's 3,800 damage in a single turn! And it looks like Alda V Stormer has full control of this duel. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all. And we got Borden. Borden can attack. Oh, there's no point. Swords is up. As long as Swords is up, Borden's useless. All right, heart of the cards. We got Battle Storm. It pops the trap. It's gone. The attacks go through. That was a wasted attack, but whatever. Here comes another one. Next turn, Alda V Stormer will take this game. This was a much closer one where either character can win. Either character, whatever. He needs Scopin. That is not Scopin. If he had drawn Scopin, then Junkbox would have mattered. But without Scopin, it doesn't. Yep, because then he could have at least Synchro Summoned. And they're dead. He just used everything because he knew it was over. The duel looks like it's over. I think we're going to have to give it to him. Whoa, what is this? It's the Dark Storm Dragon, the boss monster. But Staples counters the boss. Oh, no, you needed three monsters. You didn't know. You didn't know. Scope. Oh, no scopes. All right, that uh, staple card is probably one of the most annoying cards ever. We're going to see what you top deck. What do you top deck? Hunter Owl Birthright bringing back Harpy's brother. And Darkstorm is not going into attack mode. Is it really stuck? What's going on here? What the hell? Stables can't stop all of you, right? Come on. Punch him. Oh, United We Stand will be kind of annoying, but it's just to use it. It's still just attack him. No fear. He can't stop all of you. Monster Aborn, we're going to get out flying Kamakiri. Battlestorm gets rid of United We Stand. Okay, this turn you just decided to attack. So last turn they didn't feel like it, I, I guess. Darkstorm goes in, and with her boss monster, she's ending this duel. That is it, everybody. Game number two goes to Alda V Stormer. Yeah, she's like, you cheated. You got your power tool dragon on the first turn. Come on. That's not allowed. So let's go ahead and get into game number three. It's fun because Alda hasn't even showed off her new support yet. But maybe one day. Mm-hmm. Potto Greed. Foolish Burial. Okay, Foolish Burial throws away. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's very good. Good job, Alda. Flying Kamakiri is going to work well, too. Staples is okay, I guess. Potto Greed, are you going to get the card? Yep, they're scoping. Okay. Well, as good as her deck could be, it doesn't matter now. None of this matters now. Flying Kamakiri can attempt to stall. Flying Kamikiri, can, he always starts with Flying Kamikiri, but that hand is uh, that hand is going to work really well for Leo when he synchros Shokuns, and now he just needs one United We Stand, and his monster will be unstoppable. The Power Tool Dragon. Defense mode's fine, just because it's that freaking strong. All right, a bunch of Power Tools and a Premature. You didn't even choose United We Stand? I guess? Why'd you choose Scopin'? All right, Leo needs to... Good thing Leo's coming to this academy. Remember, this is the opening ceremony tournament. They haven't taught him crap yet. Oh, it's because you knew that she had harpies. You saw the future, cheater. Pot agreed she needs something crazy because right now she's not... Oh, Sonic Shooter, attack directly! Yeah! <laughs> Sonic Shooter! Garuda the Wind Spirit! You can't be Power Tool. He's lucky. He's smart. He put that in defense mode. God, he's so smart. If it wasn't in defense mode, he would have... Oh, now you want United We Stand. He would have lost everything. All right, God says no! That was actually a good use of that. That was a good use. Alvaro, thank you so much for subbing for eight months. You're freaking awesome. Yes, you do not want any equipped spells on that creature. So the attacks are going to come through because Hunter Owl must be defeated. Okay. As long as Alda can't special summon or tribute summon, then they're going to be in a very, very bad spot. And there's no chance of a comeback. But she, this is one of her only shots. And that shot is gone. It looks like Leo's in a good spot. Exa oh, I know it's random. I've, I've played Power Tool Dragon. He could pick three Uniteds if he wanted to. 
And then he'll just end up with one guaranteed. Like, watch. Okay, well, you didn't do it that time. So he ends up two out of three chance of getting united. And since you didn't kill it while you had the chance, Leo's going to end this duel. That is it. With exact damage, Leo will be moving forward in the tournament. Not bad from all the v Stormer. You know, she took a game on Leo, but at the same time, she did not pull off any new support, which is fine. There's more. T there's going to be more time at Duel Academy. She's got time to learn her deck and stuff. Improve her deck, all that fun stuff. That's what going to school is all about, is improving. So, let's go ahead and let's get into our bracket. And let's see who's up next. To the next character, Cyrus Truesdale versus the security of the school, Roland. Roland versus Cyrus. Okay. Let's see just how strong both these characters are. I'd love to find where Roland is. There he is. All right. All right. The old Duel Academy doesn't teach crap, but maybe the new one will. And here we go. Oh, that's very nice of you, not host. Thank you so much for continuing a gift sub. That's cool. Much appreciated. So let's go ahead. Let's see these characters fight. I'm going to go find Cyrus Truesdale. I'm going to go find Roland. And we're going to see just how strong both these characters are. School security versus uh, a legacy student. All right. We're going to have ourselves a set. Nothing wrong with that. And Roland's got a pretty good hand because of, uh, you know, how powerful these beaters are. Oh, Steamboard's actually... That's... Look, Steamboard is good in defense mode. People forget it, but it's a good card in defense mode. It's nice and safe. And Cyrus has Drill Roar... What? Power Bond? Whoa, what? Holy shit, he got it! Super Vehicle Roy Jumbo Drill! 6,000 damage! And he does piercing! It's over! It's over! This man had the luckiest hand in the world! That's Jumbo Drill! Oh, wait, hold up. That top deck was god tier. That was a god tier top deck. That was the only way you were going to stop that. All right, Cyrus, you get to hit him once in the face, but it's not with Jumbo Drill, so figure something else out. Terraforming? Yeah, I guess your field spell's pretty good, but you still need a monster to make it count. Yo, he used everything for that fusion. He put it all in. That top deck saved Roland's life. Literally, if it wasn't for that top deck, the duel would have been over. Holy crap, that was good. All right, Sai, this is your best chance. Draw something you can use. Met Submarine Roid, sure. It has good defense, I understand. I get you. Trap? No trap. Okay, not good. Not good. He probably has another power bond in his hand. Oh, that car can do it. Yup, that'll do it. Attack comes through, and next turn it'll be attacking twice, and Cyrus will be dealt with. So, Cyrus, we're in a lot of trouble here. Dark Hole. Wow! That's valuable if you have a monster to summon. You do! Hey, that monster can refresh you. That's good. Steamboard and Drill Roar are back. Look at you. You refreshed yourself. And with your field spell, it actually can do stuff. But you didn't play your field spell. Even though you know how to play it, because we've had multiple tournaments where you play it, no problem. Maybe it only works in a battle against another monster. I don't know. All I know is he probably messed up there. He needs to learn from the school. He does lose this, but he has Steamroid. But he does have Steamroid. All right. Let's see what happens. Steamroid is here. Steamroid's going to run over the opponent. These life points are pretty close. All right. The life points may be close, but we don't have much time left. Any monster can beat Steamroid. Steamroid can beat a monster, but only once, and then it dies. Yep. That's about the whole value of Steam Steamroid. The field spell wouldn't help him there, though. He needs The field spell is only useful for his big, big defenders. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's one of them! I was That's what I meant! Yeah! Yeah, Cyrus! Let's go! Eat that monster! You hunger! You hunger for the truck! The truck is here! The truck is... Um, okay, he eats it. He's hungry. Now, granted, we know Roland's been saving something. Roland's been saving something this entire time. Oh, wow, he drew all three UFO turtles. Eventually, it took a while. We're on turn 14, for crying out loud. All right, Harpies destroys it. Here comes the, I don't know that monster, but here it comes. And Cyrus is at 700 life points. This duel has been pretty damn intense, but anything could still happen. What's going to happen? 
Using his uh, new roid monster, he throws away all the monsters! And with it, he fusion summons Jumbo Drill Roy! And it's over! All he has to do is attack! Cyrus Truesdale has done it with Mixeroid! Cyrus! He's been- look, he's been living with his brother for the past year. He's learned something. He's learned something. Alright, that's Cyrus. Let's go ahead and let's get into game number two. But Roland's also good. Roland has comeback potential. He has good cards. He just, you know, got a little screwed. That, it was a good duel. It was really close. That was like 700 life point difference there. That is good for Roland if he can get two in the grave. That is really good for Roland. Oh, he already got it this early. That's crazy. What do you get? Steamroid, man, that makes sense. Steamroid's a good card. Steamroid is a legit good card. Oh, yeah, 350 life points. You're right. Yeah, he paid half. Yeah, that's see, it was a good duel. Dark Valkyria. Uh, oh, there it is. There's the Roid I was we just saw. That's Mixer Roid, one of his newest Roid monsters. Yeah, Dragon Roid and Mixer Roid. Power Bond! It's the Double Drill Roid. Are you ready for the Pair Psych Roid? <laughs> hey, at least this one does not cost him much when it comes to Power Bond. And with this, he's got double steamroid. They're running over the opponent. And it looks like Cyrus is doing everything he can before, well, we all see a dark hole coming, but he doesn't see it. If his opponent didn't have the dark hole, you'd actually be like on top of the world right now, Cyrus. But this guy, you know what? He always has what he needs. What the fuck? Roland, did you just make the huge mistake? Now, don't get me wrong. This is a good monster. It's not beating a pair of psychroid power bonded. Sir, if you dark hole at the end of this turn, you might upset me. You could just dark hold, then did all of that, and then you lose nothing. You could lose nothing. And still have a call of the haunted in your back pocket. Oh, his swords are still in the duel. Pot agreed, Cyrus needs to get himself back in the duel as well. Mixer Roy, he's going to get himself a monster with all of these cards put together. He can make himself a Steam Gyroid. And Chuck Roy should be in defense mode in my opinion. Yep, you messed up hard. Cyrus does... Look, Swords makes the AI play worse. We already have proof of this. We already knew. The duel's over. The winner's probably going to be this other guy. Swords makes the AI play worse. We knew this. They both threw the duel. <laughs> Mixeroy do. Mixeroy could search out a card when it's on the field and then you throw yourself away for that. Or when it's in the grave, you throw away monsters and then the level of the monster... You, uh, out of all the monsters you throw away, they all count as one level and then you special summon a fusion from your fusion deck with that level. If it's a roid monster. But it only lasts for that turn. You only get one shot with it. So with swords, it's worthless. It's a horrible effect. If your opponent gets swords, you can straight up lose. Because, you know, AI brain. They don't know how to deal with swords. Pot agreed. That's a pretty good hand for Roland. And Monster Reborn set. Never like to see that, but very good hand for Roland. And Mixer Roid immediately. So it's effect when it's on the field, just summon a Roid from your deck. He likes Steam Roid. Steam Roid makes the most sense. It's a big beater. It could defeat a monster as powerful as that. No traps from... So I am very surprised he never gets his traps. Half of his new support is traps, and he is not drawing any of them. Oh, Monster Born comes through, and Mixeroid has been stolen. That surprise... Oh, no, it's going to be tributed, isn't it? Ah, no surprise at all. On field, it's a Lone Fire Blossom for Roids, yes. In Grave, you could re remove, it from, remove it from play and all Roids from play, and then the number of cards you do, that's the level monster you could summon. So six, you could summon Steam Gyroid. Five, you could summon Parasite Roid. Eight, you could summon Super Jumbo Roid. Nine, you could summon Mecha Roid, whatever, the Super Fighting Robot. And then if you have 12, my god, the duel's over. And speaking of the duel being over, Cyrus, as cool as your new cards may be, I don't think you're going much farther. This is the security of the school. If he couldn't beat a Cyrus, then what's the point of him even working here? All right, Cyrus is done. That's it. Sorry, Cy, you showed us that your deck has some cool things about it, but you are out of this duel. Attacks come... Oh, Gyroid, wow. Okay, that might save you some life points, but you're still done. Because now, even if you power bond, it, it's for what? It's for game. Exactly. Power bond and you lose. Steamroid is here. Steamroid can't beat the powerful monster, so it does not matter. Top deck Dark Hole, I'm afraid we don't live in fantasy land. We live in the real world where you have to deal with two Chinthonian Emperor Dragons. 
All right, get him out of here. Cyrus, you're fun. You're pretty good. Cyrus, you, you showed that you had some potential, but you never drew any of your traps. I don't even know what ha hand you have right now. They must be a bunch of Roid cards, and that's gone. Good job, Dark Valkyria. And Roland shows you why he can defend the school, because he can defeat a tactical Roid deck, which isn't much. But hey, he's still in the tournament. Maybe he'll show us more. But yeah, no, Cyrus was fun. He's fun. He's going to be learning more at this school. His deck's going to get even better. I'm excited. I'm excited to see his growth. And Roland, you're, you're always going to be solid. You kind of have to be. You're defending the students for crying out loud. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. Oh, Roland moves forward. The next duelists are Dorothy versus the Mad Lad Chaz. That's right, everybody. Chaz is here. Chaz it up in chat. Monjome Thunder, do whatever you love. Me personally, I'm going to Chaz it up or I'm just going to go Mad Lad. But I'm going to look for Dorothy as well, because I have not seen her in a minute. She, she has not been used in a duel for quite a while. And obviously, she has not improved her deck that much. She's one of those characters that focuses more on her job than she does on dueling. We're lucky that she knows how to duel at all in this game. All right, Chaz it up, folks. Chaz it up. Dorothy fans, wherever you may be hiding, come on out. Crawl out of your holes. She's back in the game. I know in a lot of people's gameplays, a lot of playthroughs, you'll never get to see Dorothy. A lot of people's channels, you'll never get to see Dorothy. But she's here today, so give her your respect. Give her your love. All right, Dorothy has an actual decent hand. There's some, you know, there's some value there. She, she can make do with that. And Chaz is showing what he will do to her if he does, if she does not get rid of that monster. Okay, well, that's not good. She did not draw Manju. Senju is nice, but not when you two have two Skull Guardians in your hand. All right, attack goes through a little strangely. That he did. I highly doubt he does not have a monster to summon. Oh, calm down. It's not... You, you can already guarantee that he does not have a rocket deck. No way in hell I would allow that. Monster Aborn comes through. Yeah, it turns out there's... Uh, in, the, in the manga, he didn't need any tuners. Uh, but here he needs tuners. <laughs> he needed a tuner. All right, TT comes through, and it's gone. And Birthright! Dorothy is showing off! She can win! All right, 2750 comes through. And what are you going to do, Chaz? She's got a huge advantage against you. you got a dark hole. All right, now what? Do you really don't have a monster to summon? What is your hand? What is his hand if he has not summoned a second monster? He has only drawn that monster. All she needs is a ritual and she wins. Okay, well, that's not her ritual. All she needs is her ritual and she wins. Because he can't draw a second monster. Oh, there's a second monster. There we go. His value has returned. And that element magician loves your tie. Oh, man, he got swords. That's why. This Element Magician loves your fire typing because it buffs her. And send you... Stop drawing the wrong one! You already... Okay, she has three Skull Guardians. She has three. What is she supposed to do? She drew two of them. One of them she searched. Oh, here we go. It's Light and Goddamn Darkness Dragon. Nobody matters anymore. Skull Guardian doesn't matter. Your monsters don't matter. You got to deal with the LAD. How are you going to deal with the Mad Lad? It's too late, Manju. It's too damn late. You should at least try to activate your effect to weaken Lion Darkness Dragon, but you're too dumb for that, so it's okay. Lion and Darkness Dragon will slowly rip through the opponent while Chaz bricks because he can't draw a second monster to save his life. You know what he reminds me of? Reminds me of Mokuba. Maybe not nowadays Mokuba, but back then Mokuba. That's who he reminds me of. I did hear about that, Burdock. I did. A lot of people have been talking. Oh, is that a zero attack point monster? If I swear to God, if you attack with it. Who programmed this game? Like, that should never happen. That should never happen. Ever. What just happened there? Never. But he, they programmed it like this. Hi, Assault Wyvern. At least I like you. Do you have anything you could special summon? No. 
There's like four monsters in his deck that he could special summon with Assault Wyvern, which is more than freaking Kaiba. Oh, actually, no, unless you count level fours. I meant level five, level five and up, and obviously I'm not talking about Lad. You're right, Lad negates. Good point. I will forget. All right, well, we got... How about this? How about just damage? And that is it. With the Lad. Chaz has won. Also, I feel really bad for Dorothy. She should have had her Skull Guardian way earlier than that. If she had her Skull Guardian earlier, things would have been okay. Because then she he would have never built up monsters for tribute. Let's get into game number two. Let's hope she doesn't draw freaking only monster cards and gets the spell card as well. It's Look, it's the bane of a ritual deck. You guys will see plenty of that soon enough in my other Let's Play. What's it called? Eternal Duelist Soul. Spoilers. Again, again, drew a monster and only drew Senju instead of freaking Manju. Didn't even start Senju, which had at least would have thinned out your deck. And Assault Wyvern does its job. Let's see if he has one of his many cards he could summon. No, not right now. I have no clue what's in his hand then. Thank you for clipping that. I appreciate it. Saku, good. Classic. That'll work. Send you thinning out the deck. Good. Good. You might as well get them all out. You might as well. You're probably going to draw a third send you. Because the game gods hate you, Dorothy. The game gods hate you. And he's got two Assault Wyverns. So Sakuratsu Armor is going to do its job. Goodbye. And Assault Wyvern number two. Very good. Anything new that he drew? No. Unlucky. All right. Heart of the cards. Shining Angel actually has some value. There you go. Next things next. Let's see what we got. Draw a card. It's totally the hell are you doing? Don't do it. You know, it's a little... Oh, wait, you have something. And this... Oh, attacks Dragonute. God damn it. God freaking damn it. <laughs> God damn it, the Chaz. Oh, yeah, baby. It's time for the boss monster. Everybody say hello. Using one wing weaver, she can now create... The all-powerful Skull Guardian. A monster that could beat Harpy's Pet Dragon by 50. And Totem Dragon and all that is dead. Send you searches for another one. And yeah, it's gone. <laughs> but Chaz, in my opinion, loses out on, on that one. Chaz wants to be a slacker. He dreams of the slacker lifestyle. Totem Dragon will return. Let's see if he gets any luck out of it. Yes, he does have a tribute. Yes, it's the lad. The mad lad is here. And now it's going to be very hard for Dorothy to come back. The mad lad is here. Yeah, it's not going to work, but you might as well activate. She doesn't know. All right, the AI in Tac Force 7 at least knows to at least get rid of as many attack points as you can. In this game, if it cannot activate it, it seems like they will not activate, which means Lad counters AI. So if he ever gets Lad, there's a huge advantage for Chaz. But since it does take two tributes, it might not be the... Callie, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, my cat jumped in front of the TV. I can't see right now. All right, Lad and Lad is not a safe thing to summon next to each other, but that's A-OK -okay because they already won the duel. And there she goes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let's go and get into the next duel. Oh, she has all of her rituals already? You're right. That's a shame. Well, then hopefully that gives hope that they'll uh, use something. Sucks for Dorothy, but she's not here for dueling. A Duel Academy opening ceremony is more of a rite of passage than anything. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. The next character's dueling in our tournament will be Sadie! Alright, Sadie's a little better than Dorothy in my opinion. Um, Yeah, Sadie's a little better than Dorothy. And she has to fight Prana. Maybe not that good. <laughs> I know Sadie's a little better, but I don't know if she can fight freaking Prana Taker. This was, I know it's been a long time. But this was the first ever King of Games. And yes, I know her strategies are really old school, but this is the new Chancellor for a reason. Anybody that was there for Battle City, which was most of you, thank you very much, knows that she took Merrick to Game 3. She literally took Merrick to Game 3, and the only reason Merrick lost in that tournament, I truly believe that Merrick could have won that tournament. Hand to God, I think he could have beat Mako. But he got cheated. I think he got cheated out of the tournament. I don't know if anyone else believes me. I don't care if you do or don't. I swear to God, Yami Mera could have won that whole thing. If it wasn't for being unlucky against Yami Bakora. And I do mean purely unlucky. Like, 
the worst luck was on his side. So let's go ahead and let's get into this duel. Yummy. No, Sadie Prana. There she is. Prana taken. And Sadie. Very nice. All right, guys. Who do you guys think will win this one? Me, personally, always go with the king. Prana. Old school, yes, but knows what she's doing. It's not like uh, Sadie's not old school. Funny enough, both of their bosses have the same attack, though. All right, Sacred Crane. That does beat most of Prana's hand. Not all of it, but most of it. All right, Zombie Master comes through. And Soul. Okay, well, that'll do some damage, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and do some damage there as well. That's pretty good. So, good job, Master uh, Zombie Master. That's pretty cool. Prana Taker's doing good work. We have ourselves double set. Double set is real nice, but Prana's going to get some more monsters out. I'd just go Fear. Yeah, let's get Fear from the Dark on there. Fear from the Dark gets rid of the Light Hex Seal. And now with 1800 attack, it looks like old, uh, old Sadie's in trouble. I don't think Sadie stands much of a chance without Polly activating. And I don't see Polly activating right now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Getting Twitch Partner is one of the biggest accomplishments I've ever had as a creator. Now the next thing I need is to get uh, 100k on YouTube and then I'm done. And then I done, I, I've accomplished all my goals. After that, the rest is gravy. Alright, Maiden. Maiden of the, of the Forgiving. Rip and Sadie. Aww. <laughs> Monster of Born Steel Sacred Crit. Wait, do you get to draw a card if you do it from your opponent's graveyard or is it just from your own? Dude, that's good. Wow! What a top deck! Are you serious? That Sacred Crane turned into game? Holy crap! That's a King of Games for you! That is the original King of Games play! Knowing how to use your opponent's monsters. See, look at that. Look at that. How do you how could you not respect that? That's awesome. Oh. Oh man. That's great. That is absolutely great. Let's get into game two. That's a she you she is Yugi level. Don't forget, Duelist Kingdom was her and Yugi. Game three going all the way. Battle City is probably the most legendary tournament, but Duelist Kingdom is probably the second most legendary when it comes to our story. Alright. Now we're gonna go ahead and see. Double cost on, ill bud, zombie master, sure, a lot of interesting stuff there. And Harpy's good, good. Good play from Sadie. She's gonna get rid of a problematic trap card, magic cylinder. And Sadie has no advantage. Ill bud would be super dangerous to be going up against. I don't think you wanna deal with it. Luckily for you, she doesn't want to make you deal with it. Shining Angel. Illusion Park was also good. But as far as story impact, it wasn't that important. What, Weevil becomes king? It was cool, but uh, he, all he did was become king. He didn't last. He did not last. All right, 1900 comes through. Yes, we're going to lose Zombie Master. Yes, that's a bummer because the field spell makes a huge difference in this duel. However, yeah, all three in hand is a possibility. However, we have ourselves some, uh, yeah, tribute summons right here. Attack comes through. Shining Angel is good as gone. And Shining Angel... Nope, she didn't. She just misplayed last turn. Shining Angel can get rid of Zombie Master at least. And if she gets her Tribute or if she gets her Fusion... Nope, no chance. L Illusion Park was the beginning of the Weevil arc. And yes, Weevil had a very short and memorable arc. Ill Bud, it's time to normal summon yourself, and it's time to special summon. We're always getting back from the grave. And the grave gets Zombie Master, and with Zombie Master, we get double cost on. And this is Magic Cylinder. God damn it. And this is how you do it. This is her old school strategy she was doing back at, uh, back at freaking uh, Duelist Kingdom. All right. Opponent's playboard is reddish and unique. How did I get it? Oh, this is an offline mod. This isn't the actual Master Duel. This is uh, this is Master Duel offline, so everything's unlocked. We're not playing the game. It's AIs. All right, Pyramid of Wonders comes through, and with this, we're going to have a lot of power. Ill Bud will just keep special summoning. Ill Bud can get Ill Bud. Ill Bud can get... Dear God, Prana, leave him alone! Oh, my God. Sadie, run. Sadie, for the love of God, run. 
God is with the third eye would have been so helpful earlier. Your own field spell is screwing you now. And that is it. Damn. Damn, that's a that is a shame. That is an absolute shame. Fisher comes through. She, she, she has two graveyard revivals. She can do whatever she wants. Oh, okay, you stole it. See, that makes more sense. Steal the opponent's card. There we go. You miss Daigo. Daigo's not in good not in a good position right now. I'm sorry. It's just the reality of the situation. Also, Ilbuck could just special summon. Also, oh, now she's going for game. She's done. She's done. She's done, everybody. And here comes the attacks. Yep. And with her boss monster despair from the dark, she's going to end this duel. Goodbye, everybody. Well, Sadie, uh, you got to... Hey, Sadie got to duel a king of games. That You'll probably never get that opportunity in uh, normal school. This is the only school where you'll ever get that kind of an opportunity. So let's go ahead and let's see what's up and who's up next. The next duel will be Mickey Hops. Mickey Hops will be taking on Tyranno Hasselberry, the Dino DNA duelist. All right, so are you guys into Dino DNA or are you guys into bunnies or beast decks? Because the mom is the one that's more focused on bunnies. The, the kids, they have more beast support than bunny support. They still have bunnies, don't get me wrong. But uh, definitely have more of a variety to them. Sorry, I'm looking for Tyranno. It's been a minute since we've used him. It's been a, a minute since he showed off, honestly. All right, so let's go ahead and see who's better. Will it be Mickey Hops of the elementary school or will it be Tyranno of the high school? Looks like both duelists are ready to duel. Both duelists are on your screen, and I'm excited to see who will win this duel. All right, Destroyosaurus already gives him Jurassic World. Jurassic World is great for his deck. Gillosaurus on the first turn is also great for his deck. And Black Velocity is actually a Steamroid. It's better not to summon it on the first turn. I'm guessing he had no other choice. Hey, thank you so much for following. I appreciate that. Pot of Greed comes through. Harpies has big value hitting that Jurassic World. And what else are you going to hit other than Jurassic World? You hit Magic Cylinder. Rescue Rabbit! It's time for Bunny Power! Great Angus! Great Angus! They're running through the opponent. Tyranno has nothing! He has one card in his hand and a dream. Tyranno Hasselberry with one card and a dream has to make a comeback. Good play from Bunny Kid Mickey. Tyranno gets Black Velocity. Call the Haunted is not worth it. Big misplay. The AI did not know that the opponent gains attack. It's okay. He could still do something. All right, Mickey Hops. You could still beat that monster. You know your third Angus is waiting, and you can get another one. Why not? Great Angus returns to the field. Great Angus is on the field. The attacks come through. Damage is good. And damage is good. Yeah, this is Mickey's first time not living with his mom, so he's literally going to be learning a lot at this school. We have some sets, but that's not going to be enough. Yeah, unless that's a black stego, you're in trouble. Attack comes through, it's a Gillosaurus. That is no good. And that's 3,600 damage. Tyranno is losing to the kid. Mickey Hops with just a classic beast deck is doing so much work. That rescue rabbit actually mattered. Pot of Greed coming through. Pot of Greed, what do you do? Premature Burial. It's desperate, but Destroyosaurus is a decent monster. Destroyosaurus! That Pot of Greed was clutch! Now he's got Jurassic World, which means he can overpower Mickey. Jurassic World gives him the 300 points he desperately needs, and Mickey Hops loses a Great Angus. Mickey needs his boss if he's going to have a chance against this big-ass dino. What do you got, Mickey? Nope, Premature won't save you. Now what are you doing? You fool. Mickey is making some mistakes, but we'll see what happens. And we got Gillosaurus, which means both characters get to special summon. Uh, Gillosaurus will take out a Great Angus, but since it brought one back, it doesn't really matter. And Mickey, again, he's running out of time. He really needs to get it. Pale Beast, just set. Just set, Mickey. Oh, dear God, Mickey. Howl of the Wild for burn! Mickey wins by burn! Howl of the Wild burns the opponent down, and Mickey Hops will take the game. And that is game, everybody. We're going to be moving into game number two. Can Tyranno make a comeback with his dino deck, 
or will Mickey simply run him over? Dinosaurs versus bunnies. Only one will come out on top. Now, granted, we didn't see a single powerful dino from Tyranno, just the basics. That's not a good hand for Mickey. That is not what you want to see. Gillosaurus is a great idea this early so you can get your tribute monster. Destroysaurus gets you Jurassic World. Good start from uh, our opponent on the other side. I would say Mickey's in some trouble on this one. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Mickey's in a lot of trouble. Hyper Hammerhead. Oh my God, you're in trouble. What can you do, Mickey? Yes, Pale Beast. That is the answer, obviously. Pale Beast goes in. You need to give her to Hyper Hammerhead. Yep. It was total. And what a play from Mickey. He doesn't even lose the Pale Beast. The downside of Wild Nature's release does not happen. Love it. Good play from Mickey Hops. That was probably the best he could do. And Super Ancient Dino Beast. That's one of the strongest cards in Tyranno's deck. And it's ripping Mickey apart. Even with Wild Nature's release, Mickey can't beat that monster. Except with that. Oh, or we could Super Rush recklessly, which totally works because Call of the Haunted exists. Call of the Haunted gives Mickey full advantage. He doesn't have to worry about using his spell card. Attack goes through and he can absorb some life points back. He's going to need them because he took a lot of damage in that duel. Mickey Super Rush recklessly makes the whole difference in that play. Tyranno's in some trouble. Tyranno draws Dark Hole, but that seems a little desperate if you ask me. If Tyranno's using Dark Hole, he's in a bad spot. But Call of the Haunted, oh, but yes. Super Ancient Dino Beast isn't in the grave, so it's still a good monster. It's just not good enough. Mickey and, and Tyranno are having a good boxing match right here. Pot agreed would be super good. Pot agreed. There's his boss, but he's not going to get to it. Okay, this has some value behind it. With this, he can get rid of the card, and then it's up to a top deck. If Tyranno Hassleberry top decks a monster, he wins the duel. I'm a Twitch partner, but thank you. And it looks good, everybody! All he has to do is get a monster himself, the Great Angus! Mickey's still in the duel! Tyranno runs a lot of tribute monsters, and it's biting him in the ass, just like a dinosaur. Come on, Tyranno, think of something else. You have Jurassic World, you can overpower, destroy a Saurus! He just draws destroy a Saurus, he beats Great Angus. Mickey's down to a thousand life points, Mickey needs to think of something because he's so close to death. I appreciate it, Riddler. Dark Zebra's not gonna do it. Yep, that is bad. One more monster and it's over. Will Tyranno take game number two? Yes, he will! It's Hydro Get On! And with this dinosaur, he's gonna get more dinosaurs and the game winning attack goes through. Mickey fought really hard in that duel, but Tyranno had the better opening hand. Good job, Tyranno. Looks like we're going into game three. Both duelists are pretty much equally matched. Both duelists have advantages against each other. But we'll see what happens in this final duel. That's a much better hand. That hand you can do stuff with. All right, Fossil Dig. Always, always getting those Gillosauruses early. Very smart because he runs so many tribute monsters. Gillosaurus has a lot of value on turn one, and he got two again. My God. That's the same start except no Jurassic World. My God. So, Mickey, you, you know, you don't have to Dark Hole. But because of Hyper Hammerhead, I might just to leave your opponent with nothing. You disagree. Okay, that's fine. We can always disagree on things. I'm just saying, you're probably going back to the hand. All right? I hope you're okay with that. Hyper Hammerhead, or worse, he might tribute summon, and then you're going to lose a lot. Destroy Saurus. Interesting. It doesn't technically make you weaker than him, unless he has one card he's holding back. Yes, he is! It's the ultimate Tyranno! Boss monster time, everybody! It's the boss monster! Ultimate Tyranno is as good as dead, but if it goes to the grave, there's value. There's a lot of dinosaur revival cards. Why are you doing this? That was a huge misplay. The one time somebody doesn't just throw Dark Hole. That is ginormous he has to attack with ultimate tyranno first um mickey i don't know about that mickey M mickey mickey what's going on with your brain what did he do to you did he pay you off what did he do to you 
Yo, know what? This is Mickey. Mickey's in a brand new school. His mom's not here. Random Gamer, thank you so much for subbing for 17 months. I appreciate that. His mom's not here. He's a little... It, he's in a whole new environment. Give Mickey a break. I have no clue what happened there. Like, from an AI standpoint, no clue. But, give the kid a break. Alright? He... Damn. Damn, that sucks. He's a little shy. He's still getting used to the fact that he's not... Be he's so young. He's so young. Leave the kid alone. Let's not be mean to the kid. Tyranno, great job. Great job. You did not play like an idiot. Unlike your opponent. Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and let's see what happens here. That sucks. That sucks. Mickey was going to do fine, but he, he just... For some reason, he did not use Dark Hole when he needed to. Everyone else blows Dark Hole on the first turn. Mickey... Mickey won't use it to save his life, literally. The next duel will be Serenity Wheeler, a very popular duelist in our Master Era series thanks to her uh, cool deck. And her opponent, Yami Kuroda, one of the four kings of OCG Elementary. As far as our tournaments are concerned, he's probably the weakest. But he has gotten some buffs. So let's see what happens. Yami Kuroda versus... If I could find them... Where is Serenity Wheeler? Look, I know she hasn't dueled in a while, but come on. It's, it's been a week. <laughs> it's been a week, Serenity. Come back to the tournaments. So, let's go ahead and watch these two fight it out. It's going to be Yami Kuroda. It's going to be Serenity Wheeler. We're going to have a lot of fun. Both characters have pretty powerful and interesting decks. I say Serenity's a little more consistent, but Yami Kuroda has good advantage with Kaya's power here. All right. Well, TT is a good start. That is correct. TT with Giant Orc is a good start. Red Eyes, yeah, that's expected. That is 100% expected. So on the first turn, she gets her Red Eyes Black Dragon. And with Red Eyes Black Dragon, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And it's over. Damage goes through. And Future Fusion is super dangerous, so you better get something out there before you die. Or you should at least save your TT. Okay. You might still TT, so I don't know why you set that, but sure. Red Eyes Baby Dragon lets you get a Black Chick, and who knows? Maybe Red Eyes Black Chick will actually turn into something. Or Black Dragon's Chick. I keep, I keep bringing they changed the name. It used to be Red Eyes Black Chick, and now it's oh, whatever. Oh, there it is. And there it goes. You lost one of your better cards for that. And another future! She hid one! Her mom lets her have two future fusions? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Actually, that helps both characters. That's not... Yami Kuroda, it's not what you think. It's not what you think it is. Yes, you did major damage to your opponent. But, one problem. Your life points. In one turn. Because look what she's going to make. One red eyes. One summon skull. One of my favorite... No, my favorite card ever. And you buffed it, by the way. And you buffed it because of your field spell. You need to do something. Monster Reborn, there you go. Now you can think of something. Monster Reborn is good. Monster Reborn gets back Dark Resonator. Are you going to try and show off your new monster? Or are you just going to attack? We got a new monster to show off, everybody! Say hello to Chaos King Archbeam! And with this monster, he can weaken the opponent by a lot. Does 2400 damage! But he did not win in time. Yup. He did not win in time. He got her as low as 1900, but now here comes the boss. Black. Skull. Dragon. Two of the coolest monsters fused together to make the coolest card in existence. And with a tribute summon, we got Meteor Dragon. And that's not the best tribute, but whatever. 1800 attack goes through, and I have no clue how Yami Kuroda comes back. Except Magic Cylinder. And I swear to God, he better not just top deck that. Legin's not bad. You can at least destroy some... Okay. He just dis disagrees. All right. We got some more Red Eyes cards. And it looks like that. Yeah, that's, the, that's the end of this duel. <laughs> Black Skull Dragon. Let's go. All right. The damage is good. Let's get into game number two. Yami Kuroda almost had that duel. He just ran out of attack points before she got her monster out. So let's try this one. Let's try this one again. You need to make sure you hit both future fusions. If you only hit one, you lose the duel. <laughs> Granted, I'm surprised she got both. That was pretty lucky. 
and she lasted long enough to pull it off. As Yami Kuroda hit her as hard as he could. That's not bad. He's got some good value in that hand. He's got some value there. And for... What is that card again? Infinity Dark? Yeah, I like that one. That one's fun. Oh, it's, it's dead. Yep, she keeps drawing that card. Very good at that. She draws that as much as anyone else draws Mystic Tomato. All right, Red Eyes, Black Dragon's already on the field. Have fun with that. Yami Kuroda's like, holy crap, this is what Duel Academy is. And she already has Future Fusion, yes. Please save your TT this time for the Future Fusion. Just stall with right... Oh, well, maybe you don't have to. Raigeki Break can get rid of Future Fusion. Raigeki Break before Future Fusion activates will... Oh, no, we're just going for Red Eyes. Okay, well, now you better TT at the right time. I swear to God. You have to deal with Meteor Black Dragon this time. Yup. Oh, you gotta deal with it right now! And if you TT right now, you throw everything away. Because she hasn't even normal summoned yet. Yup! Alright, these kids, the, these teachers need to teach you how to hold back your TT. I need to learn that too. I've made mistakes with TT uh, in my own Let's Plays. Alright, Giant Orc can destroy Tomato for no reason. Dark Resonator can hide like a coward. Yep, that's it. Meteor Black Dragon is here. And Meteor Black Dragon comes to the field. And with this monster, nothing in Kuroda's deck can beat it. Except his uh, except his Synchro Monster. His Synchro Monster can beat it. Also, Red Eyes! It was just in her hand. She just had a Red Eyes in her hand. Two in the grave and one in the hand. Alright, there it goes. There it goes. Meteor Black Dragon. I've been using you a lot in my uh, Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play. And Yami Kuroda, Dark Hole or Bust. Ah, you might get it. Dark Hole or Bust. That is not Dark Hole. Alright, guys, we're going to have to end this duel. Yami Kuroda, welcome to Duel Academy. At OCG Elementary, you may have been top four, but at Duel Academy, you're just another kid. Serenity Wheeler, just destroy him. This first round is going to give us a good insight on which character might be able to take the tournament. Serenity is probably top four, just off of that play. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, get into the next uh, fight in this tournament. And let's see who's up next. I'm excited. Yami Kuroda, I'm sorry, one of the four students of OCG Elementary. Yeah, you're done. You're not a king here. All right, Serenity, great job. The next duel will be Christopher versus Midori Hibiki. Midori Hibiki is one of the professors at this school. And her opponent, Christopher, you might remember him from way back when. Way back during the Arcadia arc. It's funny that we can say that. We had an Arcadia arc in our freaking Master Era. Christopher has definitely gotten stronger and Midori was always strong. So, should be an interesting duel. What's up, kitty? Callie, what do you want? What, what's up? Come on. Come on up. Come on. It's okay. Yeah, there you go. Hey there. Hey there. You can't see her, but Callie's on my lap right now. She's a good kitty. Yeah, I'm trying to do the face. I have a cat. Cats take priority over faces. Cats will always take priority. All right, Christopher. Kelly's my smallest cat. There's the, there's the baby kitty. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. And we got two 1500 beater monsters. They'll have to do. Call the Haunted. La Lava, whatever. Lance Lord, that'll do it. We have a tribute set. That's a little surprising. I did not expect a tribute set. Come on. All right. All right. Yep. You can use this table. Just don't mess with the mouse. You can use that table. All right. MST might come through, or we're going to use that monster's effect. Oh, TT. All right. TT, baby. What do you want? What do you want? All right. Uh, without Valhalla, she doesn't have much. I don't know what that trap it banishes. That trap banishes, but he got rid of MST, and then we summoned ourselves a monster. It looks like the professor needs some help. She needs to top deck one of her beater monsters, or boss monsters. She runs a lot, so... Oh, monster aboard. That'll fix it. Superbia, where are you? And... Hello there. What's your name? What are you doing? All right. Superbia hits the field. Superbia will throw a monster onto the field. We got ourselves second trice. 
And Hecatrice goes in, defeating the Lava Card. Magic Cylinder does huge damage to Midori Habiki. Midori Habiki is having a little bit of trouble, but I'm sure things will fix up. Don't, don't you worry. And Pot of Greed comes through. Pot of Greed get a dark hole. Holy crap. We don't have crap. All right. Looks like Midori's going to show you all why she's the professor here. Backfire would be very good for Christopher, but a Tribute Summon might be coming. Yep. Tribute Summon's on the field. That card can do some good damage. Yep. We're going to destroy the opponent's monster. Yeah, you'll take some Backfire, but you're taking 29. The life points are actually pretty close, but at the end of the day, you don't have enough Fire Monsters to end this duel. Not unless you can get rid of both these monsters. Ooh. Unless it's a UFO turtle. UFO turtle would work. And we have another tribute summon. It's her own desires. I believe that's the boss. Oh, it was UFO turtle. No. Desire destroyed UFO turtle. The monster that could have given him a comeback. He could have synchroed. But at the end of the day, Midori wins with her boss. What a top deck from Midori to stop his amazing top deck. That's kind of crazy. Absolutely wild. All right, let's get into game number two and let's see who's going to win it all. Christopher, you had a chance in that duel. There was a chance. But at the end of the day, she cheated you out of win. I feel bad for you, kid. I feel a little bad for you. All right, her hand kind of sucks. She needs, uh, she needs her spell card. This is Master Duel Offline Mod. Simple, simple. Very easy to find. We have ourselves a set of MST, and it looks like she's a little bricky right now. None of her Hecatrices, none of her spell cards. One Harpy's a little too early to the party. And because of that, you're losing everything. All right, you lost your trap card. Harpy's makes you destroy MST, but it doesn't negate it. Beox Gaming, thank you, thank you so much for uh, subbing for 10 months. Oh, I'm sad that you missed the duels, but hey, have a great birthday. Have an amazing one. Here comes the Synchro Summon. It's time for the boss monster, Lava Dragon. And with the dragon, they get Lava Lancelord. And with that, they throw away another card. 2,500 attack comes through, and it looks like Midori's in some trouble. Christopher's got his Synchro Monster. What are you going to do, Midori? You're in trouble here. Come on, Call the Haunted doesn't matter. If you haven't lost a single monster, Call the Haunted is worthless. Do something. Hurry. <clears throat> oh, crap. That Magma Cannon guy is so good. Oh, did you just throw it away? I think the Magma Cannon guy was better, but whatever. Damage is still good. Damage is still good. And that guard's gone. Yep, I think the other card was better. So we're in, uh, we're in some trouble here. Yo, what was that hand? Midori gets the worst hand of her career. And because of that, game number two is definitely going to the kid. All right, Christopher, you get a free win because she had the worst hand we've ever seen. No Hecatrices, no of the spell card, no chance. One of the most question, uh, common questions I've ever had to answer was, what the hell is Tag Force 7? I had to tell them what Tag Force 7 was. So let's go ahead and let's get into game number three. That is the worst hand I've ever seen as well. That was just purely unlucky. Purely unlucky. Not, not going to happen again. Look at that. She's fine. She's got Shining Angel. Everything's going to be fine this time. Pot of Greed, Shining Angel. Yep, Star Tag Force 7 is the Arc 5 one. Back when I was doing Tag Force tournaments instead of Master Duel tournaments, that was the most common question. What the hell was I playing? All right, TT is not good when Shining Angel was your only hope. MST still has value, though, so MST will get rid of Backfire. Good hit. And, oh dear God, no, not again, Midori, not again. Don't give Christopher this easy of a win. Come on, come on, where's your Hecatrices? Where's your spell cards? There's six cards in your deck. And then there's Shining Angel, which you threw away, I admit. You you did throw that away. All right, how do the cards? No, oh, dear God. You know what? It's fine. He doesn't have that much damage showing. It's going to be fine. She also has a level, a low-level monster that's supposed to work with it, but she didn't draw that either. Oh, that's not good. The little dragon evolves into the big dragon. Yep. Okay. And we got level Flogus. I don't know who Flogus is, but it's gone anyway. When this card is sent to the graveyard, every card gains 300 attack. What a play! Really good play from Christopher. I'm loving this. He's actually playing the game pretty well. 
And one field, one, one not field spell, one spell card would fix this. Not that one. That's not the spell card. That is not the spell card I was talking. It's over. It's over. The first duel, she, so, she showed just how strong her deck is. Duel two and three, she just got very unlucky. Also, she wasted Shining Angel, but still. And by throwing away that monster, now your monster's at 3,100 attack. UFO Turtle for fun. And that is it. Christopher, with his new Synchro Monster, is the winner. All right, Christopher, good job. Good freaking job. You beat a professor. You should feel proud of yourself. And Midori back in the old Duel Academy was probably the best professor. In the new Duel Academy, who the hell knows? I, I don't know. Anybody could be. We have some really good professors now. All right. The next duel will be the nurse. We have a faculty member, everybody. It's Nurse Michi. And Nurse Michi will be going up against the brand new character that you guys have never seen. It's the number one duelist of OCG Elementary. It's Shoma Yusa. Shoma Yusa will be taking on the nurse. Michi. So let's go find Nurse Michi. Let's go find Shoma Yusa and let's have a fun duel. At least let's hope they give us a fun duel. I'm doing great. Now, where are these characters? Ah, there she is. She is at the very bottom. That's why I could not find her. All right, here we go, everybody. It's time. Nurse Michi versus Shoma Yusa. Shoma Yusa is a brand new character to our tournament. I'm very excited for him because in today's... Like, he's a guy that likes to use lots of decks. So for today's tournament, he's using a fusion deck. And Pot of Greed comes through. Thank you for watching my tag force. I appreciate that. Future fusion. That's for later. And we got ourselves Gaia Power. With Gaia Power, he special summons himself. With Monster Born, he special summons the other monster. Everybody say hello to one of his cards. It is one of his Gaia cards. Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight. Also, he's got Gaia the Fierce Knight uh, origin. So he's got some fun stuff. Hi, kitty. And with Future Fusion, he throws away some cards. Next turn, he'll be able to use said cards. This time, he gets Curse of Dragonfire. And now, TT has a massive... That was massive. That TT is good. Next turn, he still gets his monster, but that TT was very good. And Luminous Spark comes through. Call of the Haunted comes through. You're wide open for the nurse. The nurse is going to be swinging. He loses over half of his life points. That entire that was a well timed TT. That TT hit so much, it killed so much value. But the future fusion still gets his second boss monster, and that is Sky Galloping Guy, the Dragon Champion, a card I actually own in real life. And we have ourselves Spiral Spear Strike. Spiral Spear Strike is now on the field, which means he can now put monsters into defense. Draw two cards. It's a pot of greed, but then you toss one, which is fine. Who needs a poly? And one of the cards was his Gaia! It's the legendary Gaia card! It's Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight! Holy crap! It may have cost him a fusion, but now Future Fusion has no attachment. Oh, dear God. It turns out no matter what he had, it was going to get destroyed. That's a shame. Senju! He's going to run out of life points. She's got her queen. All she needs is the ritual monster. She doesn't even need the ritual. He's out of cards. He used too much. One Fisher. It's the ultimate weakness after losing four monsters. Whoa! What is that guy? Whoa! Who is that guy? All right. We got some Gaia. New Gaia cards. that we Even Yugi didn't use these. Oh, Dragon Fusion! All right. New Gaia cards. Fusion summon two. Sky Galloping Dragon. Gaia the Magical Knight. Sorry, it's the Magical Knight. And with that, we do 2,000 damage. Spiral Spear lets you keep one of those two cards. And another 2,800. Even if she did draw the Ritual Spell now, it probably wouldn't matter. That's what you drew? Damn. Damn! Oh, Curse of Dragon! Yes! Love the Curse of Dragon cards. You gotta love them. All right, Premature Burial is super valuable. I thought it would be more valuable than that. I forgot you haven't summoned any of your bosses yet. Uh, Curse of the Dragon guy says that guy is invincible now. And that's the end of the duel. 
She fought really hard. She had a great... That TT was so good and it did not matter. That TT was so good and it did not make a difference. So it looks like we got another Guy of the Magical Knight. And Guy of the Magical Knight gets Curse of Dragonfire. The game winning attack comes through. You could change it to defense mode for the piercing. The piercing is good. It's 2,000 damage. And that is game. No Demise Queen though. She did not get to use her boss. So maybe... Maybe if she gets her boss, or Demise Queen, sorry, uh, Ruin Queen of Oblivion, there is a chance. Alright, let's get into game number two. Yeah, Invincible, exactly. So, what are you uh, going to do? What's your opening hand this time, Nurse Mitchie? Because you had him. You really did have him. You just need a bigger monster. Okay, you can get get your little ritual monster. Get your little one. You have a good hand. She has a good hand. Oh, he's bricked! Oh my god, this is it! Nurse Mitchie, go, go, go! Everyone! You're losing your money now! Senju comes through. It's gone. It still comes through, though. Granted, that ritual spell needed Senju on the field. So, yeah, that's a shame. Oh, you chose that one instead. Okay. Weird choice, but... We're oh, he's unbricked. Or kind of. What do you pick? Whoa, you just really wanted a magical card. Okay. Yeah, that TT was his revenge. Even though I still say she picked the wrong card. Polly! We got a classic fusion. Gaia with Curse of Dragon. And that's Gaia! This is his boss, the Magical Knight! 2600 goes through, and that is beautiful. Now we have ourselves a set, and it looks like Shoma Yusa has this game in the bag. Bottomless is a little too late to the party. Uh, here comes the beginning. We're going to get more cards. Lord Gaia. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Or Soldier Gaia. Looks like Soldier Gaia's in hand. But he needs monsters he can normal summon. Other than that, he's in trouble. No normal summon. The attack goes through. He easily destroys the monster. He's going to use its effect to gain 5,200 attack. He did have a... Oh, they wouldn't do damage. Fair enough. Fair enough. He did not have the... It would not have done damage. Uh, Shining Angel is there. Uh, Exploder Dragon can deal with it if he wants it to. 5200 attack is insane. Like, that's an insane... Oh, dear God. Leave her, leave her alone. Leave the nurse alone, for the love of God. And Sky Galloping does piercing. That's insane. Bottomless! But you still get the piercing card. You still get... Oh, wait, what? Oh! Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight stops it! Life is good! Soldier Gaia is on the field! And Sky Galloping gets Spiral Spear Strike! Spiral Spear Strike will now allow piercing! Here comes the piercing! It's insane! 4,800 damage! Pot of Greed throw away Dragon's Mirror because the duel's over now! And now, what is this? Soldier Guy is going to end this duel. 7,800 attack. And it is over. The number one duelist from OCG Elementary, now attending Duel Academy, Shoma Yusa. In that first duel, he totally should have lost, but he came back. In this duel, he just had full control. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I don't plan on doing Duel Links. I only did Master Duel because it was new. Duel Links is... No. Nah. Nah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. The next duel is going to be another student from OCG Elementary, everybody. It's Strong Juck Yu. And Strong Juck Yu is up against Bastion Misawa. Anybody that remembers the old Duel Academy, here's one of their old students. Bastion Misawa versus Strong Jukyu. All right, where is Strong? We haven't seen Strong. He's only Strong has only performed in one tournament, and he won that tournament. By the way, so Strong technically has no match losses in his career. Strong has never lost a match in his career on our channel. Bastion has lost most matches. He's won some duels, but he's lost most matches. Alright, Strong starts with Indomitable Fighter Lele. <laughs> yeah. 
Dream Warped Warwolf comes through and the monster gets destroyed. And 2300 attack comes through. Yes, you're stuck in defense mode, but you did your job. So what else do you got? You got a bunch of you got a bunch of cards. If you actually drew Valkyrion, you'd be in a good spot. You got rid of one of the problematic cards, so that's good news. Monster Board is used to steal it. Very smart play. Love that play. That actually counters strong. And now uh, you're in a good spot. You might lose beta, but if you could just draw Valkyrion, you'll win. Indomitable Fire Lele is here. They could crash. Totally a worthwhile play. No! Ego Boost! He's super strong! With 3,300 attack. Bastion needs to top deck Valkyrion or else this duel is as good as over. Whoa! What? Bastion top decks Valkyrion. He's got 3,500 attack. Strong even with Ego Boost cannot overpower this legendary monster from the past. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Gene Ward Warwolf will do some damage, but this card says no. I fight Beta instead. Beta's dead. All right. Strong is like, whoa, you got bigger points than me. There's something wrong here. This is not supposed to be possible. Ooh, a burn card. Why not? All right. We got ourselves 1,500 damage. And we got ourselves a trap. Valkyrion, the unstoppable. Rock Bombardment's going through. We throw away another card. That was Berserkion. And 500 damage is dealt. Understand. This is one of the few times you'll ever see Strong play a monster in defense mode. I don't think we've ever seen it. Valkyrion will just slowly tear through the monsters. They know they need their big monster in order to win this. All right, what are you going to do now? Okay, well, you need to draw one of your... Just draw any of your Magnet Warriors. Any of them. Yeah, that one. Sure, I don't care. I don't even know what that does, but have it. Valkyrion, you... Oh, you're going for game! He's going for game! He knows his opponent has bad defense! Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and I don't know what that other one is! Dark Elf is gone! It's Alpha! Double Alpha! It's over! Bastion Masawa takes one duel on Strong Jukyu, literally because of a top deck of Valkyrion. If he never top decked Valkyrion, that duel would have went a completely different route. Great play from Bastion Masawa. Great play. Let's get into duel number two and see if Strong can get a little luckier. Or... Honestly, if Bastion just gets a little less lucky, because that was insane. Drawing Valkyrion changed that whole duel. All right, let's see what he's got this time. I, You know what? I don't recognize most. I only know Alpha and Giant Rat. Giant Rat's in mo most of my decks. Dark Elf, it'll cost you. But at the same time, his deck actually likes cards that cost him life points. Or helps his opponent gain life points. And that card summons Alpha for free. Why not? Alpha needed some time in the sun. Skill Drain is a little interesting. Because now Dark Elf has no cost. He paid a thousand to never have to pay a thousand again. Understandable. Indomitable Fire. Yep, that's why he liked paying the thousand. Alright, his deck does run Megamorph. Which means even Valkyrion isn't strong enough now. That still works because technically it, did, uh, it didn't activate until it hit the grave. Monster of Born comes through. Alpha has been stolen. A weird card to steal. It's not that good. The AI is just kind of dumb, but it's okay. Looking pretty good if you're a Strong Jukyu fan. All right. Well, we have ourselves a set. He needs a Dark Hole. Goblins! Yo, it's the Goblin. Oh, Rat says no. It's the Goblins, everybody. The Goblins are too damn strong. Giant Rat has to be in attack mode. And the damage is a little too good. You lost your Megamorph ability. You got to be a little more careful. Mathematician, that's one of his favorite cards. With this, he can draw... Oh, 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 oh. wait a minute. Oh, wait one second. It's a little dangerous, but there might be some value in there. Alpha's going to go... You're not going to get rid of the Megamorph monster, which could eventually become a huge problem. Again? Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, he's just doing it. All right. Oh, you went for him instead. Yikes. Well, the Megamorph's at least gone, but you lost a lot of life points. I don't know if you have much. In... What are you doing here? Oh, okay. That card could still use its effect in the grave. Fair enough. So you're still going to have s nothing. <laughs> you still have nothing. The game-winning attack comes through, and it's over. Ring of Disappointment. So we're going to be going into game three. This is more what I expected to happen, but Valkyrion definitely changed the odds in that first duel. 
Let's go ahead and see what happens in game number three. Which character will be moving forward? Will it be Mr. OCG Elementary for King Strong? Or will it be Bastion Misawa, the most forgettable duelist of freaking Duel Academy? The original Duel Academy. Pot of Greed comes through. He does not have good variety. Well, that card actually helps because it can throw up. You threw away beta, though. There, was, there were better cards to throw away other than beta. You disagree, though. Interesting. Mathematician still has a lot of value, though. Dark Elf? Okay, this is actually pretty good. You get to, you know, you get to do a thousand damage, technically. Dark Hole? Unnecessary, but you might. Okay. Yup. He's going for it pretty early, in my opinion. And that card has an effect, apparently. That card says Beta gets back to the hand. And he summons Beta. Beta does 17. That's completely fine. It's because Bastion's a Beta. That makes a lot of sense. It makes too much sense. Attack comes through. It's going to be Indomitable Fire to Lele. Sadly, Lele's going to have to go into defense mode for that one. Looks like no skill drain. He would have activated it earlier if he had it. No skill drain, sadly. No, we don't count that. That was searched. Beta comes through. And... Oh, he had final attack orders! Dude, you got baited! Bastion Masawa has been baited. Officially baited. One Megamorph in this duel is over. All right. Rock Bartman goes through. 500 damage. Indomitable Fighter Lele goes through. Goblin Attack goes through. Yes, they'll go into defense mode for two seconds. But guess what? Not even a second. Not even a second. One second each. All right. Do something, Bastion. Do something. You already dark hold, so do something else. I don't know what that is, but use it anyway. Never mind, he gave up. This dude gave up. He, he got wrecked. He got wrecked pretty hard. Oh, hi there. Gene Warp Warwolf says you must be in attack mode. You must take this damage. Strong Junk you still in our Master Air series has not lost a match. He's lost games, but he's never lost a match. Undefeated. <laughs> Undefeated. So let's go ahead and let's get into the next, uh, yeah, the next duel. Just give me one second to check on who's up next. Pretty excited to find out. The next characters in today's tournament will be Koyo Hibiki, everybody's favorite manga elemental hero duelist. And Koyo Hibiki will be fighting Reginald Vaughn Howard. If you love Guildford the Legend, then this is your kid. This guy loves the equip spell warrior deck of Guildford the Legend. Koyo Hibiki. He is a retired from being a pro-level duelist, but he is a professor now. He wants to teach the next generation. <laughs> he is the danger. I like that. Well, Strong has, has only gotten a taste of Duel Academy. There's still plenty more to go. Koyo starts with Ocean Man. Reginald, sorry, I haven't used Reginald in a minute. Reginald is ready. Magic Cylinder works on Marauding Captain, but it won't work on this other guy. So Ocean is gone. Hero Signal! Hey! It's Stratos! Stratos comes through! And this guy's got Elemental Hero Heat. Come on, Koyo, teach him something. You haven't shown off your fusions yet. I know you can beat this kid in battle, but there's more you can do than... What the hell is that? Super Polymerize! What the... What the fuck? Lose your opponent's monsters. What are you doing? You're not going to be a very good professor, are you? You're, you're not going to be a very good professor. <laughs> you're you're going to be terrible. Holy crap. Right. Oh, well, shit. He's holding back on the kid. I, he shouldn't hold back this much. There's a little too much holding back in my opinion. All right. Does he get an equip spell? No, but Warrior Lady's valuable. Warrior Lady is valuable. Koyo threw away everything for literally no value. All right, let's see what he top decks. Koyo top decks heat. Oh, yeah, he did have heat. Never mind. Heat's pretty good. It's not going to work if they get one of their many equip spells, but for now, it's all right. I'm not honestly surprised he hasn't gotten any. Hayabusa. All right. Dark hole back. All right. Hayabusa's pretty good, actually. That's 2,000 damage. It's like he just summoned a Jean Wart Warwolf. Without the, you know, protective of 2,000 attack stat. 
All right, Koyo Hibiki, I think you're taking it too easy on the kid. Why don't you just show off what, you know, made you a pro? What got you third place at Illusion Park? Not even using Prisma's effect to thin out your deck and put cards in the grave? Okay. Okay, Koyo. Okay. You're a little weird. You're very strange. That card has a lot of value. Command Knight could make uh, a lot of things happen. All right, Koyo Hibiki draws Woodsman. Oh, now you feel like it. All of a sudden. All right, now you're both Woodsmen. <laughs> Why did you both want to be woodsmen? I, I guess. That's that's so strange. Did, I, I don't I don't know why he does the things he Oh no! Call the haunted! Dude, he's got double command knight! The lock has happened! Reginald Vaughn Howard with the classic strats! There's nothing you can do! You're locked! You're done! I wanna be woodsman. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. Blazeman! All right, Blazeman gets Shadow Mist to thin out the deck and also search out. Stratos doesn't help in this situation. Dear God, Blazeman. Dear God. The command lock ne needs to be defeated. Ben K is here. Ben K was strong enough. Oh, yeah, it ended the duel. Koyo Hibiki went way too easy on the kid. And I mean way too easy. So we're going to go into game number two. Game number two. And we're going to see if Koyo plays a little better or if he's done. Oh, he, he searches Polly half the time. The other half the time, he just feels like he doesn't need to. And then he loses the duel because of it. Welcome to AI. All right. Oh, there's one of your equip spells. I was wondering when you were going to get them. That'll help you overpower your opponent. Stratos very, very early in this duel is nice. He, got heat. he loves heat for some reason. I don't know why he keeps picking heat. He just loves heat. He does still have the heart troubles, but he look, these tournaments are so low. There's no stakes in these tournaments. These tournaments are just, hey, on oh, why'd you set Miracle? Holy crap. This is not pro level. He does not have to worry about his heart. Harpy's Feather Duster. It's coming on through. And Heat is here. And we got a Polly. And Heat is gone. Or Stratos is gone. And these two monsters together creates. He loves that fusion. Something about that fusion just tickles his fancy. Granted, that monster has a nice effect. So, yeah, there you go. That, that was pretty valuable. The emergency call. See, that was pretty good. Stratos again. Nothing wrong with that. And, uh, yeah, the attacks go through. Giant Rat didn't stand a chance. What else he got? And Giant Rat. I'm sure it's the highest attack point. And we got ourselves a set. Yeah, he's scared. He's scared. No chance at, no chance at his boss monster. He's, d he's done. Stratos comes through. What monster are we getting this time? We got Stratos. You love Stratos. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure he's just searching for the biggest attack point monster. He is doing pretty good, though. 2,200 attacks, pretty good. Warrior Lady will make sure that he doesn't run out of monsters, which means Guildford. Holy crap, this kid did it. This kid. Reginald's going to get his boss monster, or he can lock his opponent. It's a win-win. Reginald played that really well. Reginald, show him what you got. It's time for the boss. Guildford the legend. Shock that blade up. And now water monsters be damned. All right, Guildford's in a very good spot. It's super powerful and nothing on this field can beat it. Shit. And you cannot call the haunted it. Shit. Well, that sucks. Stratos is back. Stratos is going to be like, well, I need more cards. Prisma. Prisma's good. Prisma has a nice effect if you need a specific fusion, which sometimes he does like getting a specific one. All right, how are we going to get this Guildford out? Oh my god, you cheater! You absolute cheater, you! I don't think you run a hero monster. You actually did it! Guildford, the goddamn legend, is back, baby! And yes, he keeps the blade because that's his awesome effect. And it's going in. And you don't have two dark holes. Nobody does. So that means you're done for. Unless you can find a fusion that beats 3,400, you're done. If you can even get a fusion. Miracle fusion, all right. With Miracle Fusion, he fuses three monsters together to summon the all-powerful Elemental Hero Core. Card Trooper uses it. No, you only hit spells and traps, and you left that monster in attack mode. I just realized you're an idiot. Of 
Koyo, Koyo, Koyo. All right, the good thing about Core is that if you summon a monster, you lose the duel. If Reginald summons a monster, Reginald loses. Whoa, what is this? We're fusing from the freaking remove from play zone, and we're making Great Tornado! Yo, it's over! The attack comes through. Prisma says, I want a little lady heat. And that's the end of the duel. Attack goes through. Great Tornado destroys Reginald in game number two. All right. Not bad. Not bad from old Koyo. He was going easy on the kid in the first duel. The second duel, he's like, oh, let me show you some cool shit. <laughs> let me show you some cool shit. Uh, we're already Captain Giant Rat's not bad. Rush Recklessly always has a little value. Lightning Blood. Whoa, 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 Koyo, your life points. Dear God, Koyo. Dear freaking God. Dear God. Koyo, if you had monsters, you didn't need to use that card yet. You can wait. Granted, they didn't use Marauding Captain, so I guess you're not the biggest idiot on the field right now. <laughs> there are bigger ones, but still. All right, Prisma's now on the field. Prisma says, you know what? I love wood. <laughs> I'm sorry, he picked Woodsman. What am I supposed to say? All right, Warrior Lady wins that fight, and he is now gone. Koyobiki, still no fusion card because he refuses to use Blaze Man's good effect. Oh no, Marauding Captain time? Yep, it's Marauding Captain time. Koyo Hibiki, with no life points left, loses the duel. Well, hold up, hero signal. Woodsman! He's got wood, everybody! He's gonna get Polly! This is his only chance! Hero signal saves the day! Polymerization has been got. Now, what will you do with it? Stratos, what will you do with it? Okay, that was unnecessary. That was terrible. You should have popped the face down at the very least. And we're going to put together a freaking thing. And we make Great Tornado. Don't put Woody in attack mode. I know what you're thinking, but don't do it. Your life points. All right. Attack comes through. Don't quote me. And Call of the Haunted comes through to save the opponent's monster. It was usable. Warrior Lady will still die, but, you know, not the massive damage we thought it would be. Warrior Lady's going to bring back Warrior Lady. And if he draws Guilford the Legend with Lightning Blade in the grave, he wins this duel. That's even better. Dark Hole right now. No! Okay, unless you attack with Warrior Lady aggressively. No, okay, I, I disagree. He's, he's playing like freaking Mickey. He's playing like Mickey. No, stop hitting only spells and traps. Where's your monsters? How do you only hit spells and traps? What's wrong with you? I know it's old, I know it's luck, but dear God. All right, well, your life points are at risk. Both characters' life points are at risk, but I, I'm kind of curious. Okay, nope, he's risking it for the biscuit. Oh, crap. All right, Koyo, the professor, um, you have actual draw power, so I'm assuming you're going to be fine. What a crazy cat. We Karibo! What? A <laughs> weak Karibo in attack mode? What the hell? Was that just to have fun? All right. Elemental Hero Core for game. It is over. The winner of the match is Koyo Hibiki. He wants to send a message. It's our pro dueling taunt. It really is. It really is. We've seen some taunts in our series, and that's one of them. All right, Koyo Hibiki, let's uh, move you forward and let's get it back into our bracket. Not bad from Reginald today. Reginald did pretty good. Back in Season 1 of Duel Academy, he was one of the top, like, eight duelists, but a lot of time has changed since then. A lot of time. The next duel is actually a blast from the past, everybody. It's Akiza Izinski versus the Mighty Luna. Akiza Izinski versus Luna. He's not making fun of him. He's just having a laugh. Now, for those of you that missed the intro, Akiza has gone through a lot of therapy to come back to who she is today. Luna is in a fine spot, but she lost her home, so now she lives at Duel Academy. 
A lot of shit happened. So this is an intro. It, watch it on YouTube. You missed a lot. Yeah, you missed a lot. <laughs> yep, it's a rematch from way back in Fortune Cup 4. For those of you that remember that one. And we got a blue rose dragon. Roxy, what are you doing? What are you doing, kitty? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's okay. It's okay. What's wrong? Come on. Come on. Come on. My kitty ran into the room and I don't know why. Come here. Come here. Let's watch the dual step. Come on. Come here, come here. Alright, so looking at these characters go at it. White, uh, Rose, whatever, lets you special summon. We got Botanical Lion, which does a lot of damage back. Luna's in a pretty good spot here. Luna's about to do some healing, in my opinion. And that she will. Luna's gonna get some life points. And Roxy, don't step on the keyboard. You can end the whole stream by accident. And I would rather not ha have that happen. Okay, I'm trusting you, Roxy. I trust you. And Snatch Steal! Classic card. Oh, and there's... Did you did you steal the wrong one? Or... Luna? Did you steal the wrong one on purpose? Or am I crazy? I'm gonna assume I'm crazy. Alright, Snatch Steal gives back some life points. Botanical Lion is going to... Uh, I get Cephalotus can become stronger, but you have to kill one monster for that to happen. Sunlight Unicorn was... Oh, what? Unicorn gets Horn of the Unicorn. That's actually perfect. That is legitimately perfect. Cephalotus is here. And Nimble Momonga's mistake. Blue Rose Dragon will special summon the freaking uh, Botanical Lion right back. And the Rock Rose Dragon is here. Mine can't be controlled. Oh, thank you very much. See, uh, some monsters do have those random effects, so that makes sense. I love that the Unicorn actually got the Horn. That's so perfect. You know what, Akiza? I don't normally say this, but blow up the field. I I don't normally say this, but blow up the field. It's time to it, it's time. You you coward. The it, the swords makes them play so badly. Swords makes them play so poorly. Luna, you crazy person! No way. Luna has mage power. She's at five thousand attacks. Cephalotus only gets stronger. Rox Rose will survive one attack and five thousand going through. She's almost through. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nuke or death. I know Swords is still there, but your brain needs to understand it's nuke or death. Please. That won't help. No! She doesn't get it! She doesn't understand! Get her out of here! Harpies! It's over. It's over. Literally, Swords makes them complete idiots. The damage is too good. That's even... Oh my god, you even got another one, but it's worthless because you played a card. Here comes the damage. Here comes the attack gain. It's just going to keep happening. The attack gain's going to keep happening. Luna! Let's go! Luna is a good duelist. Granted, that Horn of the Unicorn was awesome. Horn of the Unicorn. Sunlight Unicorn is a Horn of the Unicorn. And the game-winning attack is good. So, let's get into game number two and see if these characters can do a little bit better. Yeah. Let's see just how good they can become. I'm going to drink some water. Come on, Luna. Some people got up. Uh, I know some people lost their bits on that one. So keep it going. Keep it going, Luna. Make their faith fall. All right. That's not a bad hand for Akiza, though. That is not a bad hand. Dandelion is sitting there. Rose Girl will just come back if it dies anyway. So it makes sense. Sunlight Unicorn searches. Oh, no, no. Can't get that. Oh, you already had one. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I don't know about this. I really don't know about this. Not going to go well for you. Twilight Rose Knight could do it if you were smart. If you are smart, Twilight Rose Knight can do it. Oh, finally. All right, we got yourself. We got a brain all of a sudden. We're going to use that brain. Let's get some damage out. Botanical Lion goes in. A thousand damage comes from Twilight. And no matter what you do, you're going to lose to an equipped spell monster. So even if you summon Black Rose Dragon, it's going to die. But 
You have cards to special summon Black Rose Dragon from the grave, so I guess it's okay if it dies. Yeah, Luna has two of the best equip souls already. You're gonna die. There's nothing you can do about it. Any monster will beat. Nibble Mamanga will beat you. Interesting. She did not go for it, even though it could have beat her. I'm a little surprised by that, but maybe she's waiting for a better card. She doesn't want to put it all on a Nimble Momonga. And I kind of can understand that. I kind of can. I just, you know, maybe, maybe you want to deal with the Black Rose Dragon while you have a chance. Heart of the cards. Mage power. Oh, no, you just... You disagree with me? Okay, you're just a weirdo. You're just so weird. Is that Nettles? <laughs> I'm looking at Is that freaking Nettles? Isn't that gonna buff Gigantic Cephalotus? Why did you summon that in face up? Why did you- Why are you- Why are you like this? Oh, it doesn't matter! The most powerful monster on the field will now have to face Black Rose Dragon! Yes, Extra Net has good value here. But, but, Akiza, it's time, everybody! The nuke has happened! The nuke happens, the, the search is through. Frozen Rose is here, Extra Net still lets you draw, but what's going on? And Rock Rose Dragon's effect says, hey, I have another effect, don't you worry, I get Blue Rose Dragon, a beautiful, a beautiful card. Horn of the Unicorn will be the next card drawn. Frozen Shoot, whatever, gets rid of the monster. We search out Rose Princess. And Rose Princess is like, I have more effects than this. I search out White Rose Cloister. Or Cluster, I don't know. Cloister, probably. And we summon Gigantic Cephalotus for 1850. Because you get to special summon one uh, plant monster with that field spell. If you have no cards. That nuke matter because all she has is Horn of the Unicorn. So she needs a monster. She had Nettles! No! With 50 attack points, you lose! Unless Blue Rose. Unless you're just a, unless you're just crazy. You just run in with Blue Rose. Just run in with Blue Rose. You have a special summon. Special summon Cephalotus or Rose Fairy or Rose Girl. And yep, do it. Blue Rose! It's time to evolve into Black Rose Dragon! Blue Rose Dragon evolves into Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose... Oh, and Rock Rose goes to the hand. Black Rose Dragon comes onto the field with 20. Oh, 30. 400 attack because of the field spell because they predicted. Cephalotus loves the fact that you were a Nettles. And game two is guaranteed. Game two is guaranteed because you're going to be forced to draw a Horn of the Unicorn. 2,050 damage comes through and there's no chance of you beating either of these monsters. What do you do, Luna? Exactly. And let's end this duel, everybody. It's time for Black Rose Dragon to show you true power with 3,400 attack. Also, Thorn of... You don't have to. Okay, just to be mean, we're going to also add another 7. That's 4K. It's Black Rose the Tormentor. Black Rose the Tormentor is good. All right, that was really nice. Let's get into the next game. We'll see you in the next stream. The next game, this is the deciding game. It's game number three. Which student will be moving into freaking top 16 of our tournament? Which character goes all the way? Okay. Basic Master Duel intro. Nothing wrong with that. Opening cards are... Actually, Lone Fire. Lone Fire is really good. Or Obelisk Rose Dragon. Very true. I forgot AI sucks with Lone Fire on turn one. They always waste it every single time. Sunlight Unicorn, no luck. All right. Oh, but you already had Mage Power, so lots of luck. 3,300 attack comes through. Lone Fire is gone. But to be fair, Lone Fire is not going to be able to deal. Oh, actually, yes, it will. Giant Trunade. Giant Trunade will buy you the thing you need. You should premature first, but your AI brain doesn't know how. You didn't even premature at all. Now I'm more surprised. You do You wouldn't do it on main phase two. Oh dear, King God! All that damage you could have done, and this is what you chose instead. Big misplay from Akiza. She definitely needs to go to the school to finish her education. Dark Holt, damn, damn! Do you see your mistakes now, Akiza? Do you see what you've done to yourself? You've lost everything, and your opponent still has mage power. So now that Nimble Momonga is gonna beat you up. How many times are you gonna get beat up by a Nimble Momonga in today's episode? 
A draw. Oh, what? No way. Twilight Rose Knight, uh, Rose Knight top deck equals Black Rose Dragon. What a top deck. Black Rose Dragon can beat the Nimble Mamonga, stopping the Mage Power. No, it will not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If she can get two spells and traps, it's over. It only takes two spells and traps. Heart of the cards. It's over. You messed up. You don't have anything. Gigantic Cephalotus is hungry. It wants your soul. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's totally over. Yep, Nimble Mamonga does not want to be face down defense mode against Black Rose Dragon in its effects, so you're probably going to need to flip that eventually. It's actually better for it to be in attack mode, or else you'll take even more damage. Yep, good point. Well, you shouldn't have set another card. You should never set. Never set against Black Rose Dragon, because then this happened. Show her. Black Rose Dragon's effect activates. Lone Fire Blossom is gone for good, but your mons... Oh, it already had zero attack. Never mind. Never mind, she did it right. She, she had no choice. She had no choice. Nimble Momonga continues the heal. You need Sunlight Unicorn and you need an equip spell. Because that can help you search for it. Armored White Bear is not bad, but it's not good enough. Lord Poison has a lot of value right now. If there's a plant in the grave, I believe there is. Yep, Botanical Lion. Oh, dear God. Oh, no, Luna. Oh, no. Luna, Luna, Luna. What are you going to do? Twilight, please. Please don't go that. Just leave her alone. Leave her alone. She's just a child. She doesn't know. And Sunlight Unicorn will not get to remain. You may have... Okay, you still have one turn left, Luna. You have one turn left. You have 350 life points. You have to beat two Black Rose dra Dragons. Two of them! If you can't beat two Black Rose Dragons, I don't know what to tell you. To be fair, Leo did not have to fight Akiza. That's it. Game. Game. Flip it. Flip it up. Let's go. Let's go. Flip it. And Akiza throws away Lord Poison. Sunlight Unicorn has zero attack. And Revival Rose ends the duel. Akiza is moving on to top 16. Luna showed that she has a lot of potential with her deck, but she keeps getting bad brackets. I swear to God. She needs one easy bracket. Give her one bracket where she gets to fight Dorothy or something. Come on. Let her get to top eight at least. It feels really bad that this happens. So let's go ahead and move Akiza forward. The next duel is going to be Emma Hops. Everybody, it's time for Emma Hops to take on Chumley Huffington. All right, who's the bigger master of Big Koala? Where's the chump when you need him? Duel of Destiny. This is a duel of Destiny, in my opinion, as well. This duel decides so much. All right, here we go. These two are going to be going at it. Welcome to the tournament. Let's see what happens. Will it be Emma Hops? Will it be Chumley Huffington? Who's on which side? I can barely tell that that's not it. I saw a bunny, so I knew it wasn't him. If you see a single bunny card, then it's not his deck. Emma Hops has an okay hand. I think the double assault dog was very unlucky. Des Koala! 2,000 burn! Opening the duel by taking away one-fourth of your opponent's life points is insane. Harpies, why not? Great job from Chumley. Des Kangaroo Polymerize! Why'd you summon it? Polymerization, everybody! It's time for the Master of Oz! Oh my god, it's a game one! It's over! Turn three OTK! Holy crap! The chump does it in one turn! Like, one attacking turn! That was the first turn where he could attack his opponent, and he won in that duel. Welcome to, welcome to Duel Academy, Emma! And don't forget, this is the student that they actually dropped out. This is the student they actually expelled and kicked out of Duel Academy, the old Duel Academy. And he won on turn three, record of the day. Chumley's showing you the true potential of the freaking Koala cards. Yeah, nice Koala. Master of Oz gets summoned. 
Now, granted, that field spell works for both players, but I'm kind of curious to see if she gets her boss. If she gets her boss, then... Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> if she gets her boss, then she will have a good advantage against uh, Chumley as long as he doesn't get Polly again. But, uh, yeah, no, Chumley just got a Nimble Momonga and destroyed your monster like it was nothing. So we're going to need to think of something else now. That didn't work. Trojan Horse was a good idea, just didn't work. Vampire Koala, good idea, just didn't work either. All right, the good news for you is Chumley does not run single tribute monsters. He only runs Big Koala, just like you. But he doesn't have Trojan Horse. So let's see what uh, happens here. Well, yes, you could always just start. Wow, desperate, but yeah, that works. Uh, do you got anything better than Desmanian Devil? You got Giant Rat, classic card, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the rat, everybody. Don't forget, Chumley was a pro-level duelist for a reason. He was a pro for a reason. He should be winning. <laughs> he should be winning the duel. Granted, that first duel was complete bullshit. That was that was insane how, cra how crazy that duel was. Like, actually cheating. Dismanian Devil searches. Horn of the Phantom Beast! Yeah! Great play. Sadly, Chumley has never won, uh, never won a tournament. I think you're thinking of something else. Chumley has never won a tournament. He's been close, but he's never won. And with the three monster beatdown, they're trying to get through the giant rats, which makes sense. There's going to be a lot of them. All right, let's see. Yeah, he got second. You're close. He got second place in a tournament. Horn of the Phantom Beast gives more draw power. She got her bunny card. <laughs> she doesn't need it, but she got it. If he doesn't poly, he loses, and he doesn't have any setup for poly right now, so. Premature Burial brings back Giant Rat for stall, I guess. That's the best he can do. Oh, he's going for Gyako Gire. He's going for Gyako Gire. Yep, Gyako Gire Panda destroys Trojan Horse. At least one horse has fallen. Beast Soul Swab! Yeah! Okay, I like that. Beast Soul Swab gets rid of a rat. There's going to be more. There's going to be more. And, uh, yeah, you have yourself a set. Trojan Horse has more value than Mint Koala because it lets her draw a card. So, technically, I understand why she doesn't want to summon it. Um... Because, yeah, 2900 attack is plenty, and you have draw power. It's totally worth it. Oh, well, that sucks. Nimble Mamanga keeps him in the duel, but he will not have enough tributes for Big Koala. Even if he has two on the field, because one will be destroyed by the rat. All right, chump. I don't like your odds. This game two looks like it's all Emma. All right, let's see what happens. Eight. Whoa, the card he drew! Gyakogire is stronger! Des Kangaroo, it's time for the king! It's over! It's over! He drew the card! The card he drew and made into the game is the reason he wins in game two. It's over. There's no game three. No game three. Chumley's a monster. Emma's not bad. She just had to go against a former pro. Not fair. Not fair at all. A title of this tournament, Chum Bullies Kids. No, I do. I rarely do qu clickbait videos. The only clickbait videos I've ever done was Help Me. Uh, and I think one about Pokemon way back when. One about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And they were on purpose. One was for the kids and one was because I wanted to show something. It was supposed to be funny. It was kind of funny. Alright, let's see. Chumley moves forward. The next duel is Zachary D. Everybody, it's time for Zachary D to go up against Missy. She's back after a long hiatus. We haven't seen Missy in a while, but she was smart enough to get out of Duel Academy back when she saw how bad things were getting. Let's see if she can handle a new student named Zachary. Zachary is a lot like Shoma, a character we've never seen before. So, let's see what happens. I'm looking for Missy as we speak. All right, but Zachary's deck has never been tested, so I have no clue if he knows how to use it or not. So we'll see what happens. Just hope for the best. Missy, I'm sure she can use her deck. It's pretty basic. And we're going to immediately... Oh, wow. Use a remove from play card to remove from play a monster is pretty funny. Saku, yep, there goes your monster. And... Oh, yep, that's a good start. They already have a monster, just to make sure they're fine. And since they banished the monster, Monster Born has no value. Literally stopped Monster Reborn. Pretty good. 
I'm guessing some of you did not watch Missy back in Duel Academy Season 1 slash the GX War slash the Murder Mystery. A lot of you might not remember her. She's been in our tournaments quite a lot already. She had three turn. This is her third tournament. All right, Wyvern's gone. Wyvern does get an effect, though. It searches out uh, Black Dragon Collapse, whatever, just for fun. That insect car can hold the field no problem. Mystic Tomato, 2200 burn, but you're still not beating it. You could burn, but you're not beating that monster anytime soon. You're going to need some nice special stuff. She is a Tanaka fan, yes. That is correct. Nobleman, it's been a while since I've seen Nobleman, but it did something. We got a synchro, everybody! Everyone say hello to the mini boss, Chaos Beast! And Chaos Beast gains a 3,000 attack because there was something removed from play this duel. So it has 1,000 extra attack, and it does damage. But it lost the attack! It's time to Monster Reborn! It's time! She's gonna do it! Insect, it's time for the Empress Mantis! Let's get the Insect Armor with Laser Cannon! And even the Beast can't stand up to this. The Beast from the East is done for. Did not stand a chance. Not a single chance. All right. Well, Zachary has to top deck his way back in. He's in a battle. Oh, he got it! He top deck Chaos Sorcerer! It's banished, and he's going in! Zachary is cheating! Zachary D controlling the duel. Just like that. He completely wins the duel. That top deck was god tier. And more. Yeah, just more stuff. Fun fun all right well resonant insect gets empress mantis it will not make a single difference because chaos sorcerer ends the duel if he didn't top deck that she would have had way more control and she would have had time unlucky zachary d good job let's go ahead and get into game number two i know she can win i know she can win he just cannot get lucky like that again she could beat chaos beast that's a really good start. She can get Empress Mantis guaranteed. That's a really good start. Even if it gets popped, call the Haunted. Okay, well, not banished. But not banished? Come on! What? That's cheating! Call, I'm calling shenanigans on that one. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Morphing Jar has a lot of value because Morphing Jar can get Empress into the grave into a Call of the Haunted. And we're immediately going to Synchro Summon, but which is fine. Which is fine. Chaos Beast is a 2k beater. It could do job. Oh, no, we got Chaos Sorcerer already. No, dear God, no. Chaos Beast has 3,000 attack. Ch no, she has Insect Armor. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. It's fine. She has Insect Armor with Laser Cannon. She has Monster Reborn. It's fine. Everything's fine. Monster Reborn, Empress Mantis, Insect Armor beats Chaos Sorcerer. You're good. She agrees. It's fine. Go. None of those back row will activate. All of them are... They're all fake trap. They're not all fake trap. She's not fine. Yeah, that's not good. Flying Kamakiri. Chaos Beast goes in. Flying Kamakiri. She's stalling. Magic Cylinder. Very good. She's holding on. She's holding on. She's just going to need to top deck a lot, actually. She needs Pot of Green. <laughs> Let me be real with you. She needs Pot of Green. That, that's actually half the thing she needed. She needed that with Insect Princess, but no. No. It's over. You can end the duel. You can make you can make them into insects at the very least. Oh dear God, leave her alone. DNA surgery. They're all insects before they die. All right, Karma Cut does its job. It's gone for good. Fabled Serveral was thrown away, so it comes to the field. Hello there. For fun, he's gonna show you his boss. The ultimate card in Zachary D's deck. It's the Chaos Archfiend. With 4,500 attack, it's a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. But Howling Insect can hold the field. Howling Insect must hold the field. Pinch Hopper must hold the field. 
it didn't work because it got banished. Chaos Archfiend banished it. And that's it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed Zachary D. He's going into game number... He's going to be in top 16. Yep. <laughs> yep, we're in trouble. This is the guy that took Kaiba to game three in our lore. So, let's, uh, let's move up. Let's go see. You guys are starting to treat uh, Zachary how you treated Daigo when Daigo started to show off. Which is good. That's good. Uh, the next duelist is going to be Light Kiko, one of the four kings of OCG versus one of the professors that got to stay, Velian Crowler. Who do you guys like more? Are you a fan of Velian Crowler and his ancient gear golem? Or are you a Light Kiko fan because she has a bunch of support that's pretty cool and she is officially a person that won a tournament? She beat Mako Tsunami. For those of you that don't remember, she beat Mako Tsunami. All right, now let's go find uh, Light Kiko. And she beat Mako's deck that he used for Battle City. For anybody that what that cares. Her deck is Light Monarchs. There's more than one. Of course, it has been buffed since then. And she did beat Nitro. That whole tournament was just hype as hell. That was a great tournament. Alright, looks like Crowler has a good start. Ancient Gear Knight is here. Mr. PhD. He's got Gear Town and Ancient Gear Castle, so if he could draw Ancient Gear Golem, he's in a good spot. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Ancient Gear Soldier is safe because it doesn't get affected. What the hell? Oh, Ancient Gear Knight does get affected. Crap, they didn't normal summon it again. It's a no It's a very nice beater monster, but other than... You know what? That's You might as well. I don't even blame him. You might as well use that. Because you're going to lose it anyway, so you might as well do damage. Light Tsuki... No, Light! Don't do that! Light, no! No! Someone tell her what it does! Oh, dear gosh, she's got to learn the hard way. It's Gadget Trot! Wait, hold up. She planned for it! It was planned! Oh, wow. She wanted Gadgetron on the field. She knew what she was doing. All right. That monster... No! She got rid of Magic Cylinder! This boy is done for! He can't do it. He can't do it. She planned it. She planned it all out. Don't you get it? She beat the person that beat the Battle City. That's correct. She's from OCG Elementary. That's what we say anyway. Not anymore, though. She goes to Dual Academy in our series. And Wyvern gets you Ancient Gear Castle, which could be good if you had enough turns left in the tank. Which, honestly, you know, you can get rid of Hoshin again. That's pretty good. Yeah, you need to top deck Gear Golem. Golem is the only way you're taking down Karaz here. Let's see what he's got. Hoshin again, again. You're cheating, like Tsukiko! Holy crap, Light is doing it, folks. Granted, he can't even get Ancient Gear in some... Well, ah, he has another effect that he could do. Heavy. That's that's pretty heavy, all right. The fact that this duel is over, it, it, it hurts. It hurts, Professor. It does. You did not draw any of your boss monsters. All right, game-winning attacks. Karaz goes in. It's not enough? Interesting. He is, this is it. Ancient Gear Golem or Bust. Ancient Gear Golem or Bust. Pot agreed. Do it, Pot. Ancient Gear Golem! Get it on the field! Ancient Gear Golem is top deck. You should Heavy Storm for the love of... Oh, I guess you're not scared of traps, but you should Heavy Storm. Um, Holy crap, he did it. He did it. He got Ancient Gear Golem. She has to find a way to beat it. Pot agreed right back. They both got Pot. She has another Karaz. It's gone. Wait, no, don't kill that. Oh, she made a huge error on that one. Granted, he would have Heavy Stormed anyway, but still. Oh. Oh, you are done. You are done. Ancient Gear Knight, get on the field. You know it's your time. Oh, did you don't want to summon it? No reason not to. You said it? Oh, your life points are super low. You know what? He has a point. Those life points are like zero. He cannot make a mistake right now. He has to play it kind of safe. 
All right, attack goes through. I understand why he's not doing it. He does have to play kind of safe. If he goes in and she tributes and does 200 damage because he left the 1800... I take it back. He's just a fucking idiot. He's just an idiot. He's just an idiot. Why did I even try to give him credit? Why? Why did I even try? There's no point. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's a fucking idiot. Oh, dear fucking God. He's going to game two. <laughs> so I was trying to give him some credit. I just wanted to give him some credit. <laughs> God fucking damn it. He didn't even set the rat. He summoned it in attack mode, which was already a bad play. Oh, man. Oh, man. He had a chance in that. He almost came back, though. That was a pretty hype duel until that moment. It was pretty hype. Lightsu Kiko tanks game one, obviously. All right. It's the plushie that she's holding. <laughs> Hunting ground comes through. You know what's about to happen. It's time for the ultimate ancient gear golem. The strongest card in his deck and one of the strongest cards in the game. I'm not even joking. That's That card's legitimately one of the strongest in the game at this time period. Holy crap. It's stronger than the three god cards. Well, one of them, guaranteed. Probably stronger than Slifer, too. Karaz, yep. Karaz does its job. That's about right. Yep. And Ancient Gear Golem's like, that's real cute, but now you got to deal with me. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. She found a way. I got to give her credit. She found a way. That's, that's impressive. Ancient Gear Frame, though. Ancient Gear Frame, though. Hunting. Wait, are you going to fuse again? Is that allowed? It's totally allowed. Dude. Dude. This guy's awesome. Ultimate ancient gear golem. Get him out of here. What? Did you start the duel with two Karazes? If you didn't, you're done. Yeah, his mom lets him have two. What is your mom at? Oh, dear God. Oh, crap. Another one. That works. But it doesn't do, a it doesn't do enough. She gets two monarchs. But Ancient Gear Golem's a problem. At least you got rid of the Hunting Hound. You realize how dangerous that card is. Premature means nothing. Wait, no, it counts. Her dad lets her have three? What is he supposed to do? What is he supposed to do? She's so good. She's so good at dual monsters. All right, 50 damage. The rat does stall. He needs Polly. He runs Polly. Actually, I think he runs Power Bond, too. I don't know. He runs a couple things. Crowler's holding on for dear life. He, that's three ancient gears, right? Does that count? Does the dog count as an ancient gear? If you have two of the same? He does the burn. It counts! The last fusion in his deck! This is it! It's the final monster! That's the ultimate ancient gear golem. He managed to pull it off. He defeated Light Su Kiko. Game number two. Crowler was cracked. Crowler was not going to get 2 0 by some child. An elementary school student? No way. But game three, who the hell knows what's going to happen? Both these characters could do it. Both these characters can win it all. Let's go. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. He can actually pull this off. Ooh, that's a bad hand. That, I mean, the pot might save it, but the Ancient Gears, unless you have Castle or Gear Town, that's really bad. Oh, that could become good eventually. Gear Town, okay, you know what? You, you, you can work with this. I could, I could see this working. In the long run, I could see this working. You just got to hope that she didn't start with her Monarchs again, because when she gets her Monarchs, you start to lose. Oh, Shin again comes through, and we're going to use this card's effect, which is a little interesting. You'll take a lot of damage, but yes, you get a huge monster in the end, so it's kind of an interesting choice. Um, I personally would just go Golem. Yeah, not even going to lie. Okay, you disagree? Yeah, I want to... Oh, no, no, no. If you could just do that, yeah, do that instead. Dear God. Dear God, do that instead. Holy crap. Oh, Shin again's gone. The damage is 
mess. It's going the wrong way because you're... Yeah, you didn't normal summon yourself. So, yeah, that ancient gear is costing you. That ancient gear is costing you a lot. At least you could do some burn before you lose. Yup. She tributes, you lose. Interesting. That works, too. I didn't think about it, but that totally works, too. Light Tsukiko. Light Tsukiko moves forward. Mr. PhD loses to one of the four kings of the OCG. The only one that did not win in round one, because we've seen all of them now, was Yami Kuroda, who lost to Serenity Wheeler. So, let's go ahead and let's get back to our bracket, which I believe we're almost through with round number one. That was a good match. I like that match. Light Tsukiko is a legitimate threat. The final fight of round one is upon us, everybody. We have the brand new character, Terry Quads. And Terry Quads is going to be going up against Bella, a character you might remember from the Arcadia arc. What is a PhD to a plushie? It is a fun little plushie, isn't it? All right, let's start this duel. Let's see what happens. I'm very excited. Terry Quads, a brand new character. Bella, not new, but uh, definitely under better control now. Hopefully she's in a good place, unless this Duel Academy ends up being just as bad as the other one. Alright, Pot Agree comes through. Also, why did you summon that monster in attack mode? That just seems a little foolish. The barrier statue will make sure that you can no longer special summon unless any of your psychics happen to be psychic fire. Are there any psychic fires in the old deck? I have no clue. Uh, that card's gone. But now you could special summon. That's the good news. Del Fox, that's actually funny. Thank you, Laser Mike. That, that put a smile on my face. A real one. I found that very funny. All right, 3,100 uh, 3, damage comes through, and it looks like Terry Quads is in a pretty good spot. Victini, the, fir the first fire psychic attack. Good job. Telekinotic Shocker comes the wrong way. Yep. That sounds painful. 1,700 damage is dealt. Please don't Dark Hole. For the love of God, don't Dark Hole. I'm asking you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You have game, dear God. You had game showing. All you had to do was not Dark Hole, and you would have won this duel. Now, there's still a chance you can win. It's just not as good as it once was. All right, Ring of Destruction does its job. And now, you see, if you didn't Dark Hole, you'd still have a Fire Monster to use your trap with. But now you don't have that Fire Monster. Granted, she's Brick, so if you top deck a Fire Monster, you win the duel. That is a Fire Monster. That is the end of the duel. Don't even have to attack. Go for the safe play. Exactly. And Terry Quads takes game number one. Bella, try a little harder next time. Try just the slightest amount harder. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens in game number two. Maybe Bella will get a little luckier. Maybe not. I'm hoping for the best here. I hope she doesn't do that weird thing where she summons like 10,000 monsters and loses all her life points because Terry is legitimately a burn deck, and you don't want to do that against a burn deck. All right, UFO Turtle is a very nice start. Just a solid monster. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, that is a genetic woman, and it's going to take 17. Yep, that sucks. That's some decent burn. And he held back a monster that could actually overpower the woman, so she doesn't know. Bella doesn't know what's about to happen. Don't do that. Just play the Blazing. Yep. Blazing and Pachi comes through. Yeah, I remember when Bella destroyed Weevil. And Call of Mahani comes through. Bella's deck has not changed much since then. She she gained one new Synchro Monster. She has one new Synchro Monster, but the rest of her stuff is the same. Psychic Jumper. One of the reasons why she beat Weevil. Psychic Sword. A definite reason why she beat Weevil is that sword. All right. The sword comes through, and the sword does some damage. Problem is, UFO Turtle will stand... Oh. Oh. Interesting. Now you're in trouble. How are you going to beat three powerful monsters other than, you know, that one spell in your hand? <laughs> all right, it's all gone. And he's got premature just like she did. So he's about to get his blazing in Pachi. And if he summons that statue, and he's got, I didn't even notice the call of the haunted. And if he summons that statue, she could no longer special summon. Bella, I think you're done. I think the duel is as good as over. 
Especially since some psychic cards in your deck cost you life points, so now they're worthless. That's actually just the best card you could have top decked in terms of damage. Now, granted, this guy runs a lot of burn, so you're going to be extremely lucky if he doesn't draw any of it. That counts as burn. He's going to show you his boss. Everybody, the duel is over, and you're going to get a glimpse of the boss monster, the Crimson Blader, before you lose, because there's no attack going through. It's just death. Yup. And that was a glimpse of what Terry Quads can do. Bye, Bella. <laughs> I hope this school teaches you something. Oh, man. That, that hurts. That hurts. We have finished with round one of our tournament, which means we're going to be moving into top 16 of the tournament, everybody. The 16 strongest characters, whether they're faculty or students, are going to be moving in. Granted, I think a lot of the professors lost, but there's still one professor and the chancellor left. So, let's get back to the top of our bracket and let's watch Mokuba Kaiba! Mokuba will be taking on Leo in a duel that I'm excited to see because I have no clue which one of these duels is better. Alright, Mokuba Kaiba versus Leo, everybody. Which character do you think would win that duel? We have somebody that believes in Leo. Your belief might bring him victory, or it might cost him victory. We don't know. I have no clue how Leo reacts to belief. But well, oh, he got scoping. He's got. He's fine. He's he's fine. As long as he scopes out himself a freaking dragon, he's good. It's time to power tool. Oh, he already got. He drew the power tool. What the hell? And here we go, everybody. What the fuck are you doing? You should synchro summon for the goddamn safety of it. What are you doing? I get it, Vidion has a lot of attack points. Big number. None of the defense though. Okay, he could still do it again. He could still do it again, but this time Synchro Summon. Do it again, but Synchro. There we go. He's fine, folks. He's fine. Mokuba in his Seiya Ryu deck versus freaking Leo in his Power Tool Dragon deck. All he needs is any equip spell. That works. That works. That works. All of them are good. Sucks that you got that one, but that's fine. Power Tool Dragon can easily destroy the Light Dragon. It is out of here. Mokuba Kaiba is in trouble. And Leo doesn't use Dark Monsters, so Mokuba can't take advantage of Power Tool Dragon. No! The equip spell's been destroyed, but Mokuba doesn't have a strong enough mod. No! The Smashing Ground! Mokuba Kaiba found a way! What are we gonna do now? That was the perfect two cards he needed. You oh, Selfon! It's time to call in some support! What does he roll? A three is okay. Eh. No. Maybe. Yeah, Staples is a maybe. Your life points aren't too good, though, so we'll see. We'll see. Staples, this is the good part. You get to weaken the opponent. Alright, Boombox and still isn't strong enough. Top deck and equip spell. Borden? Ah, it's not enough either. Cell phone? Let's go. Let's go. Call him in. Call him in. Boomboxing. Sure, we'll take it. Oh, in defense mode, he gets another effect? That's interesting. Oh, that's fine. He doesn't need it. Boomboxing's effect activates. Attack goes through. Oh, God. Pot of Greed? Here we go. That, that's enough. You don't even need cell phone's effect. You have everything you need. He's going for it anyway because he's got double. He rolled a four. That's our boy. Oh, boy. They're all going to attack directly. Oh, why is that in defense mode? Why is that in... What? Is that not enough damage? It's not enough damage. Damn. 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 Okay. And here it comes. See, it doesn't counter the trap at all. Just don't use it during the battle phase. And that's game. Mokuba Kaiba takes game number one. That cell phone almost made a comeback possible, but no, it did not. So we're going to be moving into game number two, and we're going to see what they can do. I believe Leo could win. 
with a little more luck and a little less stupidity, he can win this. Okay, Potter Greed's a great start. Self on even can be useful. Flying Kamikiri. Ooh, United We Stands. Holy crap. Boom boxing. Oh my god. Holy crap, Mokuba. Holy crap. They, Mokuba is lucky he got Flying Kamikiri because Leo is in a really nice spot. The double attacking, double united we standed boomboxing versus that. Mokuba's in a little bit of danger. He needs smashing ground again. Nope. Ah, that weakens the... Oh, crash! You might as well. You might as well. Oh, he's got two! His mom lets him stamp twice! Okay. Oh, wait. He's an orphan. I'm sorry. All right, attack goes through. 2,000 damage is good. Axe Dragon New in defense mode. This man is good. He needs scoping. He needs scoping. Eh, kind of all right. It's not worth giving the equip spell to if that's what you're thinking. Dear God. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to set? Borden? Okay. Oh, well, you got rid of everything Mokuba owns, so what are you going to do now? Okay, he had the trap the whole time. Seiya Ryu, Mirage Dragon, it's over. It's over. We're back in this situation. Yeah, Mokuba's life points may be lower, but look at the field advantage. Dark hole or bust. And even then, the traps... Oh, no. Oh, Scopin! But nothing's level 4. I think that thing's level 3. Yeah, he needs a level 4. He has Scopin, but he needs a level 4. And we have a tribute. It's Kaiser Glider. Whoa, I haven't seen that in forever. 2,500 attack. Leo must top deck a level 4 monster. Level 4 or bust. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Stop that. I saw the cats. They're fighting each other. And that is it. Mokuba Kaiba has won the duel. Leo in both duels put up a good fight, but could not clutch it. The bad luck was real. So Mokuba, great job. You're moving up to top eight of the tournament. As you always do, because you're just one of the best duelists we've ever created, apparently. You are damn good. All right. And basing it off on such an old school dragon just worked out for you. The next car, uh, characters we're going to be going uh, going into the duel with is Roland versus Chaz. All right, guys, it's time for Roland's Gemini's, which did take down Cyrus Truesdale when Cyrus was actually pulling off some cool shit, versus Chaz Princeton, who also might pull off some cool stuff, but also messes up and bricks all the time. Hope for the best, expect the worst. Oh, it crashed, speaking of the devil. And let's try this again. I can at least get the faces up while this is loading. If I could find the faces. Alright, Chaz is ready to duel. And it's back, good. Chaz is ready to duel. And I am ready to start said duel. Roland is ready to duel. Yep. All right, looks like both characters are good to go. I'm good to go. Come on, Chaz, give me some hope, even though Roland is a great duelist. All right, well, we have 1900 attack, and it has its effect whenever it needs it. We have 2000 attack. You actually beat it. But Supervise is a very nice card, and Supervise says you didn't lose a damn thing. Monster aboard. Wow! Both of you are quite interesting duelists, aren't you? Chaz Princeton finds a way to beat this monster at the end of the day. And that leaves Roland with a break. But Swords is such a powerful card because it makes the AI play so horribly that it might be able to bring Roland back in the duel. Interesting. You need one more monster in the grave for that to matter. Or on the field. Since everything you own is basically a Gemini. Alright, Chazzy, how are we going to do this? Totem is not going to do it. Why is it in attack mode? Dear God, why is that in attack mode? And that's not a monster. I just I said what you needed. You need a monster on the field or in the grave, and then you can Dragon Smear and you're safe, because your Dragon Smear monster is awesome. All right, here we go. What does this do? No, you don't do that. You know what? You made him TT himself. That's not bad. Oh, 
Oh, they're both going to be idiots. I love this world. <laughs> I love this reality where they're both going to be dumb. Dragon's Mirror works now. All right, he top decked another Dragon's Mirror. And he throws away another monster. And now he can get the Gemini monster he always wanted. Here it comes, everybody. With this card... It's not a Gemini monster, fair enough. With this card, all of his Gemini monsters get their effects. Including what Butterfly. Butterfly's like, hey, I love the Emperor Dragon. The Emperor Dragon can now attack twice. But that sword saved uh, Chaz's life. Without that sword, it was over. Totem Dragon is sad because it's just going to be there. Assault Wyvern is sad because it's just going to be there. One Harpies? Ah, no harp. Well, Blizewing works. Oh, wait, there's nothing left in the grave, huh? Except itself. Oh, ho, ho, ho! The popping effect can have. Oh, they're not going to use it. Hey, hey. Yeah. Stop fighting. I'm going to close the door. They're being brats. One second. You guys watch the duel. I'm going to handle the cats. They're very needy today. It's raining outside. The cats are dealt with. What did I miss? Nothing, because Swords was up. That's why I thought I could leave. Swords was up. I felt safe leaving. This doesn't look good, actually. That super alloy beast is busted. That alloy is insane. Crap. The Chaz has failed me once again, hasn't he? Chaz, you either dark hole or you lose. Oh, it's over. I forgot I can't attack twice. Oh, no. There we go. And the second attack. <laughs> All right, the Chaz lasted one more turn, but it is over. I love the Chaz, but Dark Hole or uh, even Dark Hole is not going to save you. It's over. Roland is for real. Premature? What do you got in the grave? That's the best you got. You adorable bastard. <laughs> that is the best you got. All right, get rid of him. I'm not even mad at this point. I'm fine with it. The Chaz was meant to lose. But only the game one. He can't lose game two. Game two is my time. I'll take over his deck. Make him, I'll make sure he wins. Even though Roland's stacked. Like, that, this guy is here to defend the school. He's not going to be easy to beat. There's a reason Cyrus lost. All right. Let's get a, go ahead and get into game number two. And let's see if Chaz can stop the fusion from happening. Let's see if we can get some combos off. Car Trooper's pretty good, though. Car Trooper works really well with that. That is super... Why did you do that? Oh, my God. Your life points are at risk now. You are you are dead. <laughs> you just took 1,500 life points as a joke, I assume. You thought it was funny. All right. Totem Dragon does return to the field. Stamping Destruction is very good, but he hit the wrong card, in my opinion. And here comes a monster. It's going to be the LND Dragon. You didn't even try to TT. See? The AI plays worse. It's like swords. It's swords in, in, in dragon form. All right. We're in some trouble now. Sword. Wait, swords. Oh, my God. Yes. It's real. If he ever gets light and darkness dragon, he we it makes the opponent play worse. Now, granted, he runs a lot of tributes, so he does break. No, he didn't break. He just didn't want to summon. All right, Chaz Princeton is on top of the world right now. Even Dark Hole doesn't scare him. Car Trooper can't use its effect. At least this time it will happen. They literally give up. They look at Light and Darkness Dragon and they bow. Double Light! Oh, wait, that could kill him. That could be the mistake of the game. Car Trooper, it's time. It's time. You got him. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. And 2,800 damage comes through. I was curious how that interaction would go off. It's strange that it didn't go the way I thought it would. Am I, I, I thought they just keep bouncing until they had no attack. I'm wrong. I'm interesting. All right, Mass Dragon comes through. And uh, the, I, I, don't, I don't read. <laughs> and the attack comes through, and it is over. The Mad Lad Chaz takes game number two. Both characters showed how strong they can be when they have full control of the duel. But who has comeback potential? 
Neither of them have shown comeback potential. And if you ever want to be a king of games, you need to show that. Blair had comeback potential. Weevil had comeback potential. Yugi had comeback potential. That's why they were kings. Piranha, Seto, yeah, they did too. All right, well, we have some sets there. That's always good. It's only once per chain. Ah, that makes sense. Pot of Greed comes through, and we got Axe Dragonute. Axe Dragonute is going to get sparked up. It's time to spark him up. And Dark Valkyria is not a bad card to get. 1,800 attack. It can get stronger. I like it. Or you can just go straight for Chinthonian. It's your choice. I don't even care. Nope, Dark Valkyrie. And you're going to go for Double Beater. That's fine. And Gemini. Ooh, unleash your power, apparently. Dark Valkyrie has 2,100 attack now. A little risky to do that, in my opinion. Yeah, very risky to do that now. There are some moments where unleashing your power has a lot of value. I don't know if that was one of them. I do not know. Okay, there's part of Chaz's strategy to get out his light and dark, but uh, it is not, uh, not going to last long because we see what's in the opponent's hand. Yep, here comes Chinthonian. Chinthonian goes in, and there goes your chance. Running out of options, aren't we, Chazzy? How are you going to come back in this duel? It's looking real bad for you. If they normal summon that, you're done. You lost the first duel because of multiple attacks. You're, you're going down. There's a T. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It's over. It's over. The Chaz is tired. Chinthonian can attack twice now. Totem didn't stand a chance. That's 4,800 damage for crying out loud. The Chaz, whatever that trap may be, is done for. He does get Totem Dragon back, but he needs L and D. Dragon Fire. Okay, you did some burn. Light and Darkness. Okay, but your AI opponent will not activate TT. Huh. Not even to weaken the opponent's monster. Holy crap, they don't know how to fight it. They don't know. Wait, that counts as an effect. There you go. You weakened it. So wait, you do know? You somewhat know? You'll do some things, but not other things? It's mixed. It's mixed, everybody. They sometimes know how to fight it. Assault Wyvern will obviously be fine. It's just an 18 beater here. 900 life points left on the Chaz, and LD is holding the field for dear life. The lad breaks the AI, but supervises here. Can't you? Oh, oh, he really broke the AI. He's done. The AI doesn't know what to do against Lad. It doesn't understand. It needs time to learn. The winner is the Chaz. He's moving into top eight, everybody. He took down the security, though the security should have won, in my opinion. The security should have won. I think Roland had that. He beat Cyrus. Cyrus could, Cyrus could totally do it. All right. The Chaz is doing it with it. We'll just call it manga power. We'll call it manga power. Unless he's going up against a deck like Strong Juku or Banishment or anything that has active effects that he's going to win. The next duel will be Prana Taker, the original King of Games and current Chancellor of Duel Academy versus Tyranno Hasselberry, the Dino Duelist. All right. Tyranno Hasselberry, the Dino Duelist, versus Prana Taker, the original King of Games. We're watching these characters right now. Jurassic World's always a good start. Gill Source is always a good start. Pot of Greed's always a good start. Holy crap. Uh, we got Zombie Master. Until you get cards in the grave, Zombie Master is just a decent beater monster. I don't know what you plan to do with it. We have some draw power here. Destroyosaurus has advantage in terms of attack. And Giant... What the hell did Giant Rat just do? Giant Rat really wanted Hyper Hammerhead. And you know what? Hyper Hammerhead is totally worth it. That card's really good. Haunted Shrine will bring back the Zombie Master. So you have to make a choice if you're willing to crash. You're not willing to crash. Of course you're not. And we got ourselves Pyramid of Wonders to buff the monster. Pyramid of Wonders will put Zombie Master at 2100, 2200. And that's enough to beat the monster. You might as well just bounce back to the hand. There's nothing wrong with that. Pyramid of Wonders buff is making a big difference. 
I'm sure freaking Tyranno's just here being like, oh man, I get to duel a, ki an, a former king of games. This is so cool. Uh, but no, you should be playing better. Oh, dear God. That is no. Yep, you did that. Okay. Okay, how are we going to teach that? <laughs> like, a ch ch like, Chancellor Prawn is just sitting there like, okay, how will I teach them that that was a bad play? How do I, how do I, how do I fix that? <laughs> What do I do to fix something like that? Like, holy crap. I didn't realize we allowed these kind of students here. Alright, we have ourselves a set. We'll see what that does. Double cost on. Yeah, double cost on's here. Attack goes through. Attack goes through. Up, oh, Magic Cylinder saves the day. You got one more turn, Tyranno. You bought yourself one turn. Do something. Do something. Okay. Could be Black Stego. There's a chance. I'll ill bud shit. Yep. No, it doesn't matter now. All right. Attack go. It did not matter. It did not matter. Ill bud goes through. Ill bud wins the duel. Ah, oh, Raina Takers, original boss monster that Prana sent her. God, old storylines. Thank you back to them. Like, it's been so long. Let's go to game number two. Let's go to game number two. I don't think there's a five god dinosaur, but maybe next. Maybe one day they'll make one of those. Pot of Greed is going to be activated. Let's see what Tyranno gets. Gill Source is always a good start. You have tributes. Back row is really good. No Jurassic World, though, so no power advantage. Despair from the Dark is also good. Zombie Master goes in. And Zombie Master is just going to sit there. Don't set premature. Okay, well, there's something that freaking Chancellor needs to learn. Dark Hole, interesting. Your trap, uh, your face down better be terrible. Oh, God, Giant Rat had value. Oh, God. Oh, God, you didn't pick Giant... You should have picked two Giant Rats. They're so valuable. Why? You don't need Gillisaurus that badly. All right, you know what? We could we could teach that. We'll we'll, we'll find a way to teach that. Uh, premature now has its value. Zombie Master comes through. Double cost on can have a lot of value next turn if nothing changes. And Giant Rat dies as well. Hyper Hammerhead still can do something, but it's not much right now. Uh, draw Ultimate Tyranno or Bust. Yeah, bust it is. I think uh, I think we're done with the Dino Duelist here. I think he made it to top 16. Yeah. I think he made it to top 16, and that's all he had in him. That might be all she wrote. You didn't summon a monster. What the hell? Excuse me? Excuse me? You didn't get rid of the Hyper Hammerhead. Excuse me? You put Zombie Master in defense mode. Prana, are you going easy? Are you feeling bad? Are you feel are you feeling pity for the boy? Just because he's not a very good duelist, you feel bad for him enough to make that horrible play? Prana, we don't show mercy at Duel Academy. Okay, the old Duel Academy didn't show mercy. I mean, people died. <laughs> like, you don't understand. The old Duel Academy was horrible. I guess they're trying to they're trying to fix their image. I get it. They're trying to fix their image. She's trying to be good. So let's see. Despair from the dark. Go ahead. Just get a nice little scratch in there. A little claw attack. That'll do it. And her boss monster will end this duel. Despair from the dark does end it. She 2-0'd her opponent. This student is not going to be on the Dean's list. All right. Well, you are not you are not very good. Let's uh, let's move forward. The the king of games is bored. <laughs> She was hoping for better. She went easy on you. And she's still hoping for better students than that. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next in our little Duel Academy opening ceremony tournament. Prana Taker moves forward. The next duel will be Serenity Wheeler, a celebrity duelist, versus Christopher. All right. Thank you very much for following. I appreciate that. Serenity Wheeler, let's go find you and let's see what you can do against good old Christopher and his Laval Synchro deck. Alright. Laval Synchro deck versus Red Eyes. 
Where the hell is she? Oh, she's always in that corner, that's why. Alright, let's go ahead and start this duel. Let's do it, everybody. Christopher versus Surrender. Serenity is ready to duel. Christopher is ready to duel. Hmm. I have no clue what that card will do. Mystic Tomato? I don't know about that. There's a lot of not monsters in this hand. Well, at least this will thin out the deck. I'm assuming that's what he's doing right now, is thinning out the deck. Yes. Premature Burial. See, that had value. Okay, see, he's got an idea. Now, Serenity also has an idea, so if you see a baby dragon, don't attack. Well, attack it, but expect to die. Okay. <laughs> you should have attacked it while you had the damage, because now she could just attack a weaker monster. And we got Mass Dragon, we got Premature Burial of her own, we got Mist. Okay, we're not going to get Mystic Tomato. You can save yourself that much today. Serenity, would you like to show him what your deck's all about? And we begin. The onslaught shall begin. Everyone say hello to Red Eyes Black Dragon, one of the most iconic cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. And let's say, ooh, what does that trap do? That was pretty good. Wait a minute, this kid's pretty good. There might, there might be something to this. There might be something to this. This, kid, this kid's this kid got the stuff. He can beat her. He can stop Serenity's Onslaught. He's got Burn and he's got all this other crap. Oh, she wasted that, but whatever. Um, not bad. Uh, yeah. Not bad at all. 500 Burn and now what are you going to do? You're wide open and a... Uh, oh, they can go for a safe UFO turtle. They feel no safety in their heart. Not a single ounce of safety is in this kid's heart. He just wants to hurt you. All right, Serenity, you need to hit him back because he hit you really hard. How are you going to hit him back? Mass Dragon, sure, it's safe. I, I respect it. It's a safe monster. You just don't have many life points left. So you really got to conserve because that backfire is going to cost you. Oh, that's dangerous. All right, that monster's pretty dangerous. It's got a good attack stat. And, uh, yeah, you have that, but you don't have many life points to spare is all I'm saying, Serenity. They have a lot of life points left. you got to think of something. That's good. Okay, now we're starting to do stuff. There we go. Red Eyes Black Dragon for free. I like it. Mystic Tomato, sure. Second Red Eyes at a cost, but you can afford it for now. Okay, you can afford it. That card never did burn to you. You just have to take the backfire. And you're good. You're absolutely fine. As long as he does not draw the trap card, you are completely fine. Even though the UFO turtle is horrifying. Oh, boy. Oh, dear God. Oh, why is that in attack mode? Oh, no! Why was that in attack mode? Serenity wins! Serenity does it! <laughs> Backfire be damned! Alright, there we go. The winner is Serenity Wheeler, everybody. Game number one. It could have gone either way, but we're going with game number one, Serenity. Let's go to game number two and see what happens. Master Duel. Master Era. I wish I could change that to say Master Era. But uh, I, I, I am not a... I'm not, I, I can program very slightly, very slightly. Not, not enough, not enough. All right, lot, starting the duel with Backfire has a lot of value. Other than that, not much. TT, okay, wait, there's a little value there too. All right, there we go. There we go. No backfire on the first turn. I disagree with this play greatly. I, I great. Oh, never mind. He knew. He knew something I didn't. What are you doing? Interesting. 
He he saw the future. I could not see the future. No way! Red Eyes on the first turn! Red Eyes Black Chick evolves into Red Eyes Black Dragon. And the Maiden will go back to the Fire Swamps. Alright, so what are we going to do here? Alright, we got a monster which has an effect which could bring uh, back a... M oh! Synchro Summon! Everyone say hello to one of the level 5 Synchros! It's Laval Dragon! And Monster Reborn brings... Whoa, are we going one... Vo We're going one stage... A Laval Dragon. We're going one stage higher. What's that effect do? Oh, that's pretty good. And we're going to Synchro again! Not only is Red Eyes stuck in the hand, which is where it's worst position, but we got Lavalvol Dragon! Holy crap, that's a play. Oh, yeah, that's a really good play. Now Red Eyes isn't strong enough to beat it, even with the Red Eyes uh, Baby Dragon play. That's Christopher, everybody. That's what he's got. He came to this school not only to learn, but to teach you something about Synchros. Thank you so much for uh, following. Oh, but Future Fusion. But you know what? You don't know shit about Fusions, kid. And Fusions are legitimately good. She's in danger. Her life points are in danger. But if she could stall till Future Fusion. Oh, that will not stall. Oh, dear God. You're right. She's in danger. She needs to stall. And she does not have that many life points left for the backfire. What the hell is she going to do? Future Fusion gets uh, Meteor Black Dragon. Funny enough, her own fire monster. And Pot of Green is desperate, but it's all she's got. Premature is super dangerous. You do not have many life points. Garefried uses its effect to pop itself in order to pop back. You know what? That might have been worth. Hitting the backfire might have been worth. But it all depends on a trap card. Red Eye Spirit isn't enough! The Red Eye's Black Dragon isn't enough! She didn't realize she was dealing with two big beaters! It's over! That's our boy, Christopher. Christopher has done it, everybody. We're going to game three. All right, game number three. Christopher's showing off what his deck can really do. We haven't seen his fire deck pop off, not even in the Arcadia movement. But now that he's out of the Arcadia movement, he's actually starting to make some plays. Serenity, on the other hand, she's good. But once you hit a monster with 2,800 attack and she doesn't start the dual future fusion, you got her. You got her. Unless she top decks Polly or Dragon Spear, then maybe, maybe you're in trouble. All right, looks like uh, he's got good beater monsters. How will she deal with beaters? She does what she always does. She doesn't know that she's only costing herself life points against an opponent you don't really want to lose that many life points against. All right, attack comes through. Attack is good. The TT will be a coming, so get ready. Just decide on a card you don't need. Okay, backfire super valuable. Here it comes, TT. The backfire begins. Whoa, what do we got here? Whoa, what do we got here? Whoa, what do we got here? Whoa, four chains. What the hell's going on here? Whirlwind stops the trap card. The retro still works. It summons itself and it brings back Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon continues, and Chris has to top deck his way back into the duel. But unless he synchro summons, he doesn't stand a chance. It's over. It's going great, so uh, Sonya. It's going great, but this duel's over. It looks like Serenity Wheeler with her Red Eyes deck is moving forward in the tournament. She's going all the way, folks. She's go. Oh, Inferno Fire Blast! Why the hell not? What a way! And she ended it with style. All right, you like flames, she likes dark flames. Let's go ahead and let's move into the next fights. Both characters did really well. Both characters show that they have a, they have a reason for being at this school. But uh, one was clearly better, more consistent. No, no, Christopher's for real. 
With an easier bracket, he's easily top eight. The next duel is two of the OCG Kings. It's going to be Shoma Yusa. And Shoma Yusa is going to be fighting Strong Jukyu. All right. This duel is going to be very hard to bet on as they're both kings from the same elementary school before they transferred here. Which character do you believe in more? The character that's never lost a match versus, well, technically Str Shoma's never lost a match either, but he's also brand new. All right, a new character named Shoma or Strong? And the character who's never lost a match. All right. Both characters, show your power. Let's see what happens. Technically, this would be counted as a plot duel. Even if the decks are different. All right, Strong Juck Yu versus Shoma Yusa. Strong focuses on, I guess, stopping your opponent and having big, be big beaters, whereas Shoma focuses on straight up fusion. He's a fusion deck. That's a very powerful card to start the duel with. All right, Shoma, how are you going to deal with that? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, that does deal with it, but that's very funny that that's how you de decided to deal with it. Origin apparently has an effect. He throws away Gaia the first night to sell. Wow, we're going to see. Whoa, we're not seeing Gaia. Why are we taking that card? Gaia the first night has way more value, no? Or am I crazy? Curse of Dragon. What the hell? Did I just see? I saw Gaia the first night and Curse of Dragon. You could have had both. It would have been hilarious. That would have made my day if I saw both of them. But you've denied me. You know what? Maybe this. Maybe Strong will let me see it since you don't want to let me see it. Strong summon it. That's right. And Gaia the Fierce Knight is here, everybody. The ultimate dragon. And also Gene War Warwolf because, yeah, big monsters. Gaia the Fierce Knight goes in. Curse of Dragon didn't stand a chance. They're, they're supposed to work together. It's not supposed to be like this. They should never be enemies. All right, top deck or die. Die. He chose death. One more beater monster to end this duel. Which one do you want to use it with? Giant Orc? Sure. All right, Shoma. Show me something I haven't seen before. Either that or lose to the guy who's never lost a match. Yeah, I don't think that's going to save you. I stand by what I said. Stand by what I said. Still standing. And here it goes. The last chance he has is a fusion summon. I disagree with all of you. I don't think he has this. Whoa, hello there. <laughs> I don't think he has this at all. He goes after guy. The hell, why didn't you use your spell card? Is there a reason he couldn't use a spell card that I don't know about? Because you ain't beating 52. Uh, you're not beating 5200. That's his boss. He revealed. He had two? He drew another one? He drew another Gaia? All right, Gaia's on the field doing its job, and no, 52 is too small. More, 78. 78 is more appropriate. I like 78. Ah, it's over! Get him out of here! I told you. I told you, it's over. And there it is. The top deck of Dark Hole changes the entire duel. Strong Jukyu is one win away from holding his record of never lost a match. Now let's get into game number two. Game number two, Shoma Yusa. Strong Jukyu. Strong. Definitely overpowers him, except, you know, when we see those fusions. Um, but anything can happen. Also, let's be fair. Shoma started that duel with Curse of Dragon uh, Vanilla and Guy of the Fierce Knight Vanilla. It wasn't the best hand in the world. Let's let's be real. That was not a very good hand. That's a very interesting hand. For most people, that would be seen as a bad hand. For Strong, he loves it. He looks at that hand and he's just like, mm, perfect. It's still perfect. Gaia can't beat it. Gaia can't beat goblins. It's just reality. Oh my god, he got it. Gaia can, uh, goblins can beat Gaia, though. And Gaia's going down. With 3,300 attack, the Magical Knight is done for. 22. Oh, Magical Knight, get back up here. People want to see you again. 
Goblins is now in defense mode where it isn't where it wants to be. Those goblins are too weak. They traded all of their uh, they traded their attack for 1500 defense and it was not worth it in the end. Another origin Gaia comes out. Gaia the Fierce Knight is doing good. Strong can still find. He just needs 100 more attack points or an equip spell since his deck does run one of the best. Not that one though. You might as well get rid of her. She's not strong enough and she's a waste. All right, Heart of the Cards, Mass Dragon. Funny enough, Mass Dragon does its job. No fusion support has been drawn for old uh, Shoma Yusa, so he's in a bad spot when it comes to that. But, oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> there we go. He was just waiting. All right, Shoma Yusa's fusion support finally shows itself. Final attack orders has so much value. The Medic is an interesting card to use because it will heal your opponent. But it almost makes sense because he's banking on an equip spell. There's an equip spell in Strong's deck that loves this. The fusion monster will be Guy the Dragon Champion. Goodbye, Curse of Dragon. Uh, premature Burial for Guy the Fierce Knight. We got the OG Vanilla Knight. We got Mass Dragons, and that might be too much. You do get to heal, but it didn't heal much. And that's too much, man. Shoma Yusa takes it to Game 3. We're going to Game 3, everyone. The Gaia cards were a little too strong in that case. Who's going to win? Who is the ultimate duelist? Will it be Shoma or will it be Strong? Will Strong finally lose a match for the first time in his career? Or will Shoma has for his first loss since he's a brand new character? All right, here we go again. Very exciting. Shoma Yusa, Gaia cards. Strong, big ass beaters. Although Strong has not gotten skill drain, so I say he's unlucky. That, that actually is a good hand for... That's a very good hand for Strong. That's a strong hand. Pot of Greed comes through, and that's perfect. He got his best hand. All right. Other than Skill Drain, that's perfect. He got exactly what he needed. And Gaia's trying to be magical and shit, but that... Oh, well, that does work. Oh, we got a Poly. Oh, my God. We're fusing, everybody. It's time for Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. Wait. We're not done yet! Everybody say hello to the Ultimate Fusions! They got the combo! Ga Sky Galloping Gaia! Spiral Spear Strike! Oh, Ego Boost. You should have attacked with the other Gaia. Huge misplay. The other Gaia was obviously the right choice, and he did not attack with it. It's over! Get him strong! Go get him! That was the perfect counterplay! All he had to do was attack in the right order. He still would have had one fusion left. But he messed up super hard. And with final attack orders, unless you top deck Dragon's Mirror, the duel is over. Dragon's Mirror or bust. I told you, Strong's unbeatable. He has never lost a match, and he's not going to start now. It's over. It's over. Three beaters. Strong Juku is unstoppable. He could have dark hold for guaranteed game, but it's probably guaranteed either way. Final attack orders. It's guaranteed. There's nothing he could search. The card is, yeah, it's over. Final attack orders. Let's go. One more final attack orders for game, and it's over. Woo! Strong Juku has done it, but... We got to give credit to Shoma Yusa. That guy is for real. That guy is someone you got to watch out for in these tournaments. So let's go ahead and move forward. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate that. So we're going to be moving into the next fight of the tournament, which will be... Let's take a look. Koyo Hibiki from the manga versus Akiza Izinski. Go ahead and place your bets. Koyo Hibiki versus Akiza Izinski. I wonder which character could take it all. These two are characters that have a possibility of taking the whole tournament. Other than Strong. Strong is for real. Alright, let's see. Or Serenity. Honestly, a lot of these characters that are left in the tournament are for real. Like, this is this is scary. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Thank you for your patience. Alright, Koyo is ready to duel. Akiza is ready to duel. Talk about getting countered by that freaking uh, that trap card. That was beautiful. I 
I hope you guys are ready for more super polymerization misplays. Because this guy couldn't use super polymerization to save his life. He emergency call gets heat. He loves heat. He's in love with it. Uh, he also gets uh, Shadow Mist, sure. He, oh, he loves Escorito, or whatever its name is. Oh, no, he loves Core. My apologies. He loves Core. Elemental Hero Core is here, which is his best card. Shadow Mist is like, we're not done yet. We got Prisma. The attacks go through. Revival Rose is gone. 2700. Oh, no, we're not done yet. Super Poly is going to throw away Super. What the fuck did you just do? He misplayed hard. He should have went for 2700 attack. And then if he wanted to fuse... Okay, he's just dumb. He's just dumb. Let's be real. Let's be real. Koyo Hibiki, as well as any AI, doesn't know how to use that card. But it still has value. It's like, kind of like limiter removal in a way. Where it's still very valuable. It just... It could be horrible. Akiza's in a bit of a bind right now. She can't beat this opponent's attack points. Woodsbit is on the field. He loves his wood. Revi oh, she grew two Revival Roses. That's not how that works. Okay, um, Akiza do something. Please. Botanical Lions, that's not enough attack, even with Revival Rose helping out. I don't know what that does, but it shouldn't be enough. Oh, we got a Synchro Summon. Here we go. Wait, it's still not enough. Wait a minute, that's still not enough. What are you doing? I... Look, I get it, but unless you special... You do. Okay, Blue Rose Dragon, what a play! What a play from Akiza, I'll take it. She's not even done, what the hell? What did you just do? Akiza, what did you... You already saw the summit. No, you didn't. What the hell's going on? What is she doing? That card lets you special summon, I admit. That's what you chose? Of all the cards? That's what you chose! That's all fine and dandy, Minotaur, but then just choose not to fusion summon it when you play Poly. Instead of summoning Core, summon anything else. Oh, dear God. That is what she chose. She's still in the duel! <laughs> she is still in the duel, but out of all the cards she could have ended on, she chose Dandelion. I do not like her odds. She draws. Harp, it's over. It's over. It's over. Just end it. Just end it. We're, we're good here. Blazeman for Polly would end the duel, but are you smart enough to search Paul? Oh, look at you! All of a sudden, your brain kicks in. And that is it. Element Hero Ocean with Ocean equals the Absolute G. Absolute Zero is on the field. There's nothing that she can do. Koyo Hibiki is the winner. Koyo is a real one, guys. All right, Akiza, try a little harder next time. That was a little weird. I mean, you had some good plays, I'll admit. But you had, Blue Rose Dragon was the right card to end on. It was it was perfect. It was perfect, but you messed up. Plants die in the cold. Yeah, Absolute Zero is not their friend. Blow my nose. Now we are going to see... Oh, he has a good hand. That is a very nice hand. And she also has a good hand. She did not Synchro Summon on purpose for a reason, I'm sure. How are you going to play this? Stratos? Stratos, that makes sense. Alright, Stratos turns into Prisma, sure. Are we going to make Core? Yeah, we're going to make Core. Okay, that makes sense. We're going to do a shit ton of damage? Yeah, we're going to do a shit ton of damage. Nope. No, we we're going to do a shit ton of damage, just the wrong way. Honestly, as long as you get rid of her tuner, you're good. She needs a level 3 tuner. All right, Akiza, let's see what you got. Harpies, that's something. I don't know what he said, but you hit something. Oh, yeah, you hit a good card. That is not a tuner. Oh, that works. Yeah, that, that works. All right. We're blowing up the field once again, everybody. It's time for the tactical nuke. Who wants to see it? Black Rose Dragon, you know what must be done. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and the nuke is here, everyone. The field is cleared. Their hand is not that bad, though. Koyo can come back with just a card trooper. Red Rose Dragon gets... I uh, don't even know what that one is. 
gets Rock's Rose Dragon. What the hell is a Rock's Rose? I don't know. And that searches Blue Rose Dragon. And we got this card again. Is this going to mess you up again? Okay. You can't summon Blue Rose Dragon, so that means you know you, you have another plant in your hand. You promise it's not Dandelion? Do you promise that it's not Dandelion? Oh, that's a plant. I thought that was a dragon. Or it or has Rose Dragon in the name. I just read that. Never mind. All right, Card Trooper, you make quick work of this. Oh, what a play. He's already got it. That's super good. And that's weird. You know what? That's fine. No, because he doesn't want to destroy Blue Rose because Blue Rose will evolve into Black Rose. I guess that makes sense. Oh, Twilight Rose. And we have a Synchro Summon, everybody. And it's going to have 3,400. It's over. That's the game. That's the game. It's all over. Black Rose Dragon's effect activates. You have no attack points. Dandelion legitimately necessary for game. I got... She made fun of me. I made fun of Dandelion, and she won the duel with it. <laughs> I made fun of it, and she won with it. I can't even be mad. That was great. We're going to game three. Both these characters are at the top of their uh, top of their game right now. You know, while they're sane and not having heart problems. Let's see who's going all the way, though. Who's going to top eight in our tournament? Which character deserves it? Nah, I'd win. <laughs> I like that. It's a pretty good one. Pretty good match between these two. Super Poly, Blazeman, Miracle Fusion, Pot Agree. He won. He won. Look at that hand. Oh, yeah. He won. She has nothing. Oh, my God. That hand is stacked. Oh, 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 oh my God. That's not fair. You can't. You cannot. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do this to him. Holy shit. Don't you dare. Oh. Wow. Is that game? Oh, he didn't go. Okay, he didn't go for it. Okay. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Oh, I still say he's got... There's no chance. There's no chance. He's got this. With Absolute G and Super Poly? No way. Giant True Nate? Sure. Twilight, Desperate... You know what? You might as well. You might as well. Absolute G is going to blow you up anyway. She got it. She got her Black Rose Dragon. The only equalizer I've ever seen. You don't own a Dark Hole? Black Rose. Absolute G has no targets. All right. And that card is unaffected by Absolute G. 2,400 damage is dealt. Amazing play. Now, granted, we know what that fusion card in the hand's about to do, so it doesn't matter. But, impressive. Harpies, yeah, you lost it. What was it? Please don't be wall thorns. I'll break my heart. Magic Cylinder would have been very good. Rode against Stratos. To, oh, Blaze Man. Interesting. Here it comes. Parallel Whirl Fusion. Fusing two cards from the uh, removed from play zone into the deck. Absolute G returns. Absolute Zero is unstoppable. And without a magic cylinder to help out, there's nothing you can do. Also, they could still super poly if they wanted. Here comes a thousand damage. Super poly time. They don't use super poly on the opponent, so I just I just stop thinking it like that. They don't feel like it, ever. Yep. Mystic Tomato or Bust. I'm trying to think of cards she could even have. That's a weird card to pick. Gigantic Cephalotus. Yep. 4,500 damage is the end of the duel. That is game. I'm sorry, fans, that Vakiza Izinski, she went up against one of the professors of Duel Academy. Koyo Hibiki came to play. All right, Koyo, great job. Great freaking job. Good job, Akiza. You also played really well. I know you have, you both made mistakes, but, you know, you both are still pretty high-tier duelists in our tournaments. So, the next duel is going to be Chum Lee Huffington, the chump, the guy who just destroyed Emma 2-0, not even close, versus Zachary D. Oh, dear God. You know, if anyone can stop Zachary D, it's Chum Lee. It's the chum. We saw what Chumley did to Emma. Anything is possible. 
So let's do this. Zachary D versus the chum. Chum Lee Huffington. Who's going to win it all? Wait, what happened? And the attack. Oh, well, we got a pot of greed. Fabled Raven starts the door. Oh, he drew Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Wait, what's happening here? Oh, they didn't do more? Okay. They, I should have. I would have done more. I think Zachary D is in a great spot right now. He has everything he could possibly want. Giant Rat isn't going to save you. It's gone. Bye-bye. Alright, heart of the cards. Are we going to go for a Mystic Tomato Synchro Summon? I, I stand. Yep. And that's the end of the duel. Chaos Sorcerer is coming out. Chumley Huffington didn't stand a chance. Say hello to Chaos Beast, which has 3,000 attack on this turn. And the monsters go through, and you just took 5,300 damage for fun. Good luck, Chum. <laughs> good luck, Chum. That's, uh, that's, that's really good. Uh, Call of the Haunted comes through. Chum Lee gets that. Does he have Death Kangaroo? No! I thought if he had Death Kangaroo, there was a chance. All he had to do was hit Chaos Sorcerer, but he doesn't have it. It's gone. Chaos Beast has 3k. Oh my god, it's the boss. It's over. 4,500 attack. Zachary D is unstoppable. His strongest card is here. Holy crap. To think Chumley brutalized his last opponent and then he just got brutalized. Alright, game number two. Here we come. That was super quick. That was so quick. Let's try this again. All right. Let's let's do your best here. Gold sarcophagus has value. Foolish burial has value. There there's some good stuff in this hand, but it's a little slow. TT will keep this place safe. Oh, yep. Gold sarcophagus animation. Geico's wait waiting to go. Foolish burials right there. We got a oh interesting. You want to put that in the grave of all things? I think we're expecting a TT to come right now. Oh, that's not good. That is very bad for Zachary Fed. Giant rats! Let's go! Come on, rat! Get in there! Get the hell in there! Hurt them! One. Archfiend punch. All right, what else you got, chum? You gotta have something better than this. Hexy. Ooh, ooh, don't get my hopes up. Chumley, don't you dare get my hopes up. Don't let me dream. Oh, let dreams come true. Come on, baby. Ah, you ruined it. You gave me hope. You gave me hope, Chumley. For what? Were you just playing with my emotions? Where was Des Kangaroo when you needed it? Oh, Java Trio. Wait, actually, that's really good. Stop your opponent from summoning. That is really good. Oh, wait. Tokens can be used for synchro summons, can't they? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, no. No, they can't. Okay, we're fine. Wait, maybe. Maybe they can. They just didn't do it. Chaos Beast is here. I've used tuner, uh, them as synchro summons before, so they have to be. Strange. Also, strange they did that on main phase too. Very stupid. Yako Gire! Oh no! Chaos Sorcerer has been defeated! Yako Gire Panda takes a bite out of that! Zachary D, what's going on with you? Chaos Beast. Des Koala! Let's burn! 800 burn! You're now in the 4000s. Oh, now he gets rid of the hand he realizes. But the piercing of the freaking Gyako Gire is real. He's got... De oh, now you... The second your Hex Sealed is dead, you got your Des Kangaroo. Are you kidding me? Come on! Come on, Chumley. I need you. There's no technical... We don't use a format. We kind of just bullshit our way through. This tournament has stuff. That's all you need to know. It has stuff. And the Chump, he still has a good attack stat. He can still do good piercing. Even better piercing than... Oh, no! Don't banish! Ah, crap. Chumley screwed. All right, so Chumley screwed. That, that, that's no good. You're right. They are specific synchros. Um, 
Chumley did real good in this duel, but I don't see much. Much in the way of a comeback. The Hex Sealed is gone. Geico, get in there. Yep, banish his monster so he has no chance of Call of the Haunted. I don't think he has Parallel World Fusion. <laughs> Chumley fought back, but yeah, I'm not liking his odds here. K oh, whoa, whoa! The boss monster, everybody. It's Chaos Archfiend. Dark Hole or Death? That is what I always like to say. Dark Hole or Death? That ain't Dark Hole. It looks like the chump is going to get some payback after what he did to Emma Hops. Nimble! Whoa! Okay! That actually... Oh! You're telling me all three are in your... Are you telling me all three Nimble Momongas are in your hand? Is that what you're trying to explain to me, Chumley? Is that why you, you suck? You had the worst hand possible? Is that actually why this happened? I believe it. It's over. The chump is done. Let's summon one more monster. Attack for game. The game winning attack is good. The chump is out of here. Looks like Zachary D will be moving forward in Duel Academy. Chumley had a bad hand at the end. It sucks. Plus he got Death Kangaroo way too late. He could have had the Master of Oz. He did way better in his first duel. So, we're going to move Zachary D forward. We're, we're starting to see the top eight students at Duel Academy right now. The eight students to watch out for, or professors, since they're in this tournament too. The next duel, and the final duel of top 16, will be Light Tsukiko of OCG Elementary, now here, versus Terry Quads, a brand new student. Yeah, there is a... Uh, did you miss them? We just had a hero user. <laughs> we literally just did. His name is Koyo Hibiki. He was the fight right before the one we just watched. Uh, let's see. Light Kiko and Terry Quads. Terry, Terry, Terry. If you're looking for more of those old school tournaments, we actually already did them. This is a continuing story. If you would like to see... Uh... No, he won. The Elements of Hero user won. If you would like to see Jaden in the flesh, you can watch his his tournaments on my YouTube channel. It's called the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era. Go find the playlist and you're good to go. You'll be able to watch the whole story and unfold. And I'd say it's worth a watch. We actually had amazing... Uh, th every tournament's fun to watch. Every tournament. So let's go ahead and get into it. Terry Quads versus Light Tsukiko. So, Terry is here. Light is here. Let's see which character is better. We have Dunamis. We have Light uh, or Court of Justice, which works decently well with her deck. Pot of Green. Good start from Terry. Terry's got an old school blaze. It can pot you. It wins by 50. Sometimes 50 points is the, is the deciding factor. And it looks like he monster aboard so that his opponent couldn't, which is pretty funny. Monster aboard. Just so your opponent can. So what are you going to do now? He, yeah, she's got some bricks right now. She did not draw any of her monarchs. It's a bad situation. But Nova Summoner can stall. Nova Summoner, keep playing cards in defense. But Shining Angel is the same. Well, not the same, but decent enough. Keep stalling. Keep stalling. Help her get to what she needs. Yes, good job. Good job. She bought herself time. Now draw your monarchs. She is a light monarch deck. He is a fire deck. All right. Nova Summoner gets destroyed. Backfire is going to be activated. Be careful, Nova Summoner. You don't want to backfire all the time. Yeah, don't be in attack mode. Good job. Backfire gets to do 500. And we got ourselves a set. And what are you going to do next? We have Premature Burial. Premature Burial gets out UFO Turtle. We got the... No more special summons! She's locked! He got the barrier statue! She can't do anything! No monster aboard! No chance! She has no chance with the barrier statue on the field. She can only normal summon. No way. The Monarch Stormforth counts as a normal summon. And here comes the Borg! But her life point. No! It's over! UFO Turtle! 1400 burn backfire wins the duel. Unless. No, there's no unless. 
Backfire wins the duel. The winner is Terry Quads. Yeah, you could steal Blazing and Pachi, but all he has to do is crash. Go destroy your monster. Go, Terry. Let the legend come back to life. You can do this. Attack goes through. He even crashed for fun. That's 500 burn. One more. Barrier statue. That's sad. And Terry Quads takes game number one against Light Su Kiko. Sorry, Light. You're going to have to try harder next time. Let's go ahead and get into game number two and see what happens. Light versus Terry. I'm, I'm hoping Light does something. She had really bad life points. She had really bad. I mean, not bad. I, she had a bad hand, not life points. She had a bad hand, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that is not much better. That is not much better. What are you doing with that? That's much better. Okay, she fixed it. She just needed to tweak that hand a little bit. She's good. Molten Destruction is actually very scary. Oh, he's got his. Okay. Both characters have their tuner monsters in hand, ready to summon their cards. Of course, they could just Tribute Summon. I would get rid of that Field Spell. That Field Spell is a problem. Yep, Tribute Summon. The back row will be do Okay. The back row will be dealt with, but uh, the Field Spell remains. She lost Call of the Haunted. And she gained a Marshmacon. Oh, Premature Burial. <laughs> the Mighty tri Have you ever been beaten by three Marshmacons? Because you're only going to get beat by two. And Call of the Haunted because it can't attack this turn anyway. Oh, now we get rid of it. There we go. All right, there we go. The Mighty Three Marshmacon beating. It's unstoppable. Oh, no! That's not fair. Marshmacon. Yep. Yeah, nice try. You have to beat all of them on the same turn. Oh, crap! Yep, they're gone. All right, it's over. Marshmacon's effect is done. 1,500 burn from Inferno. Yep, that sucks. Um, I hope you draw a beater monster. I really do, because he actually beat them all. I can't believe he beat the whole Marshmacon crew. You know what? Shining Angel's good enough. Just Dark Hole. You disagree? You don't want to Dark Hole? You'd rather burn by backfire. I mean, you're going to burn either way, but, you know, one way you kill two at once, so, you know, you're guaranteed one less 500 burn. Oh, hi there. Oh, that also, that card also does burn. Yeah. Shining Angel's trying to hold the field. Nova Summoner can at least get a card in defense mode where you're safe. Defense mode is healthy. And that is a synchro. He got his boss monster, everybody. It's time for the Crimson Blader, the dual wielder. And I will say this, her synchro does not beat hit. Well, maybe it does. Actually, I don't know. It doesn't, because why would she dark hole otherwise? Crimson Blader loves backfire though. Oh shit, <laughs> holy crap. You put that in attack mode because you believe they have no monsters. Would you like to show her differently, Terry Quads? All right, Terry. That looks like the end of the duel, guys. I don't see light coming back. 350 life points with backfire up. There's no chance. No chance. All they need is one more monster right now. They can end it right now. Inferno. Inferno can end the duel with its effect. Yep. Inferno will burn. The light is gone. Light Tsukiko did good today, but at the end of the day, she's not going to top eight. Terry Quads, one of the new students, is going there. All right. Terry Quads is moving to top eight. Yeah, plus she didn't have enough power on that one. It used it all up on the first opponent. So, we are now moving into the eight strongest characters at this academy at this moment in time. They are Terry Quads, Zachary D, Koyo Hibiki, Strong Jukyu, Serenity Wheeler, Prana Taker, Chaz Princeton, and Mokuba Kaiba. Everybody, let's see who's going to win between my boy, the Chaz, and Mokuba. Mokuba, my worst enemy. Thank you very much, Uzumaki. I appreciate that. Thank you for the follow. All right, Chaz the boy. You can beat Mokuba. I know you can. Thank you as well for following Blade Relic. I appreciate that. Now let's get into it. Let's see some wins today. I want to see my boy Chaz go top four. 
And yes, the lad counters the AI, but he has to get the lad onto the field for that to happen. All right, looks like Mokuba already has his boss monster in hand. Mirage Dragon will be patient. Hey, thank you very much for following. I appreciate that, Mr. 2004. And we have ourselves a trap card activated. Trap card gets the boss monster. Okay, have fun. Have fun beating the boss monster now. Dark Hole will do it. Yes, it will. All right, the boss monster has been defeated. Premature Burial means he'll also get to do damage on this turn. The damage is good. 1,800 damage has been dealt. That trap can still activate, though. There might still be a big monster in that hand. Or in the grave. Yeah, that works. Starry Night Dragon returns! The Starry Night Starry Dragon fold, holds the field. Mirage Dragon says, go to hell. Starry Dragon says, get out of my face. 2,500 to the face. And Mirage Dragon does 16. Come on, Chazzy boy. You got to have some play left in the tank. You got to show me something. Show me something. Assault Wyvern goes in. It destroys the opponent with Assault Wyvern's effect. He summons one of his manga cards. It's going to be, I don't know what it is, Burning Dragon. And Burning Dragon will not survive because of what Starry Night Dragon does. So this isn't going to work. Starry Night Dragon simply banishes the Burning Dragon. Your life points are forfeit. You don't have a good amount left. Call of the Haunted tries to hold the field. Axe Dragonoot holds the field, but the life points are not good. Yes, you get Burning Dragon back, but what is it going to do? You don't have enough. Don't you get it? Don't you see the problem here? You have to crash. Mass Dragon versus Flying Kamakiri. A battle as old as time. Who will float into the stronger floater? Flying Kamakiri gets Flying Kamakiri. Mass Dragon. Oh, no, it's a coward. You coward. You're costing me my life. You don't even monster are born. Starry Knight banishes Burning Dragon again. It's just not strong enough, and he's not willing to crash, apparently. The attack goes through. Uh, Mass Dragon comes through. Mass Dragon goes in, and we get Mass Dragon. No, god damn it. Do something. Please. Please do something. I don't know what you can do, but do something. Oh, man, I'll do it. I have no clue what Burning Dragon does, and I, 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 I guess we can read it right there. If, yes, if he had discarded a spell, it would have been a heavy storm, but only on special summon or normal summon. It's not after the fact. It's only on the summon. All right. It looks like our boy is desperate. The boy is desperate, and I just proved to you all that I can read. Oh, God. Flying Kamikiri comes through. Mirage Dragon will stop the trap cards at least, so that does have value. Oh, oh, oh. I know it's a little risky, but it'll be... Oh, no, the trap will save him. Unless you... The trap will save him, right? No, it does. Oh, my God. The Chaz is playing with fire. The, tra the Chaz is legitimately playing with fire right now. Oh, my God. Don't... Don't attack with Mirage Dragon, please. You have 100 life points left. The boy has done it. The lad is here. The lad negates effects. Burning Dragon is free to attack. And the boy did it with 100. The mad lad, Chaz. Yeah. <laughs> he actually did it. 100 life points and he makes it happen. The last possible top deck he gets is his boss monster. And he wins the duel with it. Let's get into game number two. Mokuba just got unlucky. That sword's changed the whole duel. Mokuba only got unlucky. Chaz it up, folks. He got game one, though. Come on, top four Chaz. I don't want Mokuba to win. This is his brother's academy. He doesn't deserve to win. Okay, Flying Kambakiri. It's a card. It might cost you, though. Ooh. Assault Wyvern has a friend in his hand. That's why I'm saying it might cost you. Assault Wyvern's like, hey, you like Flying Kamakiri's float effect? Let me show you my friend. You float into yourself. I float into the goddamn manga freaking Burning Dragon. And Burning Dragon with a massive 2,500 attack does its job. It's just Dark Magician, with but it's level 8. That's the only difference. Flying Kamakiri can be used for tribute, though. If he gets Kaiser Glider, he sets instead. I understand. I'd be scared, too. Harpies. Wow, he's got a lot of spell trap destruction, but not much else. I would have saved Call of the Haunted for an emergency, but I get it. You want to hurt. 
And glow up bulb. You're right, it also has the dark magic attack spell if you count its effect. Mokuba sets out of fear. Mokuba is scared. Soul Wyvern goes in. Mokuba's fine. He's stolen. Mokuba's stolen in my house? Come on. He just happened to get both of his floaters? Crazy. He needs that trap. He needs that trap card. Glow Up Bomb is interesting. He lost a trap card, though. Tribute Summon in Ryu. They're tied in terms of attack points. Oh, no. The last time Chaz was tied, he was too afraid to crash. Oh, I would not crash. You don't even need swords, but whatever. It's safety. Safety swords. Why not? And that Ring of Destruction will completely decide this duel like it decided the last one. Saya Ryu, you have no protection now. You're gone. And Mokuba Kaiba, you got a set. No traps. That's what's costing him. No traps is costing him. Mass Dragon, here we go. We have a monster. Mirage Dragon doesn't have a lot of defense. Burning Dragon does 25. The AI is dumber because of swords. Mokuba needs to think of something. He's about to get 2 0 by the Chaz. Even though game one was by 100 points. So come, I mean, it was close. This whole duel can be decided by a top deck. Oh my god. It's not going to synchro because it's the wrong levels, but he has it. All right. Attack comes through, and it's over. Burning Dragon burns it up. The Chaz is a top four duelist at the new and improved Duel Academy. The Chaz has proven it. His manga deck is stacked. Chaz it up, folks. No, uh, no I got nothing against Mokuba's deck and character. I think he's fine. But since his brother owns the academy, I don't really want him to perform that well. It'll feel like he's cheating. I think top eight is just fine for Mokuba. That's just fine. The next duel is going to be Prana Taker. And Prana Taker is going to be going up against Serenity Wheeler. All right, Serenity Wheeler is ready to go. Prana Taker. Oh my God, the original King of Games, the Chancellor of the Academy. What can she do against a, a freaking star? A legendary duelist. Funny enough, both these characters were in the same tournament last week. They both went to Battle City, and now they're both here. As they should be. They're both very powerful. All right, Prana and Serenity are just about ready. Ignore the dual runners. Whoops, Prana, that's not your seat. You sit over there. All right, Serenity Wheeler's hand could be better. You never want to draw Meteor Dragon, I promise you that. Not unless you draw Polly. Eh, that's not going to work too well. Gearfreed's all right, though. Gearfreed does work. Morphing Jar is huge. Both ca She lost Monster Reborn and Premature Burial. Pot of Greed's pretty good, too, though. Yo, that is good. All right, Red Eyes Baby Dragon is a game changer. Dark Hole will destroy him. We'll see you next time. Book of Life comes through. We're going to bring back Zombie Master. Time for Prana to show you where she came from. Prana, show them all. Prana throws away the despair from the dark to get Zombie Master. Fear from the dark, Zombie Master. And this is why she was once king. Look at her. Look at this power. Red Eye Spirit, the only thing you got is Gear Free, which can crash. It will crash. Good stop, at least. That stops so much damage. It could have been way worse. It could have been way worse. Now, you could Dark Hole, but I have no clue what you... Oh, I have no clue what you'll actually choose to do. Red Eyes, okay. Red Eyes Baby Dragon will sacrifice your life points. She's at half life points to summon the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And with Red Eyes Black, it's gone. How about Dark Hole? How about Dark Hole? Thank God. I was scared. They've been not using Dark Hole as much today, so I've been very worried. Um, future Fusion, you have to survive for two turns and you only have 4,000 life points. Prana Taker will get called. No! Zombie! Oh, wait. Despair from the Dark is really strong, too. Pyramid of Wonders it does nothing. Her boss monster, a Zombie Master, uh, would not have worked. She needed monsters in her hand for that to work. So Despair from the Dark was the best choice. That is her boss monster. It's doing good work. You must last one more turn for Meteor Black Dragon to be summoned. 
Oh boy, we're cutting it close. She got it. Zombie Master, it's over. It's over. It's over. I'm sorry. Serenity Wheeler, you don't have the life points. You didn't last long enough for future fusion. Despair from the dark takes it. Prana Taker takes game one. You know, for a character whose deck has been virtually untouched since Duelist Kingdom, she's really good. Like, she's really good. How the hell did Yuki beat her in Duelist Kingdom? Let's go ahead and get back to game number two. All right, Serenity, this is your chance to make up for that. She had a... Look, Prana had an answer to everything you did, so... Get Future Fusion a little earlier, maybe you can make something happen. Maybe, just maybe. Dragon's Mirror's not... Oh, that's a good hand. That is a very good hand. Giant... What? <laughs> Why? Why? I'm sorry, but why? Yugi lost to uh, Weevil. Why would you do this? It went to game three, but he lost to Weevil. Giant Germ with the Axe of Despair. Very strange play, but you get two. Oh, she started the duel with two germs. That's super unlucky. That is super unlucky, and the Axe of Despair is just a bad play. So those are all germs on the field. I can feel it. Those are all germs. Summon Skull's interesting. You go for Mass Dragon. You could tribute someone if you want, but there's no reason to. Yeah. Use your monsters. Giant Germ, yeah. And 2400, yeah. Damage is good. Looks like Serenity has full control of this duel unless a Dark Hole happens, but let's just assume that won't happen. Pyramid of Wonders actually gives you a pretty big buff. Zombie Master has 2400 attack and yet refuses to attack. I'm... Oh, because if it attacks, it becomes weaker than Red Eyes. But what you didn't know is that they could just fuse. Everyone, let's see the boss monster. It's time for Meteor Black Dragon. Anybody that plays old school Yu-Gi-Oh knows just how devastating this monster is. Anybody that's been watching my Forbidden Memories Let's Play, my Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play, my old school Let's Plays. If you play old Yu-Gi-Oh games, that's one of the legendary cards. Magic Cylinder will do 1,800, and it looks like Serenity Wheeler is in a bad spot. We have a set. Serenity, uh, Serenity Wheeler is in a good spot. Yeah, sorry. Summon Skull is here. You gotta love the classics, man. Summon Skull comes through. Summon Skull gets rid of Fear from the Dark. And I think the Chancellor is out of chances. She's done. All right, Chancellor. What do you got? Yep, that's about right. Uh, you can just end this duel, Serenity. She's done. She is done. Meteor Black Dragon. You may not get an animation, but... Whoa, wait a minute. That shrine is quite haunted. Hold up. All right. The thing that makes you a king is that comeback potential. And she's showing that she's not out just yet, but what could she possibly draw? Nothing. I'm sorry. It's still... It's still over. It was a lot to overcome. Look at that freaking hand. Look at that field. Attack goes through. Summit haunted trying to get... It's not going to work this time. I don't think you get it. It's not going to work. Nice try. And that is game. The winner is Serenity. We're going to game three. The Chancellor might have finally found a student that she actually likes. <laughs> Every other student's been kind of disappointing, but maybe Serenity can be the one. Will Serenity Wheeler go all the way, or will Prana Taker pull off her combo again and take her out? Master Duel's coming through. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Let's see what kind of cards we start with this time. That's an okay hand. Could be worse. Dark Hole's always nice to have on, hand on standby. Goblin Zombie, okay. That's just for searching, so you don't have to worry about that card. Gear Freed, your hand's getting a little better just by looking. Oh, crap. Oh, that's a shame, but don't worry. You'll bring him back. You always do. Retro Dragon. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Retro Dragon apparently works with Gear Freed. Oh, probably because it has Red Eyes, right? It's Red Eyes Gear Freed or something. I don't know. All I know is that it works. And Gear Freed goes in for 18. Oh, no, it's not. But still, it worked. You got Gear Freed back on the field, and now Prana's in a bad spot. A lot of momentum is gone. So, Prana, without the momentum, what are you going to do? Whoa! 
okay. That was major hits. Call the Haunted and uh, Red Eyes with Chain is gone. Zombie Master can stand up to Gearfried in a 1v1. We have ourselves a set. This duel could go either way. Depends on what they want to do. They're willing to crash. The crash works, but what is the trap? The trap is Call of the Haunted. Of course, it's a zombie deck. What else did you expect? And they're not willing to crash again. They don't want to leave the opponent with nothing because it would leave themselves with nothing. Zombie Master Effect. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, ill bud. Oh, wait. Goblin Zombie. What? Prana, what are you doing? Oh, that was not suggest. That was not recommended. No, none of that was recommended. That was terrible. Holy crap, the AI is way using Dark Hole way worse. Way worse. Luckily, Future Fusion means there's guaranteed something in two turns. In two turns, we're seeing something. It's way worse than we thought. She's going to have those two turns. Serenity Wheeler has this. It, it doesn't work, but you could just summon it. It's Red Eyes Black Chick. Go for 800 damage. Meteor Black Dragon is almost on the way. You didn't even go for 800 damage. Okay. Fear from the Dark goes in, and it will do some damage, but at the end of the day, it will die because we know what's coming. Everybody, here comes the boss. It's time for... Oh, dear God. It's time for Meteor Black Dragon. And then let's put some Pot of Greed in there. Why not? Dragon's Mirror is not fair. Don't do it. Oh, my God. That's so rude. Don't. Don't do it to her. Come on. She's supposed to be the king, or at least was the king. Pyramid of Wonders will keep the monster alive, keeping uh, Prana's chances slim. All we that's in Prana's hand is Ill Bud. Since Ill Bud is all she's got, I don't like her odds. I would say she's done. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Dark Hole or Bust is right. And I'm not seeing a Dark Hole. Red Eyes Baby Dragon joins the fray. The attacks are going in. Widespread can hit one of those cards, but not the other. You bought yourself one turn, Prana. One turn. And you need a Pot of Greed. I'm sorry, fans. I'm sorry. Prana Taker. Has, uh, that dark hole was the throw. That dark hole threw the duel. Mystic Tomato is not going to save you from Red Eyes Baby Dragon. As long as there's a Red Eyes left in the deck, this will work. Red Eyes Black Dragon is summoned, and it is enough. Inferno Fire Blast! It's over. Serenity Wheeler is your top four duelist, which is good. It's a student. A student should be in top four. Come on. The Chancellor would be cheating if she was that good. All right, Inferno Fire Blast will do it. Serenity is in top four at the school right now. The next duels are going to be... Serenity's probably the favorite. Yeah, I agree. Serenity's probably the favorite. The next duel is going to be Strong Jukyu versus Koyo Hibiki. Strong, to this day, has never lost a match. Koyo Hibiki is a former pro and now a professor. Let's see what happens between these characters. Koyo is ready. Strong is ready. I am almost ready. I just need some water. All right, Strong, show him how you earned your name. Dark Elf with Megamorph is a very funny combo, but it totally works. It's old school, but it works. You wasted Blaze Man. That was a horrible waste of Blaze Man. What were you thinking? All right. Koyo tried to do a little better than that. This this student is not someone you hold back against. Yes, thank you. Uh, what are we making? What, what does that make? Gaia. Gaia's not bad, right? Gaia eats the attack points. Gaia hungers. Gaia hungers for more. And Gaia gets all of those attack points. Heats on the field. That backfired a little bit. <laughs> that backfire was a little real. That's not good. <clears throat> we'll see what happens next. Hmm. Interesting. 
Nurse Medic goes in. Nurse Medic's going to heal the opponent to try and get Megamorph reactivated, but I highly doubt that'll matter. Dark Gaia. Yep, you're at 4,000 attack points. You got plenty. Stratos is like, hey, look at me. I got Stratos. That's a weird choice, but sure. Stratos destroys you. Gaia and Kemetic, I don't know. I think we are going to get an Indomitable Fighter in here, and I think we already have field advantage again. Yes, we do. Goodbye, Gaia. The fusion monster is too damn weak. And Muscle Medic will heal the opponent. All right. Indomitable Fighter Lele stuck in defense mode. So, what do you got? Rhoda? You already have Stratos in hand. Blade, thank you, but use the right effect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Blaze Man, use the correct effect. Yes, there we go, Koyo, come on, Prisma, Poly, whatever, I don't care, what are we making, Fire plus Wind equals Fire Tornado, and Great Tornado will definitely weaken the opponents to a point where they're not strong enough, Prisma wants to pretend he's wood, I do not know why, <laughs> he loves becoming wood, Muscle Medic will heal the opponent, but it does not matter because Great Tornado controls the field, the elemental heroes have finally gained control. Okay, that's not enough. He needed Ego Boost. Indomitable Fighter, it would have been better to destroy a monster and then go into defense mode. It actually would have helped you. Oh, it would not. None of this mattered. None of this mattered. It's time for a fusion summon. We're going to put a wind with an earth. And we summon two tornadoes! His mom lets him have two, and Koyu Hibiki has weakened the opponent. And do you want more wood? He wants more wood. And Blazeman, do you want more lady heat? Oh dear god, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Let's just continue the duel. Attack goes through, attack goes through, and that's the end of the duel. <laughs> Koyo Hibiki has taken Ko uh, strong in game number one. Yeah, no, I look, I was just going to say whatever monster was chosen. I didn't realize it would sound so bad until after the monster was chosen. So let's go ahead and get into game number two. Yeah, no, let's just continue. Ego boost and final attack orders. Much better hand for strong. He's got this one. Much better hand. No. <laughs> No, not the clips. They all get uploaded to YouTube shorts. All right, let's see. Prisma comes through. Prisma gets into Terra. He, yep, he got it. Miracle Fusion is a little interesting. What are we making? Two wood. What does two wood make? Shining, what? Oh, it counts as a light attribute at the same time. Okay. And he has more wood. Oh, Ego Boost. The Shining gets overpowered! You lose, sir! Good day, sir! Sure, you get them back to your hand, which is busted by the Shining's so good. Which is busted, by the way, but you still lose the fight. And now, how is your Woody gonna survive? He ain't. He ain't gonna live. Summon a monster. End this duel. Sure. More goblins. Elite goblins with barbarian gar goblins. You don't stand a chance. Well, actually, Magic Summon is pretty good. That's pretty good. You can do some damage. So even with all those monsters back, unless you can fuse, they don't matter. So draw Polly or die. That's not Polly. More wood, apparently. All right, more wood. Final attack orders, get baited. And Strong Jukyu shows you his power. That's the end of the duel, guys. I meant it. That is the end of the duel. There's too much attack on the field. And with this, we have a victory. Unless there's... Uh, he runs Wing Karibo, not Karibo. <laughs> Attack goes through, attack goes through, and the goblin army is too damn strong. Strong Jukyu is one duel away from top four, and he gets to keep his record if he wins this duel. If he wins this next duel. Koyo, are you going to be the first person to stop Strong Jukyu? Or, Strong Jukyu, are you going to win another tournament? Are you going to top four? Here we go. Oh, the best hand for strong. The best. I understand, Jace. The best hand for strong. It's too damn much. Indomitable fighter Lele. Shadow Mist doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, sir. Get wrecked. Super Poly. Use it correctly, please. He used it correctly. 
Yo, you, that's the first time he's ever used it correctly. He stole the opponent's monster. I'm so proud. I, I hate it. I'm so proud of him. That is the only time he's ever done that. Gaia, you're negated anyway. Just go for damage. Now, sadly, he picked Gaia. Gaia's not strong enough. That is amazing plays. That is an actual miracle. We witnessed a miracle. Not only did he steal the best possible monster, but he he ate it. It was so good. Oh. That's an unfortunate top deck. For anyone that bet on Koyo. That's an unfortunate top deck. Now let's let's be honest. Um Strong's life points are very low right now. But unless you you can't Stratos, so you have to poly. Naturally. Blaze, there's no search. He has to just naturally draw Miracle Fusion or, or Poly. And still has to have monsters left over for that. Prisma, I would have used Final Attack Orders, but whatever. 2200. Yep. Unless you find a card that gives... Unless you draw Poly naturally, GG. Sorry, guys. He top decked Dark Hole. What, what do you want me to say? Oh, wait. Don't play that card. Oh, wait. Skill Drake's on the field. He's fine. And next turn, the duel is over. I stand by what I said. Poly or game. Top deck poly or lose the duel. The fi No way! The final top deck is poly! He's got... Wait, it's not strong enough. It's defense! No! He didn't put it in defense mode! Oh, wait, wait a matter. Final attack orders. His last two cards! He had Polly, but it didn't matter! His last two cards were wood! They were wood! <laughs> Strong Juku is still undefeated because he's the luckiest kid in the world! If Koyo had any other fusion, he would have been fine. If he just set wood, I agree with you. If he just set wood, but his AI's too damn dumb. God damn. That was a good duel. That was a good duel, but Stronjuku is still undefeated in matches. Koyo Hibiki, the professor, has fallen in top eight. Who will be the final character to make it to top four? Which character do you believe can do it, everybody? Will it be Zachary D or Terry Quads? Both of these characters are new students. Terry Quads or Zachary D? I'm quite excited to see these two duel. Alright, let's watch it. They already have their tuner monsters, so that's really good. Pot of Greed and Molten Destruction is really good. And they have two tuner monsters. They're in a great spot. Gorilla Kite, why not? You don't need both tuners. Alright, Zaki, what you got? Foolish Burial, pretty good. Geico, interesting. Fables, okay, you like Fables, gotcha. Oh, he threw away two monsters. Harpies, oh! You actually did this just to win by battle. I'm not used to seeing... Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's level eight. And he can banish Gorilla Kite to make sure Gorilla Kite can't be revived or Spirit of the Flames can't be special summoned. And the boss monster is here on his first turn. Zachary D summons the ultimate card in his deck, Chaos Archfiend. All right, good luck. And you can't Spirit of the Flames because he banished your monster. Oh, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. That is amazing. Yep, Joe, uh, Serenity is still in the tournament. All right, Terry's in a good spot with UFO. Oh, that card banishes. UFO Turtle doesn't help at all. I did not realize that Chaos Archfiend is that busted. That's awesome. That is legitimate. No! You need the tuner! The tuner's your only hope! You don't throw it away! The tuner was literally your only hope. Throw away Hida. And Chaos Archfiend's effect says he summons Chaos Beast, by the way. We've never got to see it until now. So problem. If you still had your synchro, if you still had your tuner, you could summon your synchro right now. Instead, you threw it away like an idiot. So now we don't live in the world where you get to summon your tuner at all. Welcome to hell. You put me here. 
All right. Well, Spirit of the Flames is gone. And unless you top deck one more tuner, you're done. Yep. I do not like this. Harpies does not matter. Inferno does not matter. I mean, you could do 1500 burn, I guess. But other than that, it does not matter. Chaos Beast holds the field. Because once you beat Archfiend, you still have to deal with the Doggo. Top deck is a banishing card to increase his attack. Chaos Beast wins the duel with exact damage. Damn. Damn, he's good. Zachary D, everybody. All right, Terry Quads put up a fight and then, you know, messed up by throwing away the tuner like an idiot. Let's go ahead and get into game number two and see what they can do. Will Zachary D be going all the way? Or will Terry Quads find something, you know, that works? Starting with Backfire would help. He did not start with back. Well, Pot of Greed, maybe. There's a chance. Pot of Greed. Nope. Okay. No, he's in a little trouble. There is no format to these tournaments at all. And Fabled Raven comes through. And Serbol gets thrown away, which means we do have a special summon. Attack comes through. We do 250 damage. And Call of the Haunted will save the day. No damage will be taken there. Harpies is most likely about to be used. Uh, don't know about that. You need to get rid of that Fabled Raven card. Very good. That'll do work. Cerberal has... Oh, there we go. Chaos Beast. They got it. With these two monsters, a Chaos Beast will be summoned. Granted, it only has 2,000 attack, but that's all it needs. And it's gone. And that card is still here. A special summon saves the day. 1,800 damage is dealt. But a premature burial can turn this entire duel around. Or you could just draw it, yeah. <laughs> or you could just straight up draw it. And Inferno was a weird choice. You should save Inferno. That was not a good idea. Yep. All right. Well, at least do 1,100. I'm sure you have your reasons. I'm sure he'll figure this out. All right, heart of the cards, what do you get? Oh, okay, we already knew that was coming, but I, I didn't know if you drew another monster, maybe to Synchro Summon. No, you did not. All right. It was one of those duels where Zachary has lost a lot of stuff, so he actually has to come back slowly. Premature Burial can bring back Inferno, but that's a very, very weird choice. I would not recommend. And it's gone. Karma Cut means no- Oh, good play! He saved Blazing Apache from being banished forever. Okay, good. He can still get Spirit of the Flames later. 1850 burn is good. Problem. You wasted your premature burial on Inferno when you could have just waited. Life would have been good. And now you're going to suffer. But how much you suffer depends on this card. Oh, dear God, you lost. And that is the end of the duel, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, no, those are both light monsters. He's fine. He needs a dark monster. He's fine. Kill that 1100 attack point monster before you lose. Yes. Thank God for Hida. Kill the 1100 attack point. No. No, you don't get it. You don't understand. You don't understand. You have to kill the four. No. If they draw a dark monster, you can lose. Oh, you are so lucky, Terry. Terry, you are so lucky. You, you saw a head, didn't you? You cheated. Speaking of luck, that's his tuner. At the end of this turn, he could synchro summon into his boss. And it's time, everybody. The boss monster of Terry Quads is here. It's going to be Crimson Blader. Crimson Blader, Gorilla Kite with 500 burn. With backfire, super good duel for him. It looks like Zachary D is going to have to taste defeat. Backfire doesn't work with Banish. Damn it. Well, I, I still... Look, it sucks that it's gone, but top deck a monster... Okay, well, that's not good. Wait a minute. Hold up. Anything could happen still. Anything could happen. And Geico can banish. Uh-oh. You might not be able to get your cards back. That is very bad. You're running out of monsters in the grave. You might be losing. Oh, no way. No freaking way. It's over. He wins. Terry Quads wins. That top deck did it. That top deck is an extra 500 bird. It wasn't banished. That's five, five, five. 
Terry Quads takes the game. We're going to game three, baby. We have a match. The new students are both really strong. Who will do it? Will it be Banishment Zachary D or will it be Terry Quads and his burn? Which character can go all the way? All right, that was a good duel. That was good. Oh, they have a tuner already with their field spell. Very good start for Terry Quads. Their opponent, on the other hand, special summon a monster for a reason, I'm sure. Zack is Fable? No. Zack has just a bunch of stuff. There's no there's no clear archetype to Zack. Zack does what must be done. That's all you need to know. No Synchro Summon, even though they had the choice. Interesting. I don't know if that's going to cost them. Maybe the Synchro wouldn't have survived anyway because of the field spell. Yep. Synchro. Oh, you let them keep the tuner. Hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. I do not know about that one. Yeah, you didn't have a choice. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't. Oh, my God. Everybody say hello to the boss monster with a massive 4,500 attack. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, eat your heart out. Here comes the damage. And with all the monsters banished, Premature Burial is worthless and you can't Synchro Summon because the only chance you had was Synchro Summoning. Without the ability to Synchro Summon, this duel is over. You're at least trying to do some damage back and I can appreciate that. I can really appreciate that. You know what, Terry? You're fighting back. You're trying to prove you're not a loser. But the problem is that monster banishes. So you're not even going to be able to use Backfire. The attack goes through and the dam... Oh, these are AI tournaments. Sorry. And the damage is good. Harder the cards get uh, drawn. Pod agreed. No way. No way he can get this. Inferno. There's nothing. He couldn't do it. Inferno doesn't work. There was nothing to work with. He couldn't synchro summon, and that's it. It's it. There was no monsters in the grave. There was no monsters in the grave. The winner is Zachary D. We are now into the top four of our tournament. The four strongest characters. So let's go ahead and let's see. Who will it be? Will it be... Zachary D, Strong Jukyu, Serenity Wheeler, or the Chaz. Everyone, place your bets. Which of these characters is going to be the number one duelist at the new and improved Duel Academy? Will it be the Chaz with his um, light, uh, light and Darkness Dragon deck, Serenity and her Red Eyes deck, um, Chaos Master Zachary D, or Strong Jukyu and his Beater deck with Skill Drain and uh, Final Attack Orders? All right, let's do this, guys. It's time to see which of these characters is going all the way. Chaz Princeton or Serenity Wheeler. Both these characters have a lot of fans, so so no matter what, somebody's going to be sad for the, uh, after this duel or after this match. That's actually a decent start from Chaz. I'm not going to lie. This might be the first time Chaz has ever gone top four. I know he's gone top eight multiple times, but I don't know about top four. Future Fusion. Oh, no. Okay, so Future Fusion is actually really scary, and if you waste your Ring of Destruction, it, it will make me cry. Oh, okay, it's not a waste anymore, but that's really bad. She's got you, dude. Oh, no. Ooh, things are getting bad. Red Eyes, Black Dragon. Oh, maybe he has gone top four before. It's possible. Did Jaden play here? Yep, Jaden was in our tournaments. He's still in our tournaments. He was here last week. If you if you missed last week's tournament, he was in last week's tournament. All right. Luckily for you, you do get. Oh my God! If you please, please be smart enough to hit stamping to uh, to hit future fusion. No, you need to hit future fusion. What are you doing? Are you mad, sir? You don't get it. You don't get it. He doesn't understand. He'll never understand. Future fusion. Activate. It's a passive activation, so it cannot be stopped by Lord and Darkness Dragon. 
attack. Goodbye, Light and... Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen Light and Darkness Dragon get killed by battle. There was nothing for it to bring back, dear God. She should have done that during the battle phase, but the AI is really dumb. She had game. Is she... Did she do that to embarrass him? She had game. Did she just want you to know that? Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho! Talk about a blast from the past. Summon Skull, Meteor Black Dragon, and Red Eyes Black Dragon end this duel. That was beautiful. Serenity beat Light and Darkness Dragon. She might be the first person to ever take it down. Let's go ahead and get into game number two and see what they can do. All right, this is what we need to do. Chaz, listen to me. Draw Harpies, because you're too stupid. You're too stupid. Draw Harpies. It's your only hope. I need this. I need this so badly. Come on, Chaz. Don't go to top four. I mean, don't go for the bronze place breather match. That's actually a good hand. He can make he can make a use out of that. Oh, no. He wasted it. Uh, you know what? Premature Burial can save it. It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Interesting. Hmm. The Soul Wyvern doesn't work when the opponent's too strong. Swords. Good. Good. Make her play bad. Make her play bad. That's how you win, Chaz. That's what we got. Swords makes AI stupid. It works. There. Target. Get that one. Kill that monster. And then you win duel. Don't worry about Lion Darkness Dragon. Interesting. Okay. So instead of using Assault Wyvern, you want to do that. Oh, Retro Dragon. Hello. Oh, that's uh, that's not going to work. Lion Darkness Dragon was meant for Samsara, whereas Assault Wyvern was meant for Dragon Dragonic. But whatever. You, you don't understand. You need more monsters, Chaz. Think of something. Premature Burial, please. It'll make me so happy. Do it. Do it. Yes. Summon it. Samsara Dragon. His manga card evolves into Light and Darkness Dragon. He's got everything he could possibly ever want. Mystic Tomato will nerf it. It's now killable. A Red Eyes Black Dragon could beat it if she somehow could normal summon it. Because she's not getting it through Baby Dragon. Master... No. Oh, no. Light and Darkness Dragon's getting weak. She's actually weakening her. Okay. Running out of chances to use that effect. And honestly, very killable. Once Swords is gone, it's very killable. Serenity Wheeler might have a chance here. Swords is finally gone. So next turn, she could start going in. Oh, cr oh she can't. He can't use that. I forgot. Light and Darkness Dragon. Okay. He's not getting any weaker. She needs a big beater monster to, in order to destroy Light and Darkness Dragon. Oh, my God. Well, nope, he refreshed. I'm sorry. Serenity's done. He refreshed it. He was like, you know what? You're right, Cooper. It's a little too close for comfort. I'm going to get a nice, healthy one. I want a nice, healthy one to make sure I win this duel guaranteed. And he's right. He won the duel guaranteed. None of this matters anymore. Game-winning attack comes from Dragonic, whatever its name is. And that is it, everybody. The winner is Chaz. We're going to game three. Who's going to win the final duel? Who's going to grand finals of our tournament? If I had to guess, it's going to be my boy, the Chaz. Serenity, go to hell. No offense to her. I actually do like her. I love Red Eyes. I love Red Eyes more than I love uh, Light and Darkness Dragon. But I care about Chaz more than I care about Serenity. I never tweet. I even retweeted about him for crying out loud. I don't even like social media. All right, heart of the cards. He does not have what he needs to synchro summon, but he does have half of the way there. He's half of the way there. Harpies, okay. You're going to summon it? Totem. Swords, interesting. Okay, dude, you better hope she doesn't have harpies. You really better hope. Interesting that you didn't wait. He only has that. He needed a Dragon Tuner level 4. It turns out that's the only one that doesn't have a stupid effect. There's like no normal ones out there. There's a lot of level 4 tuners, but you need a Dragon one. And with Totem Dragon, we have... What is this card's name? I actually have no clue. Dragonic Knight. He has Dragonic Knight. I have no clue what it does, and I'm too lazy to read. 
Here, you guys can read it if you want. I'll leave it right there. You can read some of it. All right, Debris Dragon. No, Debris Dragon doesn't work with level eights. It says specifically you can't use level fours. I did try, Jason. I did. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. She might have a comeback chance with this. Interesting. That's the first time she's ever chosen that over Red Eyes. Gear Free, do it. Future Fusion, she's buying... She just needs to buy time. Wait, you didn't use Gear Free's effect. Swords makes them stupid. Swords makes them so dumb. Swords makes them so dumb, I hate it. Oh my god. Oh, my head. No, he has no targets for... Rocket does not have... It's not about its effect. It's about Synchros, by the way. This is why it's in the deck, everybody. It's time for a card he actually did use in the manga that didn't need a Synchro Summon. It's Dark End Dragon! Alright, there we go. Yeah, because there were no synchros in that in that freaking deck. So I had to make I had to make do with my own stuff. Dark End Dragon is here. Dragon's Mirror! Holy crap, she did it! Serenity Wheeler is still standing! Meteor Black Dragon has been summoned! <laughs> Holy crap! Chaz! Attack Gear Freed for game! Attack Gear Freed for game, Chaz! It's your only hope! Oh, crap. Oh, come on, Chaz. Draw a monster for game. No! They still have another one coming! You don't know! There's still one more! Oh, dear God! It's worse than I thought. My boy. My guy. My friend. Serenity's so goddamn strong. She's so goddamn strong. Oh, God. He threw. Unless he draws any card that can do a billion damage, he threw. Totem Dragon. You know what? If he had drawn Light and Darkness Dragon, imagine. Imagine. It's over, but imagine. <laughs> Let's live in that world. Can we go in that reality? Oh, that was a great. That was a great game three. Holy crap. That was awesome. No offense. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I hate that my boy lost, but I really enjoy that duel. That was a great duel. All right. Serenity Wheeler is officially top two in the school. Chaz is going to be fighting for third. I am super excited to see who's going to win this tournament. I don't know who's going to win at all. Going into this tournament, I had little ideas of who might win. And then some of them started losing. I honestly thought Koya would do better. Um, but yeah, anything can happen. The next duel will be Strong Jukyu versus Zachary D. This is it, everybody. These are the last two duelists. Strong has still never lost a match in our tournaments. Zachary D is the same because he's brand new, but that doesn't count. All right, looking at that hand, Karma Cut's pretty good. He got both dragons, which isn't very helpful, but, you know, Karma Cut can fix it. Dark Hole, sure. Cerberol is here. I like that you're all so mad at Strong when he is the only character using cards from, like, 2005 and below, except maybe Ego Boost, but, I mean, come on. He is the only one using the oldest deck in this tournament with no future cards, and you hate him. You hate him. <laughs> All right, here comes a special summon, and instantly into the boss monster, here comes Chaos Archbeam with 4,500 attack. Almost ended the duel on that play. The duel almost ended because Chaos Archfiend is just that strong. Now, strong, you can't activate Skill Drain anymore, so think... Oh, you can't even attack with her. Holy crap, that sucks. He got nothing. That's just rude. You didn't have to. You had game already. Oh, you just wanted the 22,000 attack increase? Okay. 
And that's game. The winner is Zachary D. Very quickly in game number one. All right, Strom Juku, try that again. Maybe this time don't let your opponent completely obliterate you because that was insane. Zachary D just didn't let you breathe. Maybe activate your traps if they actually do. They probably didn't do anything. Wow, you just had a really bad situation there. Get Skill Drain. Skill Drain will help you. Serenity is in Grand Finals. Indomitable Fire Lele is here with good trap cards as well. Also, that's Chaos Sorcerer, so yeah, it's over. And Fable Raven can throw away some cards. That's a lot. You threw away a lot of cards. And it's all gone. Chaos Sorcerer time? Yep. 23 to the face. Nice try, Strong. Although I will say this. If you can, you need to crash. You need to crash. Zach uh, Zachary's going to win if you don't crash. Go, go hit him. No! What are you, an idiot? He just banishes you! Oh, wait. Oh, I, I apologize. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize. I didn't know you had skill drain. All right. I didn't know you were like that. I got scared. I'm allowed to be scared. AIs are stupid and they usually make those mistakes. Strong is cooking. And I just didn't smell it. All right, Trance Archfiend is back in the hand. Ego, but wait, he could have won earlier. Interesting. So the reason he didn't attack is because he had Ego Boost. That's a great trap. That's a great trap. It's not enough, but it's great. All right, attacks come through. Attacks gonna get banished. Yep. All right, this guy's gonna need some comeback card, but he's already lost Chaos Sorcerer and a lot of support. Interesting. Cheating, but interesting. Using your opponent's trap against them, my God. You are a freaking genius, aren't you? You are a freaking genius. You're like, you wanna play with no skill? No skill, monster aboard. I win. What are you going to do? Exactly. Wait, he doesn't run any tributes. What are you... Those are all spells and traps. Guaranteed. Those are all spells and traps. Alright, what spells and traps do you have in your hand? Are there like three skill drains? Mega Morph! But, oh my god, skill drains on the field. He gets the full damage. Muscle Medic is in its perfect form. You can't stop him. Strong Juke, you cannot be stopped. Zack can't win. Zack cannot win. Skill Drain says no effects, which means he'll never overpower the Muscle Medic. This is his boss monster for a reason. Muscle Medic is beyond that. He's the ultimate Ancient Gear Muscle Medic. Geico can't help either. None of this can help. Giant or Oh, he had the DT! The back pocket! He's wide open. This is it. Top deck a monster and you win. He top decks a monster. He goes in and he wins. Zachary 2-0 strong. That was the first time strong has ever lost a match in our tournament. That was his first ever loss. Which means... For those of you that don't know, Strong is up next because we are about to have our third place breather match and it will be a placement match. Who's going to get the bronze medal? Who's going to be the third strongest in the school? Will it be the Chaz or will it be Strong? Zachary D and Serenity will have to wait one extra second. The Chaz can take out Strong. The Chaz can do it. Both of them love to negate. You like skill drain? He likes Lad. You're basically the same person. All right, the Chaz is here. Strong is here. Battle for the bronze. That is not a good hand. Pot of Greed might save it, but that is not a good hand. That is still not a very good hand. Assault Wyvern works with every other dragon but Lad, and you drew two Lads instead. Hmm. Yes. How are you going to do this? The Samsara Dragon. You know what? I got to respect it. I got to respect it. He put that in attack mode just to do that effect. I'm not even mad. Oh, no! He was planning to ring a destruction! 
The Harpies was so clutch! Samsara can't be used for tribute. It counts as two tributes and it can't be used anymore. Crap. Dark Hole's wasted. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. That is the first time Chaz did not just throw it away. Chaz got screwed up by that card. Chaz is losing so many. He's below half. Against Strong, that's super dangerous. It is super dangerous. Come on, Chaz. Think of something. Oh, yeah. Actually, high value card. All right. He's an obelisk. I'm afraid Chaz is actually not an obelisk student. He's in his, uh, what is it? His, uh, other outfit right now. That was the best top deck of trade-in I've ever seen because it actually did save the Chaz. Muscle Medic is here. And Totem Dragon has a very nice effect for Chaz. Chaz is still in the duel. After all this time. Totem Dragon, you know what to do. It's time for the Mad Lad. And Muscle Medic is gone. Nothing that had to do with the old Duel Academy has remained. There are no more dorms. There are dorms, but it's for different age groups. That's it. Magic Cylinder's good, but you won't be able to use it. That's only after he somehow kills Lad. The Lad is real. Light and Darkness Dragon is so good. No more discrimination. I mean, it's a passive effect. Passive effects don't get negated. And 2,800 damage comes through. The lad can finally start doing damage. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. The Chaz is doing it. He can beat Strong. And Strong's monster's defenses are horrible. They have no value in defense mode. It's gone. It's gone. Anything else? Axe Dragonu, get it out there. And that is the end of the duel. Indomitable Fighter, you can't be in defense mode against this opponent. That's game, everybody. The Chaz will be moving forward. The lad saved him at the last second. That trade-in decided the duel. The trade-in decided the freaking duel. So, we're going to be going into game number two. And we're going to see if Chaz can earn that bronze medal or if this kid will get skill drain earlier. Let's see what he's got. Okay, okay, that's completely fine. Mass Dragon would be safer. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Skill Drain super early. The Chaz might not be in a good spot. Totem Dragon is worthless now. Samsara Dragon is worthless now. And Swords is the only thing keeping him alive. Harpies! Yo! Never mind. We're back into a regular duel. But you didn't draw any of your beater mon uh, any of your attribute monsters, which is really rare. Usually he does. Muscle Medic. I believe Mass Dragon is an effect you could choose to activate, so Chaz would probably just say, I don't activate it. In fact, all floaters probably are, I think, choices. The Chaz has decided to heal himself. The Chaz has decided to heal himself. Please stop. The Chaz wants to heal. Okay, the Chaz did that for fun, I guess. He did thin out his deck, at least. Uh, draw your boss or die. That is the answer. Draw your boss or die. Oh, dear God. He did not draw any of his boss monsters. No Burning Dragon. No Dragonic Knight. No nothing. No Lad. He didn't draw any of them. This is the most unlucky game two he could get. The actual time when he has it, it does not work. Determining the moves? It's AI. It's, a, it's the CPU of the game playing the game right now. All right. So, Totem Dragon, you might as well get out there and see if he top decks a lucky card. No, he did not. Yep. It's called uh, Master Duel Offline Mod. We're not playing Master Duel Online. It's offline. And we have sets. The Chaz is in trouble. Strong Juku might have him. The Chaz needs to get lucky. Come on, buddy. You're my guy. You're my friend. You're one of my favorite characters. You can do this. Totem Dragon. Interesting. Willing to pay the life points. Interesting. 
Saku does the job. And let's see what we got. Premature Burial. Okay, he's taking some life points. Come on, man. You have to top deck. Nope. Nope, it's over. This man, he has like, I think, eight tributes in his deck. Didn't draw a single one of them. With eight tributes in your deck and you draw, you drew zero of them, you lose the duel. Oh, that's really cool. And the attacks come through. Oh, this is breaking my heart. Muscle Medic won't work, but the other ones will. Call of the Haunted for extra Ganu. You know, you made him pay a thousand, so that, that did something at least. All right, Call of the Haunted again. You should have used that during battle phase, but you're kind of dumb. CPUs need a lot of help. Heart of the cards, what do you got? <laughs> All right, guys, the Chaz has failed me in game number two. Well, actually, that's only 4,000 damage. The Chaz has more time. Yeah, hope for the best. Yo! Wait, why'd you choose Totem Dragon all of a sudden? No! Wait, if- Wait! Wait! No! No, Dark Hole! You idiot! Why don't they program you? Where's the programming? Dark Hole for game! You had it! You had it, you fool! They don't know how to program their own AI! Konami, what happened to you? You used to be a company that cared! And the game-winning attack comes through. My heart is broken. He doesn't know what to do. Game number two goes to Strong, which means we're forced to go into game three, and I pray that he ha actually can do this. Come on, Chaz. Don't do that to me again. Please, for the love of God. Heart of the cards come through. Thank you so much. Set your card now. The one problem with Assault Wyvern, it's never going to beat these cards, so it's not going to be useful. Granted, it's not useful for Lion Darkness Dragon. It's worthless, but still not going to be useful. Mass Dragon? We can get Lad. Lad's possible. Ah, shit. Well, that's still possible, but you lost one of your revivals. So that's pretty heartbreaking. Uh, Skill Drain does not work against Mass Dragon. Mass Dragon activates in the grave. Co money, I like that. That's funny. Mass Dragon again could get Totem. Yeah, Totem's a very valuable card. Now you don't have to worry about Monster Aborni. You can just go for it. The lad is not here. We're not going to go for it. I know you don't get its effect, but it's still a 28 beater monster. Yeah, oh, I forgot. Totem Dragon's effect is negate. No! Ego boost! It doesn't work! Skill Drain already negated you, lad! You've been negated! Ego boost decides the duel! My heart is broken! My heart is broken! Mass Dragon may come back, but at what to what end? Oh man, this sucks. Oh, this super sucks. Oh, this is getting worse by the second. My heart. My achy breaky heart. Totem Dragon doesn't get its effect. Unless you draw Harpy's Feather Duster, the duel is truly over. He stole it? Wait, why would he steal that? Wait, why would he steal that? There has to be a reason. It's useless. It doesn't count. It doesn't get its effect to tribute for two. Ow. That hurt. That hurt you. That was stupid. AIs are dumb. Uh, let's see. Totem. He either draws Harpies or the duel ends. Harpies are game. Yeah, alright. That's game. His monster's in attack mode. The best he could do is attack that other monster. Yes, he could special summon Axe Drag. Oh, no, he can't. Skill Drain. <laughs> None of this matters. He won't even get to play. Chaz should have won, but at the end of the day, I'm going to have to give it to Strong. Strong just proves that he is too strong, and he is going to take the bronze medal at the school. The Chaz will have to live with the dirt brown fourth. Damn. All right, Chaz is fourth in the school. Strong gets third because he's still a damn good duelist. But it is time. Let us go into the grand finals, everybody. The final duel of the day. The two strongest duelists in this current school are... 
Let's move these to the side. Who are you voting for in the final match? Will it be Serenity Wheeler and her Red Eyes deck? Or will it be Zachary D and his Chaos deck? Chaos versus Red Eyes. Who is your favorite? Serenity Wheeler versus Zachary D. I'm hoping... Now that I've seen both of them, I want Serenity to win because I like Red Eyes. I don't even care who's... I don't even care about Zach. Zach can go straight to hell for all I care. But she's going to struggle. This is a really good character. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Even though Terry almost got him. Terry did almost get Zachary. Final match of the day, everybody. Let's do this. Thank you very much for following, Crispy. I appreciate that. Come on, Serenity. Come on, Serenity. Come on, Serenity. I believe... Oh, we did it! We hit 2,300 followers on Twitch. You were number 2,300. We did it, everybody. Woo! Wow, we went up like 200 followers like that after Battle City. That was crazy. From 21 to 23. Foolish Burial throws away a card, so he actually has something to summon, which is a little awkward, but he at least did something. And Serenity, you gotta beat Geico. Ah, oh, that's true. She is a child. I cannot say she should go to hell. Or he... Oh, wait, no. Zachary's the child. Eh, he's, he's, he's like a high schooler. High schoolers can go to hell. <laughs> yeah, high schoolers can go to hell. That's, that's true. And there we go. Yeah, we got that purple checkmark difference. We're actually a partner. We freaking did it. It took three years on Twitch, but we did it. Granted, the first two years... Well, first year was very bad because I had no internet. My internet was terrible. All right, Red Eyes Black Dragon is gone. 1800 attack goes through. Red Eyes Baby Dragon is gone, but she just has to last until Meteor Black Dragon can be summoned. Geico's doing good work, though. Future Fusion, it's time. Meteor Black Dragon, that's right. One more turn. And let's see, Monster Aboard comes through. We got ourselves the Red Eyes Black Dragon. That's awesome. Sorry, I don't do commentary videos, but I probably will watch it. Don't you worry. I gotta do something after this. 24-18, I think you can do it. Karma Cut's too slow! Wait, no, he waited. He waited for Geico. It's not too slow. Oh, wait, you summoned a monster. I thought you were gonna use it for banishing. The Meteor Black Dragon. No, she's got him. I think game number one's going to Serenity. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I, I think game number one's going to Serenity. She's kicking ass. Does she have a monster to summon? You bet your ass she does. All right, Geico is done. Thank you so much for following. I got to change that thing. We got to go for 2,400 now. We got to keep going. And that is game. Serenity takes game one. There is a chance we can go all the way, guys. There is a chance. Will Serenity make it as the number one duelist at the new and improved Duel Academy? Or will Zachary make it happen in Duel 2? Let's go. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want Red Eyes to be the number one deck because it would be very insulting to Kaiba. Not in our series, but, it, you know, from the actual anime. It's like, what? My school is run by a Red Eyes deck? <laughs> God damn it. Ooh, that's a much better hand. That is a God tier hand. They got Chaos Sorcerer guaranteed, thanks to Karma Cut. All right, Mass Dragon versus whatever the hell you top deck. Oh, yeah. Trance Archfiend is here. Trance Archfiend does its job defeating the Mass Dragon. And Mass Dragon's like, well, I get Red Eyes Baby Dragon. Ooh, how are we going to beat this? Combo Cut. Yep, good combo there. Get rid of that so you don't have to worry about Red Eyes Black Dragon. Fabled Serval is like, hey, we could Synchro Summon on the next turn. If she lets me live. That Trap Stop Magic Cylinder. Okay, you might not get to live. The Magic Cylinder was supposed to let that happen. Oh, nope, call the Haunted. Mass Dragon, weird choice, but whatever. Attack comes through, attack comes through, and guess what, everybody? Chaos Sorcerer is unlocked. She, <laughs> He can go all out now. Chaos Sorcerer, let the legend come back to... Oh, nope, he chose the other. Oh, we're going with the Synchro instead. Everyone, we're doing both. Say hello to the mini-boss, Chaos Beast. And Chaos Beast has 3,000 attack because a monster was banished this turn. And we're not done yet. Let's... Oh, well, no, we're not. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer is being safe for later. 
Chaos Beast is sitting there, ready to devour any monsters. And the monster gets devoured, and it's gone. Retro Dragon didn't stand a chance. And Chaos Sorcerer banishes the Red-Eyes Baby. It also didn't stand a chance, and she is done. Unless she draws Dark Hole, you might as well call game. Oh, what? Wait, you're serious? She got it? Red-Eyes Spirit! The Red-Eyes Retro Dragon returned! She actually got Dark Hole! A 2-0 possibility is happening! Monster Aboard is way better! Never mind, he, he's fine, he's fine, he drew Monster Aboard. He drew Monster Aboard, it's fine. Chaos Sorcerer can just banish or battle, it's either way. You should have banished, but it's fine. You, you need to get rid of Magic Cylinder eventually. Just be scared. Oh my god, this duel. This duel can decide the entire tournament. Serenity's fighting, but she can't beat 23 right now. Yikes. Yep. Now he can rebuild. Now that he's got Sorcerer back, he can rebuild. Foolish Burial's pretty nice. That's gone. Now he's playing it. Now he's like, okay, wait. That last time didn't work. I think I should just make sure she doesn't have monsters to work with. Uh, let's see. We got, we got Monster Reborn. Okay, Master. Wait. She can normal summon Red Eyes if she has Red Eyes. Yo! It's the Red Eyes Black Dragon! Red Eyes beats Chaos Sorcerer by 100 points! This duel is back in the air and anything can happen! Put a green! No! No more! Please! I'm so tired! My voice! He got premature burial! We're turning it back around! This duel is too back and forth! I don't know what to do with myself! Trance Archfiend goes for 15. She already Dark Hold. She already Red Eyes. She's out of options. She's got nothing left in the tank. She fought super hard, but there's nothing left. Holy crap, this duel's so back and forth. He does not want to get knocked out. Geico can banish from the grave. Mystic Tomato tries to stall, but Chaos Sorcerer can always banish. Chaos Sorcerer will banish. They knew. They knew. They saw what you were trying to do. She's not, he's not going to let you do it. He's not going to let you do it. It's over. Holy crap. We're going to game three. We're going to game three. That duel was so intense. She probably just drew Summon Skull or something, but it does not matter. It was a hype duel. It was a lot of fun, but we are done. The winner is Zachary D in one of the most intense duels of the entire tournament. This last duel will decide who the number one student is. Will it be Zachary D, the Chaos Master, or Serenity Wheeler, friend of Red Eyes? Let's do this. Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Chaos Master. Who will win? Well, not Chaos Master, Chaos Archfiend. Either way. Every duel was... Uh, uh, any duel could go either way. Both characters could totally win this. That's a really good hit. He already has Chaos Sorcerer. I love this hand for him. He's got this. Geico is good. She's going to need a crazy hand to also counter out this crazy hand. Even if she kills Chaos, he has Premature. Red-Eyes Baby Dragon aggressively used does technically work. Because it can become Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon is on the field very early, but that's one dark monster. We only need one light monster in the grave, and then he is she's oh, sorry, he's set up. Thank you so much for following. I very much appreciate that. Fable Raven can do it right now. Nope, you do the fuck? <laughs> what? Fable Raven was all you needed to throw. Oh wait, Serbro would have went back to the field. Never mind. Yeah, I get what you did now. Actually, it still doesn't make sense. You should have set a light monster, but um. I understand what you're trying to do. Just watch your life points. You're doing you're a little low. You're, you're a little hurt. There you go. Level four. And Fable Raven is going to Synchro Shokun. Everybody, here it comes. We throw away two cards. Fable Servo returns to the field. And you didn't Synchro Summon. What the hell's going on here? Why didn't you Synchro Summon to kill Red Eyes? It was a light and a dark. Everything was correct. You've done it before with these exact monsters. Mass Dragon is back. We have a tribute. It's Meteor Dragon, which isn't very good, but it's all you got. The Fabled is gone. You have Chaos Sorcerer guaranteed. Fable's in the grave. That's a light monster in the grave. Chaos Sorcerer will deal with the Red Eyes, but then you still... Oh, no. He's going to Synchro right now. He's going to Synchro right now. Chaos Sorcerer banish effect. 
into your boss monster. And this is it, the ultimate card in his deck with 4,500 attack. It's Chaos Archfiend. Meteor Dragon doesn't stand a chance. She lost massive life points. She's in critical condition. If she sets, she dies. What, you set that? It was Dark Hole again? But you don't have enough damage. You need two monsters. Chaos Archfiend special summons Chaos Beast. You set, you die. I told you. It's the end of the duel. Wait, it's not the end. I thought he would draw a monster. I thought she would draw a monster. You have 200. The duel will be decided right now. Who's going to win the tournament? Will it be? And she can't afford Baby Dragon. It's truly over. It's truly over. Eventually. Jesus Christ, where's your monsters? Your mon your deck is... Mo oh, her hand is bad. If she played that card, her hand is actually garbage. I don't know what she has, but she's in trouble. There we go. Okay. And the winner. And the number one duelist at this school is Zachary D. Red Eyes does not save the day. Nice try there, Serenity. Karma cut. With Karma Cut, Red Eyes is gone for good. The game-winning attack goes in, and Zachary D is your number one duelist. Serenity will have to handle the silver medal. That is it, everybody. That was a crazy match. The grand finals could have gone either way, but the top decks ended up going in his favor. That was crazy. That was absolutely insane. Zachary D, a character that took Kaiba to game three is now the number one duelist at Kaiba School. Well, that is it, everybody. The Duel Academy tournament is over. I hope you like the new and improved Duel Academy. There are more students to see, but these are the ones that showed up for the opening ceremony. I'll see you all next time. I'm joking. Let's go ahead and end the tournament for real. Let's, let's take a look. So, in this tournament, Zachary D, amazing. Serenity, amazing. Strong, always amazing. Chaz, surprised the hell out of me. Mokuba, good. Prana, good. Terry, good. And uh, Koyo, good. The rest of these characters can be damned. But that is the end. Next week, I had planned to do the special tournament where we get to use the donation decks. But there were so many donations in last week's tournament. We had $5,600 raised, by the way. Um, we raised so much money. And we have so many donation decks. And some people haven't even tell, told me what they are yet. So I'm going to have to push it back another week. So next week, I will not tell you what it is. But we do have another tournament coming. And I am working on all of your donation decks as we speak. So, thank you all for being here today. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next tournament. Bye-bye, guys.